Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time you're getting it all the fantastic AI The Somnium Files. Now this was developed and published by Spike Chunsoft and it's usually available for £34.99 slash $39.99 but for, the last, for one last week anyway it is on Game Pass so play it and complete it right now. If you're watching this in the future and it's not on Game Pass, then you can ignore this message. Unless it's gone back on Game Pass, then go play it now. And that covers all angles. Right, anyway, we play as Konami Date, a detective who's both handsome as hell and a funny charm bag to boot. But this game takes an insane twist as we go from trying to solve one murder to having a string of murders which also involves going into dreams, messing around and other mind-blowing stuffs. Uh, as for achievements, now nothing's actually missable as you can replay any chapter and, and what's called a sync, basically the dream levels where you have 6 minutes to complete it. But a lot of story related, so you'll get a good few achievements for not missing any shots, not missing answers and interrogations, don't worry, they're all easy, I will explain a little bit later. Other than that, it's a fun, really fun game, the story is insanely good, and on true achievements it says the completion takes around 20 to 25 hours, but honestly it took me around 12, and this should take you no more than 10 hours to complete since a lot of it is scenes, exhausting old dialogue, and a lot of dialogue to skip. So we're going to go into the settings, and we are just going to put skip unseen content to on, we're going to put um, skip mode as well to skip message rather than fast forward, Again, you know, like I said, the story is fantastic, so it's definitely worth having a look through the dialogue, but if you're just wanting to smash out the achievements, as I put the brightness up a little bit, if you just want to smash the achievements out before it leaves Game Pass, then we're just going to do that. We are just going to slam through it. So we're going to press uh, New Game, and of course, with that being said, no time to waste. Let's get on it like a snake or something. So, uh, <laughs> this game, this game... How can I put this? This game is, like I said, it is fantastic. And there's a lot that you sort of seem to... A lot that we need to sort of pick up on, not, not quite quickly, but just to get used to. And as soon as we start getting used to one thing, then they'll throw us into the dreams where we have to get used to uh, the other things that we have to do in these dreams. Again, they're called sinks. But again, we'll come back to that in just a little bit. For now, go ahead and watch this unskippable cutscene. Now, a lot of dialogue and cutscenes of the game, you can just fast forward with the right trigger. Uh, but some cutscenes like this, well, they're just going to throw us right into it. It's death! Death! Death steering you in every corner. Hello, Death Nurse, with your left eye missing. Tidy. Right, a few things then that I forgot to mention. Well, I haven't mentioned just yet, but I'm going to right now. What we need to do is also collect what's called appendixes. Um, basically, they are sort of tips and, and other things that we pick up along the game. A lot you will get through natural progression and dialogue. Um, and I, I, You'll get some by just searching things. But basically, there's 100, uh, 141 or 142 of these appendix appendixes to collect. We only need to collect 100 for the achievement, but I'll, I'll li literally be letting you know when we get one anyway. And there is also 28 uh, persons that we have to collect. So basically, it's going to tell you all as we start to begin the game now. Um, but as we click, there's a couple of ways that we can um, basically press the start button here. And the way to do it is by pressing the X button, which will go into your menu. And then if you press Files, which would be the first one, you can see Persons, Appendix, and um, uh, Dreams or Albums. I forget, that's the other book. They, they open up as books. So here we go. Pressing the X button puts you into the menu. Um, you can also save the game here um, with Settings as well. But we go into Files. So we've got Persons, Appendix, and Album. So immediately, straight away, we'll get Date, Iba, and Boss uh, for the three Persons. 
and we will also get the tips investigation for our first out of 100 appendixes. Again, I will let you know every time we will collect or we would have put a new appendix in or a new person's in or a new album in. Now, the album is basically, you can only get those through hidden items, which you can find in these sinks or the dreams, which again, we'll get um, to in a minute. Also, by pressing the X button there, you just unlock the tips menu for appendix two out of 100. So you should be on the three, three persons out of 28 and two appendixes out of 100. So we're going to click on the policeman with the A button. And now again, if you press the A button again, you can look at the policeman, uh, which basically tells you what it is, what it's doing. And then you can press left, right up or down on the D-pad to speak to said person. Um, now, that should have unlocked you appendix 3 out of 100. Now we're clicking on boss, which is our boss. And then what we need to do is examine her to get ABIS, which is appendix 4 out of 100. So again, pressing the A button on boss twice will get you that appendix. Now, what you have to do uh, in order for this to carry on, you we can have a look at the corpse. You can either speak to boss, go through all the dialogue, or we can have a look at the corpse, which is what we're going to do first. Um... So here is our little AI site called Aiba. Anyone remember that song? Ai, ai, ai. Anyway, uh, we're going to click the A button here on the corpse again, and we're going to click in the left stick, which our AI site Aiba will help us zoom in. So now we're going to interact with the right eye, um, which will get us appendix 5 and 6. We're going to examine the face to get appendix 7 and 8 out of 100. And then we are going to interact with the left eye. Now remember, you can skip any or any and all dialogue by just holding the right trigger. If you want to get through this as quick as you can, just press and hold the right trigger. Or if you just want to skip progress, you know, a little bit, just tap it, tap the right trigger. But that's how you skip the dialogue, which we're going to do for a lot of the game. So after the, examining the left eye, examine the body, which will get us um, 11 out of 100 um, examinations. Now we need to speak to boss. Now... Again, all we're going to do then for boss is just interact with all the dialogue options. Now, again, especially through uh, later on in the game, when we speak to people, a lot of the time we will just be going through all dialogue options, and that is what will progress the story forward. So, obviously, I'm going to be talking a lot for now, but later on, there won't be a lot of dialogue as we examine the column here in the middle, and this only works after you speak to boss and all through the dialogue. And then after I'm says about this once again we're going to click on the column again and this time we are going to click in the right stick no it's the left stick again uh click in the left stick that gets up the x-ray vision and we go ah oh, hello who is here little girl hiding it well girl that ain't no good so cutscene happening again any sort of cutscene with dialogue you can just skip through this which is all good um, but with the x-ray mode there, that should, we've now got appendix 12 out of 100. And now that we have just found Mizuki, is her name, the uh, little 12-year-old girl Mizuki, and Shoko, who was the dead lady. So that'll be persons 4 or 5 out of 28. Right, so for now, we're just going to be chilling and crying and all sorts of stuff's going on. But this is actually... The, uh, where the sink is. So every anytime you see this particular scene, this is what's called a sink. P-S-Y-N-C, not an actual kitchen sink, of course. Uh, but these are basically the dream levels. Now, later on, you will be timed. You'll always have time six minutes, and then you'll have things called timies, which will extend your time, etc., etc. But this, again, is just a tutorial. So, let's get tutorial in now. Iba has just turned into some, I shouldn't say it, but some, some, some uh, very pretty lady. Even though she is an AI, so now I feel a bit weird saying that. So, we're going to interact with the door. Like I said, you'll always get the tutorial. Um, and every time we choose something, we have a couple of options. And you can choose those options with the deeper... Excuse me, Iba, what are you doing that doorknob, mate? It's not a real knob, it's just a door one. Um... But yeah, every time you interact with something, you will get a choice on the D-pad of what you want to choose. You can investigate and etc, etc. So to progress the story forward, you need to look at certain things. And what we're going to do next is go straight ahead of us into the winter iris, the flower. So after you do that, what we can do is smell. 
the winter flower or the iris flower. So you'll always have a couple of options, but to progress the story, especially when we get timed, I'm going to be telling you exactly which ones to pick so we're not messing around and you're not losing time on anything. So uh, that'll be... Oh, pff, straight up the nose. I tell you what, that was uh, worse than cocaine right there. <laughs> Just sniffing up some flowers because he can. So basically what it's telling you is when you start, when you do more things, as we interact with the switch here, we also get Appendix 14, by the way, so we're going to turn on the switch. But every time we do certain things in these sync dreams, I'll stick to calling them sinks from now on. So every time we do things, as you can see, it progresses the sync uh, more. So it progresses the dream out, so we find more stuff and we can do more things. Right, there is uh, one third of an achievement that we need to do here. Now, every in three sinks, as we finally have unlocked a mental lock, there are also four mental locks. In each sink dream that we have, there is four mental locks that we have. Plus, usually there's going to be a hidden item in every single one as well, which we need to find for an achievement at the end of the game. Uh, so again, quite a few things to sort of remember and try and get used to first. But it does get easier once you know what the hell you're doing. I mean, we've got ten hours or nine hours to do. So head over here to the right, interact with the basket. And we are going to wear basket. So left on the D-pad, wear basket. I'm not sure if the... Um, if it's random in terms of um, where the options and answers are. But if that's the case, we're going to wear the basket anyway. And that will be uh, Protect Your Head Achievement 1 out of 3. So now we're going to interact with the standing lamp. And then we're going to kick it. So it's left on the D-pad again. Hiya! Wow, you're hard. Harder than me, though. My, my toe hurts looking at that. Race! Race, me little laddies. So what we're going to do... You don't have to sip the wine here, but it's always good for a laugh. Now, the one thing that... So we have a sip, but the, the one thing in this game is there is a lot of fantastic humour and dialogue in it. There's, there's, especially with Date. Date is basically a big perv. He's basically every man. Now, don't be a man and don't tell me that you're not a perv. Even a woman. We're all pervs in our own single way. So anyway, Iber gets drunk off absolutely nothing. Then we're going to interact with the skeleton. Um, now, we can talk to the skeleton if you want. To move the scene on, all you've got to do is hit the skeleton. Um, but, um, yeah, we're going to have a little talk just for another little <laughs> little laugh. It's silly things, but it's the silly things wh is wh is which what makes it hilarious. And what the hell are you doing? Mate, she's acting like there's a doorknob in the air now. Jesus Christ. I didn't think AI buzz could get, uh, you know... Didn't know they could uh, feel anything apart from nothing. So anyway, uh, what you need to do then, interact with the skeleton again. Don't follow what I'm doing here. There is actually a hidden item that's going to be in that sink as soon as we interact with the skeleton. Uh, so now we need to smash his skull in with the left eye. Oh! <laughs> well, holy crap, you, uh, damn girl, you hard. Harder than me. <laughs> Not, that wasn't actually a pun, I swear. So anyway, after all this is done, now as you can see, on the left-hand side going down, you can see it's it's like a, a, you've probably noticed it by now, but it is a red line, and obviously, like I said earlier, the more story you progress, the more that it goes down. Of course, this one's fine, because there's no time, but obviously we'll have to smash it out a little bit later on. So, before heading uh, back to the door, go around to the kitchen sink here, what? just press the A button, there will be no prompt, so just press the A button, and that will be the first hidden item that we can grab, which will be hidden items 1 out of 6, and then 13, uh, 1 out of 6 out of 13, and album 1 out of 27. So, you will get the albums all filled up every time you collect a hidden item, and every time you complete a sync with more than one second remaining. So, just keep that one in mind. Uh, so, when that one is done, you should have unlocked the Dream Documentation Duty Intern, and next, we can pick up the gun, which was just to the left of us. So we're going to pick that up there with the left on the D-pad. And then what you can do is actually shoot the door if you want a little bit of a hilarious scene. But if you want to end the Somnium Sync Dream, you can just put the gun in the keyhole and that will end that. Now, what that's going to do, that will unlock Day 1, Date A for Album 2 out of 27. And it will unlock an achievement called... Brain memories hidden in dreams. Even the achievement names are goddamn cute as hell.
So there's a little taste then of the Somnium Sync Dreams. Now we're on to day two. So basically this is the start of the sort of next level, if you wish. Now every time you get to this scene, you can just press the A button. It doesn't look, it's not a load screen. You actually have to press the A button to move on. So we should be on five out of 28 persons, 14 out of 100 appendixes, one out of 13 hidden items, and two albums out of 27. So we're going to go straight into another achievement here. Now this one is going to take a good couple of minutes. So you need to basically examine every single item in the boss's room, uh, or the boss's office. Now we're going to go from left to right. And the first is going to be on the very left, the Matryoshka. So that'll be the first one. Um, now sometimes you need to interact with the item in question twice in order for the... Um, you can see how it's green as we interact with the large key. Now if you interact with it again, it goes grey. Which basically means that it's all good. Um, so, that's, so that's what I would do for this achievement. Uh, as we interact with the cabinet and then the chair. So that'll be 4 out of 44. Interact with the bags next. So if you st see that the... Um, quotation or the word is still green interact with it again until it goes great just to be on the uh, safe side so you interact with the shelves and then the door that'll be 7 out of 44 then the ac vent which is above now of course obviously it's right, uh, the right trigger to move your camera up and down as well forgot to mention that of course um next if we head down into the right you can just see underneath the right set of bags the tombstone oh yeah we're going undertaker style baby uh, so interact with that. Then the wine bottle, which is directly in front of the tombstone. There it is. Next, interact with the RC car. So if we turn the camera to the right ever so slightly. It's on the floor. There it is. RC car. So RC car should be number 11. Then interact with the obvious police officer mannequin, which is just damn creepy to have in your office. Have they not watched any horror TV shows and films? Mannequins are the worst. The worst. Interact with the broom, which is just to the, it's immediately to the left of the football and the volleyball. There it is. It's kind of hard to, to pick up, but the broom is just to the left of the football. It's not called a soccer ball because the ball goes on your foot. I've, I've mentioned it many times before. That's why it's called football, uh, not hand egg. Uh, now interact with the volleyball and the soccer ball. So the football and the volleyball. Interact with both of those, which would be 14 and 15. The fishing flag, which is the big flag right above it. And then interact with the rug next. So the rug is directly just underneath boss right there. There she is. Now, damn, she's 42 and damn, that's our boss. Damn, damn. Uh, for now, let's interact with the tanuki, which is that kind of Mexican penguin looking thing. Looking good. Looking a lot better than me, depressingly. Now, next, it's the sober door curtain, which is the curtain hanging up, which kind of looks... Like it's just got a bit of writing on it. Next is the shogi piece, shogai piece, directly behind the boss, uh, which I assume is what, just like chess. Please uh, let me know because I think I've just, you know. Uh, anyway, next up it's the coffee maker, which is just by behind the computer. So make sure to grab the coffee maker after the shogai piece. Again, please let me know that I probably just butchered that. So that should be 21 with the coffee maker. Next is the happy birthday banner, which is the obvious happy birthday banner right at the top there. Next is the pumpkin just below it. You ever wonder what yep, I don't. And again, right trigger to always skip all the dialogue. Next is the bookshelf, obvious which one that is, just underneath the pumpkin. Next, interact with the desk. And then we're going to interact with the computer. Oh, what kind of stuff you got in here, boss? <laughs> oh, it's all full of flappy discs. Okay. Next, interact with the broken clock. And the broken clock is just by the desk. Very easy to miss that one. So it's just underneath right there. Flappy, flappy discs. So that's the broken clock. Interact with the darts machine. It's the dart board, but for some reason it's called a darts machine because it's an electronic darts game. It's probably why it's called a darts machine. Interact with the public bath door curtain just... Uh, upper right of the dart machine then the skis just below the posters right next to the darts again then interact with the snowboard which is just directly to the right of the skis next is the triangular ruler just below it and then the symbol diddly 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 psh, 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 psh. yes that's what a symbol sounds like psh, 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 psh. No, anyway. Symbol, okay, interact with the poster just above it, the single guy poster. And then interact with the map, which is just above that one. So that should be 35 right now. Directly underneath is the boy band poster. And then it, we interact with the stationary bike. 
Then we're going to interact with what's called the lifesaver, which is basically the uh, rubber ring, which is sticking um, stick into drowning people. You don't stick literally into drowning people. Uh, pl the plaster figure, which is just underneath the Christmas tree, and then the Christmas tree itself. You know, rubber ring to help people who are drowning, not stick them in drowning people, of course. Right, if we head up, so pan the camera up, we're going to see two masks. One on the left, one on the right. One looks like me, beautiful, and one looks like my, uh, nah, I'm not going to go there. Anyway, interact with both masks, that's 41 and 42. Then the coat hanger, just to the right of the Christmas tree. And then finally, the pennant, which is just to the right of the masks at the top. That will be that. So as long as you've got all 44, that will give you the boss mania achievement for checking absolutely everything in the boss's office. If it hasn't unlocked, uh, sadly, you may have missed one or two things. So just go through it again. Sorry to say, but that does take a few minutes. So talking to the boss and saying, I still see you haven't cleaned this place up, gets us Appendix 15. Now say it about Mizuki. Sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> sort of catch up and keep up here. Uh, but I do apologize if this is going quite quick. So, saying about Mizuki gets us 16 and 17 appendix. And then say about Renju Okiura. That gets us Renju. So that's person 6 out of 28. And then after this, what we can do is just exhaust the rest of the dialogue. Um, saving the about that case 6 years ago for last. And then just smash through all of the dialogue. So, like I said... That is good, what's going to happen a lot through the game. There's never going to be too many times where we have to pick specific dialogue. A lot of the time, to progress the story, we're just going to usually just interact with all the dialogue, exhaust it all. That means we can then move on. So that's why a little bit later on, the commentary is going to be a little bit less, I'm afraid to say. Hip, hip, hip. Hey. So it's not necessary. The person who rep it is unusual. Hello. Uh, just saying, I definitely prefer AI as the female version rather than the eyeball blob. But anyway, talk to boss. Choose about AI. Um, and then what that's going to do is get us the Dork Appendix, which is 18 out of 100. Now what we can do after this, you can just go ahead and talk to Iber. You don't have to speak to Boss. Talk to Iber, exhaust all the options, and then conclude it with who reported the crime. And then we will finally be able to move on, and the map icon will flash. So just exhaust all the dialogue with Eyeball Head for now. I have it. The official title is AI Ball. Okay. I found the payphone. Thus, I decided to. I analyzed the footage and was able to. Oh my god, who was it? So now the map has opened up. Now, again, a lot of the time we have to progress the story before the map appears. So you can't actually, pretty much can't actually go wrong with it. So again, if we press the X button here, you can have a look at the appendixes if you want, uh, just to make sure you're on the same one. But like I said, if you're counting along, at the minute you should be on 18 out of 100. Um, so don't panic about that. And like I said, we only need to collect 100 when there are 142 appendixes to collect. So, I mean, those achievements are pretty much more or less unmissable. Um, but we do have to pick now and again specific options to get the append some of the appendixes up. So, pressing the Y button gets us to Matsushita Diner. Uh, we can only that's the only location we can go. We can't actually free roam around the map or anything. It puts us in sort of designated um, so, sort of positions, which we then have to press the A button to go onto it. So again, on this screen, just press the A button here to move on into the Masushita Diner! Oh yeah! Right, so anyway, when we smash through here, aren't you a cutie little pig? Ah, I just want to pinch your cheeks. Pinch your two big lovely cheeks. Because that'll be harassment against old people, and that's sickening. 
Right, so what we're going to do is examine the kitchen knife on the table just behind Mayumi. So press the A button here on the kitchen knife there to the left. And then we're going to press the uh, click in the left stick to move in or zoom in. And we're going to examine the words for a little bit of an explanation here from Mayumi. Mayumi, me, me, me. Me, 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 me. Knife for Mother's Day when he knows how much I've used it every day. Now, if you want, you can have a look at other stuff uh, for a little bit of nice, friendly banter between Date and Aiba. Um, but what we're going to do is just talk to Mayumi straight away and ask, is Ota here? Um, in fact, again, it's pretty much just going to be one of those where we're just going to smash through the dialogue. So, again, sometimes I end up taking my time. Now we're going to ask, um, what's the name of the company? And then, why does Ota hang out there? Now... I'm, I'm going to speed through sort of some of the dialogue, but then I'm not going to just go completely and utterly fast. We're going to keep having to pause the video. So I'm trying to go fast and slow, try and get the pace in right so you can keep up as well. Right, after this, examine the package here on the uh, right-hand corner table at the top. And then we're going to press it again and then click the left stick in to zoom in on it. Uh, examine the delivery slip twice right here. So that'll be the first one, then interact with it again. Uh, so we can now use the x-ray mode. So examine the pick of the package again. Press the click in the right stick this time for the x-ray. And we can now go ahead and examine the figurine. That's a great little figurine. So uh, after this bit then, all we're going to do, we're going to speak to Mayu. Me, 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 me. Sorry, that's going to get real old real quick. So I'm going to stop before I overstay my welcome. Right, so like I said, we're going to speak to Mayumi and then all we're going to do is just go through all of the conversation options until we can get the can you call him option. So as soon as you see the option for can you call him, you're going to choose that one and then we can move on. Oh, about... Yes. Call him? Date, I found some information. Renju owns that company. So now you don't have to speak to Mayumi about the idol. We just press the Y button here to now go to Lemniscate, the talent, AG Lem talent agency even, Lemniscate. Right, this is where Date's perversion, um, well, really shines through, as it were. Now, you know how boobs are boobs. Some are big, some are small. Some drop down like a set of old saggy nuts, and some are perkier than your own nose. I don't know. I'm not really an expert on boobs. I've only got two little man boobs myself, and they droop down depressingly. <laughs> no, they're okay. Yeah, anyway. So, <laughs> what we can do, we're going to ignore Ota, this little Ash Ketchum wannabe right here. What we're going to do is interact with the receptionist. And we're going to interact with the receptionist a couple of times. Really, it's only for a bit of dialogue. So, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, um, those are some huge breasts, apparently. So, Date, as is the case with every man in the world, except for the ones who don't really like boobs, um, yeah, get, gets his rocks off by looking at boobs. Who would have known? So anyway, we're going to speak to Ota now, and then what we're going to do is ask all the available questions, and then after we do this, we are then going to punch him and then kick him. So basically, once again, just exhausting all the dialogue options. So you're looking at breasts while punching a kid. That's a, that's a good start. I told you to... Kid, tell her what. So, if you've quite finished, um, <laughs> we need to kick him for the scene, uh, which would would have got us the sub and dis appendixes for 19 and 20. Now, basically, we're just going to keep saying, Hey, kid, about last night, uh, twice followed by asking, How do you know Mizuki? And we're going to ask her a couple of, uh, going to ask him a couple of times that. How do you know Mizuki? And then what's going to happen then is he's going to open up about his pen name, which is. Odoin Kayoma, which will be Appendix 21 out of 100. So again, keep asking him until he speaks his real name. 
After that's finally done, we can now ask, can you provide a detailed account of last night? Uh, which is up on the D-pad there. So Iber will now give us information about Niall, uh, which will be Appendix 22 out of 100. Then just go ahead and ask the rest of the questions, which will unlock Person 8 out of 28, which is Ota, the Ash Ketchum wannabe, if you ordered him from Wish. So, <laughs> that's pretty much... Um, okay, that's pretty much finishing. Now, you can finish Question Ota if you want. Um, in fact, we do, we do want, because we have to, in order to get a set to appear. So again, right trigger, of course, to keep skipping through all the cutscenes and all the dialogue. So again, just keep smashing through the dialogue until a set turns up. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? You mean a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! Date. Now, these two are main characters for the rest of the game, so that'll be an interesting uh, asset. No, asset? A set? Meh. Anyway, so we're going to ask, are you a set? And then a set and opus basically go into play a game which will give us 20, Appendix 23 out of 100. And Iba will also give us the Volatile Solvents, which is Appendix number 24 out of 100. So after this old bit then, so that's 24 out of 100 appendixes. Now we're just going to ask all the rest of the questions, exhaust all the dialogue options to get a, another scene. 18 this year. Senior in high school. Yeah. Date, I recommend you. Don't worry. What? Oh. Wait, you were... Yeah, I So Relation We're like a goddess in a sucker throat. If Tessa ever gets in trouble. <laughs> you sound more Ota always defends. Stop, you're making this guy. Hey, it's about those. Why didn't you come to the actually? You'll Mr. Date! I can't imagine Ocha, life did you get without it? you! How very dare you, you sneaky little bum to snatch you! You're 18, but I won't have no problem throwing you underneath a bus. No, I'm just joking. No, don't throw anyone under a bus. It's uh, against the rules, apparently. Right, to ask Ota if something's wrong, he wants um, Date's body to sink, which is hilarious. But that's Appendix 25 into Tokyo Bay, by the way. Which is, yeah, thanks for that. You want to be Ash Ketchum. I'll throw a poke of a ball at your head. Next, we're going to ask Aset here what she's doing. And that's going to get her to mention the cloud storage, which is Appendix 26 out of 100. And then after this, we are going to ask her, Why? Why are you doing this, you stupid? I'll rip the hair and shove him up into Oda's nostrils. Because, of course, I'm very mature in my ways now. So after that, the map icon is going to appear. So let's press the Y button here to return to Bloom Park. Now, a couple of times when we are driving, we will have scenes where we're able to talk to people and do... Uh, that's pretty much all we can do in the car, actually. Um... So for now, you can examine a lot of stuff in the car if you want, but there's generally no need. So what we're going to do is if you have a click on a set, a set's picture to the left in the diamond, that is how you can go ahead and speak to her. Which apparently I'm having a mega bit of trouble finding out there. There we go. So choose a set and then ask about becoming an idol. 
So what did you have to do to become an idol? And what you're going to do then is learn Shovel Forge, which is basic basic Minecraft, Underground, Jacko and Gig, which is Appendix 27 to 30 out of 100. Um, then, uh, next, ask how she started working for the Talent Agency, uh, which will be another Appendix. So now we should be on 31 Appendixes out of 100. And then what we can do is just go ahead, talk about Ota, and then... Um, I just go through the rest of the dialogue as normal and then eventually we'll get an option where we can ask her for a real name to move on and that will get us the iris option the person's nine out of 28. fascinating what are you doing well then tell you know wouldn't you get in trouble for that what the vi you're an idol right if that video went fi it's okay, uh, because sometime I'm going to d What? I can see into the future. Anyway. I'm part of a special investigation. Advanced brain investigation. By the way. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't. Iris. Iris Sagan. I know, weird. Excuse me, Yukiname Date. And the girl. She's an important witness. Yep, yep. Yeah, she's about as important as my left nut. <laughs> hey, right, so here we are then. So, Iris, her name is not Aset, thankfully. So, what we're going to do then, we are going to go ahead and speak to Iris. Um, so, again, we're just going to slam through all the dialogue once again until we get the option to ask. Why do you think this is a ritual murder? There it is. So it's already there on the left-hand side. So you can ask her now. So why do you think this is a ritual murder? She's going to talk about the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and the Eye of the Providence, which will get us Appendix 32, 33, and 34 out of 100. So just keep asking her, um, why do you think this is a ritual murder until it's done? And that'll actually get us Appendix number 35 out of 100. So you should be on 35 Appendixes if you want to double check. Um... Now, you can, now we can just crack on. We don't have to ask her the rest. We can press A on the horse, which Shoko's body was, with her eyeball flopping out and being disappearing and stuff. Now we can press the left stick to examine it, and that's pretty much it. So we're just examining the horse, and then we can just go ahead, speak to Iris. Now, a lot of the time, if I say um, an option that we should go or let's leave, and it's not there, Pretty much all you got to do is just, again, just exhaust all the dialogue options. And that may happen throughout uh, a couple of times in the game. Uh, so after speaking to the horse, now we can speak to Iris. And again, you do just need to spam through the rest of the dialogue until we get the option for... We should go. But a restricted... Oh, come on! Just a little... Hey, you all right? Are you okay? It's not like I would know. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Man, this kid is so lazy. She's like every kid in the world. I envy her, actually. Oh, I wish I was that lazy. I could just ride on people's backs. But I'm a heavy set fellow, as it were. Right, now what we can do, again, if you want for uh, for some funny banter, you can examine everything in the car. But if not, ask Iris here how we're feeling. And then we're going to basically end up at the Sagan residence. Which is basically Iris's house. So just spam through any bits of dialogue and just enjoy the scene. Again, you're as invincible as the 
herb nuggets, which I uh, don't have. Uh, no, I'm just joking. I'm, I'm really tired, as you can probably tell. I don't talk like this every day, I swear. So here we are then at the Sagan residence. Sounds like uh, Mrs. Bucket, Mrs. Bouquet. And if you know, if you're an old British person, you will know exactly what Mrs. Bucket slash Mrs. Bouquet is from. Hilarious British sitcoms, which are crap today. Oh my god, it's a Tommy! Now, as we've seen, um, we have seen a little bit earlier on, I think we've seen it earlier on, in Date's Dream, we've seen someone of this particular woman and wearing this particular same dress with a particular haircut, with a particular band, with a particular face, with a particular eyes, with a particular nose, with a particular mouth. <sighs> Be shot up and stuff. Uh, so now, I, um, Date's all like, Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, what we're going to do after this scene and the introductionary conversation anyway, uh, after all this, we are going to pan the camera all the way to the right and then just click on the stereo three times to unlock a uh, quite easily missable achievement here. Cheers for the blue, bro. Are we, all, are we all done? Yes, right. So, pan the camera all the way to the left, uh, to the right, sorry, and you can see the speaker system. So interact with it three times to get the I want cool stereo equipment achievement. Mr. Date? Again, it's easily missed now, but if you did end up missing it for some reason, again, you can literally just go into the menu, go onto what's called the flow chart, and then you can just go back onto any particular chapter that you have missed. So after this, um, now you don't have to, but I do, to I basically examine the refrigerator here in the uh, left-hand corner to get a bad riddle from Iber. Otherwise, what we can do is just interact with and exhaust all dialogue options for Iris. It locked up on me. Since I was... Huh? <laughs> I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is a- Yeah. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just- What about your husband? I don't have- I've never been married. By the way. Renju was my classmate. I'm a teacher at- Yeah, why do you ask? Date, how do you put a giraffe? What? The solution is you open the door, put the. What kind of a riddle is. Another riddle. How do you put an elephant in. Isn't it the same? Open the door, or. Incorrect. The... You must remove the giraffe. That is the solution. The riddles can use. Well done, Iba. Well done. So after that, then, now we can interact with the flower after it's you've okay. spoken to and exhausted the Iris. dialogue options with Hitomi and Iris. That is when we can then pick the flower. By the way, we'll get Hitomi for persons 10 out of 28. What? Then we can go ahead and just say goodbye. <clears throat> so again, you can only get that after you exhaust all the dialogue options and interact with the flower. So again, if there's any point that uh, a particular option, like again, goodbye or we should leave, appears for me and it hasn't for you, just interact with, uh, it just exhausts all the dialogue with all the characters which are on the particular scene. Excuse me. Um, and again, if that's not good enough, just examine with some items around the room or uh, around the area and that should work. I found myself having to do that a few times, having to examine a couple of things before uh, a goodbye option came up. Right, so here we are driving once again. Now, what you, what, what, what you probably wouldn't be able to see is if you have a look at the steering wheel, um, that is where Iber is actually charging herself. So if you want, you can speak to yourself uh, for a bit uh, a bit more hilarious banter. But this is where Iber is. Now, if you're not paying attention, it would have been very easy to have missed that. Uh, so again, you know what to do. Just talk to Iber about everything and exhaust all the dialogue options again. Afterwards, we need to then ask her if there's anything on her mind to move on. 
That means Mizuki couldn't have. She's, she can't move a body or drive. Were you considering her? That's part of the. If there's even the slightest. Then this is good. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being. I knew that from the. She would never put her hand. She doesn't have what it takes. Perhaps she was playing. Hide and seek. It was not a. The estimated time. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost. The corpse was found tied. The corpse was found with her left eye. That eye. So why did Mizuki could she have? Yes, as a matter of fact, and I noticed some. And to be honest, a little bit later on, the reason why I won't be talking as much later is for one, you don't need me telling you which ones to pick all the time. Like I said, time and time again, it's normally an exhaust all dialogue option. But two, I really don't want to spoil the story for you by talking over the stuff because it gets... Man, it gets real shit intense and batshit crazy. Um, right, so nothing to do here. We're just going to watch the conversation, which will get us the sync. Uh, the appendix sync for 36 out of 100. Now, now we're into the sync control room. So, what we can do, um, I end up speaking to Mizuki and Boss and Pewter, who looks like a terrible Megamind villain, to be honest. Again, Megamind if you ordered him from Wish. Um, but if you look to the left, so pan the camera to the left, we, we can then examine the steel shells to learn BL and Dujinshi, which is a appendix 37 and 38. I actually miss these ones, but again, because we've got 140 to collect, it doesn't matter. But if you want, pan the camera to the left before going into the sink, before speaking to everyone, like I'm doing here. Interact with the steel shells, and that'll get you appendix. Th There's the steel shelf. For some reason, I don't click on it. But they'll get you the two appendixes. And then, like I said, um, <laughs> so I click the locker with nothing in it, but not the steel shelves, which has something in it. Grand stuff. So there we go, interact with boss, and then eventually we should be able to say, are you ready with pewter? And again, that'll only come up after you exhaust the dialogue and everything with everyone else. And also that'll be persons 11 out of 28 for pewter. Right, before we go into the um, sink into the, uh, let's see, what are we going to call it the sink machine? Uh, yeah. So before we go into the sink machine, we need to speak to Mizumi. Now again, when we do get into the sink machine, there'll be a few new game mechanics that uh, we'll have to teach you and have to go through. So interact with Mizuki and then tell her about the sink gear. So about the end sink gear, the sink, and then sink. Sinking is what we call diving in the sun. And that I basically mention uh, Sinsir and Somnium, which is a Penix 39 and 40. Next, mention Abyss. So ABIS. Kazuki. Not, not amazing, irritable eel syndrome. Um, and then after telling her when it's over, be sure that we mention Unagi. So when this is all over, what we're going to do is mention Unagi. Again, this is one of those rare times we have to pick a specific option for an appendix. So it's the bottom option there. Let's go get some Unagi. Nog, nog, nog. So that should be, if you clicked on the steel shelves, which I'm just assuming that you have... That will be Appendix 41 out of 100. Again, for me, I'm only on 39 because I um, messed up like a complete newsbag. Right. Hey, here we go. Uh, look at that, man. You don't need a collar that big, bro, for Christ's sake. I don't care if you're in the past, in the future, whatever. But anyway, this is the second sink. Now, this is where the timing comes in. Now, every sink that we do, it always gives us six minutes. And to get more time, if you're wondering how you get more time, it's with these things called timies. Um, so basically, what they call it in the game is the flow of time. So basically, if Iber is stopped, time moves in real time. It, it doesn't completely stop, but it goes down by like one, you know, point one of a second. If Iber is moving, the time moves at super speed. <clears throat> um, now, a lot of these sinks or the somniums, whatever you want to call them, also have a branching storyline. So what you're going to see on the left-hand side is the... Remember the one red line that went straight down? Well, it's going to be two red lines. 
So what we need to do is, um, to get the full story anyway, we need to backtrack later on, come back here and grab the other route. Uh, very simple, so don't panic yourselves. Um, but now we can just crack on. Now, what we're gonna also going to get is Appendix 42. That is for more tips for Somnium 3, Time Limit, and Time Ease. So if my explanation is not very good, just go into your... Um, into your appendix and find Somnium 3, time limit and time is to get a real explanation. So there it is, time's expended, there we go. So we will always have 360 seconds. We need to unlock all the mental locks before then. So for now, pull out the ice pick to interact with the picture and then pull out. So as you can see, there's like a little eyeball next to where it said pull out. Now what that would, so it said 20 seconds. So basically what that will do is it'll knock 20 seconds off our time. Every time we do something, it knocks off a particular set or a particular amount of time. But the eyeball you've just seen there, which said half, or you know, one slash two, which is half, that is what the time is. So what you need to do is press the left bumper and right bumper to go across, then press the A button to sort of lock it into place, and then use it, and here it is, the time is explanation, and then use it on um, an action that we need to take. And ba so basically, instead of something being 60 seconds, if you use a half timey, there it is, so it just goes at the top there, that, um, that'll actually put it in half and it will go to 30 seconds time off instead of uh, 60. So again, it is something that we just need to get used to. It'll be very easy to get used to. You can retry as well if you do end up messing up, but I'll try my best to not ever have you, uh, never have you do that. So, uh, what we're going to do is open the control room. So, open the control room, and as you can see, we get another little eyeball. It was a little tiny section. Now, for the first couple of um, Somnium Sync Dreams, we will always get these timies, but later on, they will become a little bit more random, which, again, is fine. Um, it's nothing too bad. So, that gives us two. There it is. So, two timies that we can use now. So, for now, what we're going to do, there's a right and left bird cage. We're going to interact with the left bird cage first. Um, and then what we're going to do then is lift the cage. So we can use the timing. This is where we're gonna actually going to use it. So press the left bumper. And as you can see, where it says lift on the left, it's got 11 and 27 seconds. Now what you need is obviously the least amount of time. So if you go for 11 seconds, that is what's going to add on to the time instead of 55 seconds. So remember, you need to press the A button at the top. You know when you've pressed the A button, when the diamond around it goes red. And it sometimes, a lot of the time it'll tell you timey will not proceed, uh, timey will not be used. So when it looks like that, then you can press left. Now, obviously, I have I went about it the wrong way. I put it to 27 seconds, which, but that still knocks off 27 seconds instead of 55 seconds, if you get what I'm saying. So, yeah, timeys we're obviously going to be losing an absolute lot of. Now, every time you need to retry something, you only have three three retries, as you can see there. Um, but every time you unlock a memory, it's basically like a checkpoint, as it were. Right, what we're going to do then is we are going to interact with the torn paper and piece them together. So again, use the timey. So again, use the one which is least. So that'll um, give you nine seconds right there and then piece together again. So left bumper or right bumper to go across, A button to lock it in, and then whichever one it is, which of course, like I said, was piecing them together. Um, so again, like I said, if you ever think you're going to run out of time, press the start button and then reload your checkpoint. You can also go to the menu and click the green restart button, and then you can just hold the right trigger to fast forward and skip scenes if you want to do that. Right, so if you have a look behind you, now as you can see, when we stood still, time goes down very slow. When we move, time goes very fast. So behind you, here is the panda head. What you need to do, again, using a timey, is we need to stop the panda head. So go to whichever one is all good for you. So we'll just go um, eight seconds or wh whichever one it is. Um, and then stop the panda head. So that is what we need to do. Now, f tactics for a little bit later on. What I end up doing is usually end up getting three timies so that the tiny bar is full, and then I'll go and then I go uh, go through and use the timies a little bit later on. But for now, we've got plenty of time, so we don't need to worry about that just yet. 
Right, so keep going straight and then on the bench what we can see is this little eyeball right here. Make sure to press the A button next to this and that'll be another hidden item. Day 2 Mizuki B. So that'll be the second hidden item there. Alright, continue around the merry-go-round and then eventually we'll be able to jump on it. There it is, so the gate should be open. Now go up to Mizuki, press the A button and then what we're going to do is hug Mizuki. So again, you don't have to use a, a timey because of course we've got plenty of time left, which is fine. So we hugged Mizuki, that's all good. Now, if you finish, like I said, every time um, we do one of these sync dreams, if you finish with more than one second left, you will get um, an album, an, an extra thing in the album. Now, uh, again, for a lot of the time, for the majority, literally like 95% of it, you will get it without even trying. But there was one which I ended up not doing, and I just had to replay at the end of the game. I'll tell you which one that is later on, so that when we get the achievement and the hidden item in that particular sync dream, you can then just uh, retry it, and then go again if you want, if you want to get it there. If not, no worries. But for now, um, that is basically, this is basically it for the first proper sync dream, if you want, if you want to call it that, which will get us the pain, mother, Blood and Secrets achievement. But that is basically how the timies work then. So again, if my explanation was about as good as a kick to the absolute f the absolute bin flaps or the absolute bin balls, then of course feel free to have a look at your appendix and just have a look. But that's uh, basically how we do it. So it may seem a little confusing first, but again, the more we use it, the easier I honestly, I promise you it becomes. So we've just unlocked another appendix as well, which is Time Insomnium, appendix 43 out of 100. And now it's yet another scene. Are you okay? Date. So when we get back into the sink control room, we can go to the left and examine the examine examine the steel shelves to learn about Koteka, which is Appendix 44 out of 100. So pan the camera all the way to the left, interact with the steel shelf, and that will get us Appendix 44. Right, what we can do then? Um, so I did actually try. I was hoping to get the uh, two from before, but I didn't. So that's all fine. So we're going to talk to Puta. And basically, what we're going to do is just go once again through all of the dialogue. So we're going to learn more about Iber and Somnium. And then what we then do is just uh, go ahead and speak to Boss. Go through the dialogue, who's going to ask Mizuki a couple of questions. Then we get to speak to Mizuki. And again, you're just going to exhaust all the dialogue. So basically, to summarize, exhaust the dialogue with Pewter. <laughs> Pewter Bear. Pewter Pubes. Um, boss and Mizuki. In a normal tree, the sinker Of course. Pewter. Continue. You healed the wound. No need to report. What this? Hey, Mizu. When I. Okay. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Yeah. I'm fine now, but I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Unagi, you said you'd take- So you heard that. Aphonia, only her hearing should still- Say Mizuki. Insomnia in your dream. 
Date. Mizuki would not- She does not experience some- You are witnessing a dream. I- You are at the sea- I don't think she- I told you I'm fine. I annoyed you The pressure is- I see she is back to the- Never mind. In the corner. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and they looked scary, so the door was open a little bit, so I snapped. But here is another example of you having to... So here's the summarize for me option. And again, this will only pretty much only pop up when you finish speaking to all the characters that are in the room, even if it's just one. Uh, but you normally need to, like I said, a, a million times again, you need to exhaust all the dialogue. So anyway, we're going into the map. We're going back to Bloom. Pink. Bloom pink. Not a balloon park. So, uh, what we're going to do again, we are going to uh, talk to Mizuki here, basically asking if she remembers anything, and then we're going to ask her what's wrong. So, again, it's pretty much exhausting what she can. Now, when I, I will obviously stop telling you um, about the exhausting of the dialogue options because you're pretty much going to figure that out anyway because, uh, well, for one, you're seeing me do it on screen. Anyway, interact with past the bush. That's a big damn 70s bush. I got corrected on that. I kept saying 80s bush before, uh, but I did get corrected. It's a 70s bush, what that looks like. Um, so, so when we've examined with it twice anyway, Iber and Date will discuss basically the network cameras around and the recording devices on Japanese highways called the N system. Or knobhead system, or it should be DAB, don't or DBAB. Don't be a knobhead system. Anyway, that's a Penix 45 out of 100. And then again here, exhausting all the dialogue options with Mizuki, and then Baus is gonna call, and then just do the same thing as well with her. Mizuki. Yeah, that was it. I think about a week ago. I don't remember. But it couldn't. The Date, incoming call from the boss. Can I hey, I just got the report. So Renji was questioned at a. He didn't give us any new information. Shoko's time of death. No, I told you. He Alright, boss. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, Sunpoke? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that. I found it. Did I forget to mention that our boss is 42 years old and... Why do all Japanese artists make every woman in every game ever just look pucker? And all the men are just pucker as well, to be honest. Everyone's just so handsome and beautiful. That's why I like playing Japanese games. I tell you what, if you were playing, if you were playing any Welsh games, you're probably, any British, well, any British games, you're going to see me. Oh my gosh. Hello, Renju. You look a little dead. <laughs> And that was a hell of a way to go, actually, as well. Jesus Christ, an anchor through the mouth. What a what anchor. <laughs> uh, no, but I tell you what, yeah, that's that's what um, uh, uh, Fallout based all their monsters on. It was all British people. Super mutants. Well, you see plenty of them on a Friday and Saturday night Thank around you. Britain, I'm telling you that. <sighs> Just joking, of course. Please don't hate me. Just jokes. So, no eyeball and big crane through the mouth. That's, that's unfortunate. 
Anyway, this is the end of day two. Now we head on to day three after you've finished spewing and crying. You look awful. My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. You were the first on the scene, so you know this. No way this is a. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me. The serial killer. The new son. <sighs> there is. It's all. The killings from six years. Of course not. We had. It was six years ago. They were each killed. But they did have. She's sleeping. They're going. A few days after the corpses were... The Cyclops is a mythological... So the letter to the... No. In... For one, the... Second, all... We're missing their left eye. The timing of the eye removal is... The original Cyclops killer removed... But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't but do you have another- I'm sorry, Date, I- Bullshit, you- It's a national- How can it be a nat- Date, please, I told you already, you don't need to know- So perhaps... So after speaking to everyone about everything, what we're going to do then is uh, we'll also get another appendix here called Head Office for 46 out of 100. And then we are going to speak to Boss, any other information, and then from here what we can do is go straight, press the white button again and go straight to Sunfish Parker. Right, so when we're on our way to Sunfish Parker... What we need to do then is check out the rearview mirror. There's an obvious looking girl right here. Which of course is Mizuki, so that's fine. Uh, but after checking that out, again, it's just an exhaust all dialogue type option. And then we can finish here by saying, I'm glad you're okay. My name's Date. I'm glad you're okay. It wasn't locked. It I ditched the hospital. You're going to investigate, right? No, it's... You were talking... If you have nothing... Hey, about... Did you know that Mom was the representative of... Scanning all known crap. I'm not okay. Oh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is... So we're going to be coming up to another missable achievement here, then. What we need to do, we need to start off by asking the inspector what his name is a few times. And by and I say about a few times, it's literally, I think it's around six, seven, or eight times we actually need to ask him, which will get us the Your Name achievement plus the inspector for persons number 12. So speak to inspector... Keep asking his name until the Your Name achievement unlocks. What? what? It's Kagami! K 
Kagami. I told you. Hey, you. What? Seriously? Stop bugging him. Excuse you. My best friend. Yeah. Ho oh, ho. Hilarious. Right, so once that beautiful rare achievement unlocks, nah, blamissimo, delishimo. So what we can do here, we are going to examine the counter twice. You can speak to Mizuki if you want, but we don't need at the moment. So examine the counter twice, and then we then should have an option to zoom in. So when we click it a third time, there it is. So click the left stick in to zoom in. Now, we're going to examine Renju's face, which looks a bit, uh, well, good. it's been better, hasn't it? Uh, so, you need to examine Renju's face, then his left eye, his neck, and his body. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, as long as you do his face, left eye, neck, and body. The time of discovery was... So, after that's done. Uh, right, we're all good. Right, now we need to pan the camera all the way to the right. We're going to examine the surveillance camera. So there it is, just in the top right-hand corner. So, examine that a couple of times. Uh, that'll just give us some more background on the case. Next, have a look at the doors just below it for the doorway. Okay, some more stuff. Next, pan the camera all the way to the left. All the way, interact with the oil drum. And that is, uh, if we do it twice, we can now x-ray it. So again, click on the left stick to x-ray that schnoz bags. Now we can examine the triple question mark, which is, of course, if we go below, you can see it right there. It's a watch. Go down, go down. There we go. So interact with the watch. And now we're all like, and it's a watch. It's Britney Wouch. Britney's Wouch. Right, so now we can examine the beer kegs. Oh, man, that is a hell of a way to go. Man, who's got time to be like... You know, a lot of people just go, stab, stab, or I'll just dump you, because, you know, stringing them up and... Oh, man. Anyway, after examining that, we're going to now finally talk to Mizuki again, exhausting all the dialogue options before choosing, uh, and then the, the option for let's head out will appear. Well, there... Yeah. Have any idea where... Lemniscate Matsushita Diner. So for the first time then, this is the sort of game's free roam, if you want to call it that. So it's free move, it basically opens up when the game sort of, uh, it can now let us go wherever we want. Um, but a lot of the time, there's no sort of reward or anything for going to another place first. So generally, as we've just seen, we're going to Matsushita Diner first. Um, but yeah, for generally, whenever we get some free roam or free move, which basically does nothing, it just yeah, lets us go into a couple of different places sometimes. Um, so yeah, we'll just be going from the top to bottom, more or less. So when we come here then, we're going to ask Mizuki if she's been here before, so she's friends with the uh, Ash Ketchum wannabe. Makes sense. So then we can speak to Mayumi. All right, Mizuki, 12-year-old douchebag. And then again... All we need to do is just talk to her and ask her about Ota. So when that's done and we've asked about Ota, you can ask her about the other stuff. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous, eh? Do we like a bit of that old uh, floppy bean bags? Do we? Those floppy nip balls? <laughs> I think we do. Uh, wow, that was a very, very harsh comment there by my uh, Mizuki. Jesus Christ, you got some attitude on you. Coming up thirteen, you boy. Yeah. Anyway. Now we're heading over to Lemniscate, after I just caught, got called a cougar and a, and a, 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 what rhymes with Nedo Flanders, Nedo, or Nido. Anyway, so here we are then at Lemniscate. Right, what we can do, after the opening conversation, we are going to automatically unlock uh, four 
appendixes, which should now put us onto 50 out of 100. <laughs> I mean, this receptionist, uh, by the way, 50 out of 100 appendixes. Um, speaking of 50 out of 100 boobages, um, uh, what are we talking about? Right, no, sorry. Um, we need to stop, stop looking at um, things. Oh, he doesn't talk about her huge, lovely looking eyes this time. Right, so this time we can go ahead and speak to Mizuki. Well, apparently Date tries to hide his obvious and utter lust for L boobage. Um, so Mizuki there asking her if she knows receptionist. That gets us the Wii Party appendix. Then after choosing the other option there for who hired her, um, bit of a sarcastic answer again, and now we can go to the receptionist and then ask her what's going to happen in the office. And then what's going to happen is <laughs> We're getting a little fli 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 flirtation. Um, so for one, if I had a receptionist like this, ay 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 ay. If I had a boss like boss, ay 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 ay. Um, instead, I'm my own boss, and I don't have the best boobs in the world, in all fairness. Um, so all we need to actually do is uh, speak to the receptionist here about Iris and Ota. Um, and then after this, so as soon as we talk to her about Iris and Ota, we can then tell Mizuki, let's go. And again, if the let's go option doesn't appear, um, just uh, smash through all the rest of the dialogue with the two characters here. Whatever there are chance, Sal. Like, who actually speaks like that? It's actually kind of annoying. Doesn't matter. If your boobs are like 68 inches pointing up to the ceiling. So let's head to the Golden Yoko Cho. Um, nothing to do here, but it just introduces the Marble Bar with Big Mama. You know about this place? So here then, what you can do is you can interact and examine the bottles on the counter, the beer tap. You can examine those if you want, but if you just want to progress the story, go ahead and speak. keep speaking to Mizuki until B -b -b Big Mama shows up. I don't want to get drunk. I just want to be sub- Allow me to ruin your stu- st No, you aren't really- Did we- Sat at a table together. We haven't eaten dinner. After I finish working on this case- Date. It's okay. Oh, thank God. Hey, Date. Don't worry. I have. In fact, the conversation about. Really? The topic was brought up set four years ago. After. I told you I don't want. Why? Because. <laughs> really? People have always told me that I have good technique. It's disgusting. Because you don't talk. Date, honey. Long time no see. Hey, Mama. I'm. Oh. Tired? <laughs> Watch the innuendo. Day to the herb. That is some damn stuff right there. I don't know where your chin begins and your boobies end. Um. So anyway, what we need to do now is just go ahead and talk to a ba 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 big mama until we run out of all the dialogue options. We're again exhausted them all, and then eventually we'll be able to say, "I'm going to the bathroom," which will get us persons 14 out of 28. Again? Yeah, real. So daddy wasn't. Mizuki, at company Shoko. Not bad. Hey. I haven't seen him for. I thought I was going to shrivel. I'm only aggressive. 
I heard that she- So who are- No one spe- Promise. Yeah, I'm- I would hope- I was planning on going- Well, the Ren was furious. He blew up? That was the only- That's why I remember- Was it this one? Yeah, the was it at the- Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's- But of course, it wasn't an affair. Daddy. You remember where it- <laughs> Sure thing. <laughs> Iba, get boss on the- What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble. Send someone over. She's not at the hall. Huh, <laughs> yeah. I took her along while I was doing some work, but- I'm Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki? So, after that bit of fun then, we are here at the Kumakura office for the first time. Now... There is a couple of things that we're going to do, and we're actually going to be getting into our first battle. So the battle basically involves, it's literally just a couple of things that we have to do. It's not, it's pretty much just a quick time event. Uh, but it's always worth saving the game just before, in case the game glitches out, or you end up pressing the wrong button. So, smash through MoMA. <laughs> not literally, of course. Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled up. Saw it on the new. And when we can, we can move a character, uh, go up and in examine the dragon first. Bronze dragon. Bronze dragon. And then go ahead and talk to Moma, once again, exhausting all the dialogue options, of course. Don't know nothing of wouldn't know nothing. <laughs> You aren't the chair. Yo, asshole! Date, wait. I did some research and discovered he left to his death. Asus. But moment. I told you. Date, a minute, please. What is? Do you see the sofa in the there is an ash? After speaking to Mama, 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 my Mama, uh, go to the left and examine the ashtray, which will be on the table, just to where uh, um, drugged up. Thug right is right there, and then click in the left stick for the thermal imaging. So examine the cigarette butt. There it is, it's the only cigarette butt there is. And then after we turn that off, basically we can examine the cigarette butt again here for the Klein. So again, you don't have to uh, remember, I mean technically you do, but I'll obviously let you know exactly what and when what's happening. So examine the sofa and then use the thermal imaging on it again by clicking in the left stick. Examine the red part of the cushion. Not um, big ball, not big Bulbasaur's ball, buggity biscuit head, but of course the sofa cushion. Then pan the camera to the right and then ask Moma if there was someone on the sofa recently. Now this is where I actually save it um, for the quick time event fight. Uh, now, like I said, it's not hard, but it is possible to fail if you're not sort of paying attention. So, after saving it, which I highly recommend doing, just in case, then we speak to MoMA. And then we're able to basically examine the door. Um, but, yeah, so even if you do, do end up missing this achievement, you can just, like I said, if you forget to save whatever, you can access your flowchart and just go through this bit again and just come through here again. So, examine the door in front of us, x-ray it, and then click on the... A triple question mark guy behind it, and that'll get us up another scene. My evolver can shoot right now. I should shoot it. Wait! Hmm. What? Never mind. I cannot approve it. Damn it. So this is where the quick time events then are about to begin. So, normally there's only two or three things that we basically have to do. So first up, 
All we're going to do, when it tells you to, we're going to press down on the D-pad. <laughs> and hilarious, the fact that Data only um, speeds up and uh, gets really going. Press the down on the D-pad now. Normally, you'll get literally a couple, like, two or three seconds, wow. if that, um, to complete the quick time event. So once you press down first, no porno mag, sorry, Darty. And then next, what we have to do, we have to fill the bubble by hover over the moving target. And then we'll press the right trigger once we get the button prompt. Uh, button prompt. Holy crap. That's a big ass Gatling gun. Um, but we'll normally do this every single time. So like I said, we need to, there's gonna be a bubble which sort of moves around on the screen. You need to fill that bubble by hover over the moving target and then press the right trigger when we get the baton prompt. And here it is. It's going to be on the left-hand side next to the statue as soon as we pick out what bullet we want. And it's going to be that bullet loot, which looks pretty cute. So there it is then. Just keep it going. It's moving about a little bit. The bubble fills up. Press the right trigger as soon as it's on. Bam. Uh, now, the, button, the um, bubble button prompt is never normally timed. It's only the sort of pressing down of the D-pad, those quick time events. But if you manage to get that without missing, you'll get the Battle Yakuza Counter-Attack Achievement. If you ended up messing up uh, messing up, and for whatever particular reason, just go ahead um, and reload your save to go back to the beginning of the, well, whatever you saved it. So that's why I always end up saving it, just in case. Uh, but we've just smashed that one up. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? So now we're going to get to speak to So. So I am you. No, you are you. No, I'm me. So. Uh, so talk to So, ask him about Shoko. And then So is going to say, Ha, oh, hell no. And then, um, you know, some other words that rhyme with So. Um, then we can just, uh, well, basically, it is, once again, just exhausting all the dialogue options. And then once we are ready to leave. In fact, no, we are exhausting all dialogue options. So yeah. Um, we've now unlocked the following um, 15 to 19 persons out of 28, which is So, Momo, Rohan, Yakuza A, Yakuza B. So go ahead and speak to Momo, Moma, Mama, Moma, And then once again, just exhaust all the dialogue options. And then we should be pretty much ready to go. Now, we're getting work. Us Kumakuras. I heard that the former... Yeah. Nothing at all. I just want to talk about... Rohan was my... He was my big brother. The victim prior to... I believe mo Introduce. You're trying to give me the runner. Indeed. Dante, I have determined that these, even if they are involved, they... Dante. Dante? Um, you remember... Well, he's here now. Got it. I'm on... Where you go? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'll come... There we go then. So like I said, a couple of times it's going to happen. If you exhaust all dialogue with one person and nothing comes up, talk to the other person again, and normally it's them that'll say... Let's say goodbye or whatever. So, uh, interact with the file again. We're just having a little look at the minute just to see. You should be on, like I said, 19 people now out of 28 already. So that is flying by as high in the sky. Higher than George Michael. Uh, anyway, that's all good. You can have a look at the appendixes as well if you want. But you should be on 52 right now. Again, providing you got those ones in the steel locker before going into the sink for the first time. The first proper time, as it were. Uh, so again, if you want to have a look through that, that is also fine. Uh, but what we're doing now, we can just go ahead, press the Y on the map button, and go to Talent Agency Lemniscate. There is going to be another driving scene here, so what we're going to do is just talk to Iber, using up all the dialogue options, so exhausting all that. But if you actually want to move the story along, what we're going to do is just ask Iber, Who are you? Um, 
that moves the story along, and then you've got to basically examine all the dialogue options anyway. So, after that, um, after you exhaust all the... <laughs> it's the scream that does it every time. Uh, so, <laughs> so, now we need to exhaust the rest of the dialogue options to get a call about a person called number 89, which will be person 20 out of 28. What do you mean? Well, you don't usually be able to sum you. Oh, this? Yes, why are you doing... I was bored last night. Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like... Well, I did attempt to shape myself... If you could do that... I will... Why not? Because I... I fear you would eventually... I just wanted to change my look. Think of it as a... Pretty drastic hair. As I said earlier, I can... Victims were displayed. And their left eye is taken. It is possible that... She... I looked into that. Mr. Sajid, he lives in a mansion, a restored... He lived there until he... The Sajima family sold. This caused Kabasaki... True. Uh, we will have to... I am receiving a call. Is this special agent? My name is Akasuka from HQ. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call from a prisoner at... Prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it... What is this? In here? I'm known as... What is this call? I know. Killed Shokunada. And if you let me out of here, I suppose you might say, um... You will kill them, and you'll take their eye. There will be... If you want to stop this serial, I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. However... Do you think there's anything to... I don't know. I don't just like you looking like that, Iba. I love it. And that's not to say that I'm only attracted to AI beings, of course, because that is weird. Although we are coming up to the future and everyone is going to start banging a lot more robots, AI robots. So anyway, so here we are then at Lemnis Gate. Now, what we can do, if you really want to, which I end up doing after speaking to um, um, Ash Ketchum from Wish, we can actually flirt with the receptionist a little bit more. Now again, you totally don't have to, but, well, you know, it's, it's, the boobs have got a hold on me, and I don't like that. So, we can say, you're cute. Nya, nya, nya. I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. <laughs> but, despite my look, I couldn't get into it. How old are you, if you don't mind? I turned 30. You're kid. <laughs> Day? Um, 36, holy crap. And if we were any good at flirting back, we'll probably end up going the most Sizzlack route, saying, Well, ah, you're hot, you're 36, but uh, I guess you could have some weird scars or a fake ass or something. Yes, that was my uh, apparent most Sizzlack from the Simpsons voice, and that was terrible. Uncle Mose! Mm, nah. After all, it means we get. I'm glad. So after going ahead and speaking and flirting with the receptionist here, now we can actually go ahead and uh, <laughs> speak to Ota. Uh, we're going to ask him where he's been. That is going to get him mentioning Juro and the Internet Cafe for Appendix 53 and 54. Now we can ask him about Renju's case a couple of times. And eventually he's going to say he will open up and say Tessa, which is Irish. Couldn't have done it because she's like a saviour, which will get us Appendix 55 out, uh, 55 out of 100. And then, we again, we can just keep spamming all the way through, going through all of the dialogue options, until we can finish the conversation here with, what time did Renju and Iris leave the building? I can tell you're trying to... Tessa's nothing... first time I met her. You don't have to care. And I know I'm not the only one, Tessa. But do you 
this is bad. Around six feet. I went inside. What happened? Date. Iris, come with me. So then this is where the first interrogation will be. Now, again, it's very easy. Uh, it's basically a case of you just have to present the correct evidence. Uh, that's it. But you have to do it first time. So here, like I said, press the X button here. We're going to make another save. It's always worth doing just in case the game glitches out or if you accidentally press the wrong button or anything. Because, of course, like I said, we need to complete these evidences. Ziz, ziz, ziz. With no mistakes. Ziz, 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 ziz. So, smash it all out. Um, what we're going to do first is just exhaust all the dialogue options first before the interrogation begins. When did you find out? This morning. And you were with? You didn't think to call the... I heard you used to work at... That's right. What about the surveillance camera? Here's what Oda told me. Yesterday around... Is that true? What were you doing with... He asked me about... What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket, but I turned him down. What did you do after... I left with Miss... At 6... That must have been... What and after that? I asked Mr. Oki... What do you think of... Uh, I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home or... Yes. Can I ask your mother? You can. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early... This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. Come to think of it. Iris's mom... Hitomi did mention that. So, in the very famous words of Mickey Mouse... Here we go! We've known each other for 20... Oh! You're a little prick! Ha! Huh? Uh, no, I'm just joking. But we are actually going to begin now. So... The first bit of evidence that we're going to present is sedation. Now, you can look at the evidence with the A button or we can show. So you need to press the X button on the correct evidence that you want. So make sure to find sedation. So there it is, the pill looking thing, uh, fifth from the bottom or fourth from the bottom. So press the X button when you're on sedation. So we can do that right now if you want. There we go. And then after a few seconds, it'll automatically uh, go into it. And that'll be the first one done. Next up is going to be the discovery of Renju's body. So the discovery of Renju's body, which is the third one from the top. So number three, discovery of Renju's body. Again, press the X button. And there's that one. And then next is going to be Renju's watch. So there's two. So there's two options that we need to pick now. The first is going to be Renju's watch. And the second one will be oil drum. So, there's two, the two diamonds in the middle right there, so we need to choose Renju's watch first. Okay, uh, apparently I'm having trouble. Uh, <laughs> come on, pick Renju's watch, damn it! Right, there we go, so Renju's watch, and then next up is going to be the oil drum. So, Renju's watch with oil drum, and of course it's the bottom one. So there we go, again, after a couple of seconds, that'll... Uh, lock itself in intertwine as it were and then finally we need to choose three answers and the next one is going to be Renju's weight because man that guy's that, that guy's chunky he's got that squatter's ass uh, no just joking he's skinny boy so anyway Renju's weight first of all which is going to be the uh, middle one right there then uh, the oil drum so the bottom one, the oil drum, and then it's the elevator record, the one just above the oil drum there. So Renju's weight with oil drum and elevator record. We knew we've done that interrogation without a mistake. The interrogation implicate Iris achievement will unlock. Now, from now on, in terms of uh, dialogue, if I don't say, if I don't say anything, like um, I'm obviously going to keep letting you know about specific dialogue options in terms of the appendixes. But if I don't say anything, um, that, that basically means that you're just going to exhaust all the dialogue options. Because we're almost two hours in now, so I don't want to keep telling you as we uh, speak to Iris here. So, uh, just interact with Iris. But I don't want to keep saying, here's a new scene, exhaust all dialogue options. So if I don't say anything, I will be just exhausting all dialogue options. Right, have a look in the Iris in mirror there on the left as well. 
and then another scene's going to happen. And when we get back into the sink room, nothing to do, just pure schmidt getting Date ready for the Somnium for another sinking session. Ah, shit. Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? She's definitely hiding something. Sink with her. Iris is experiencing remsons. Medication is working perfectly. The time limit is six and minutes. Let's begin. Tut tut, Mr. Iris Ballbag, what are you doing? Texting someone like that, man. Right. Anyway, here is the sinking in the vein. Right, so uh, again, there are two routes that we can go down. We're just going to um, go down the one route and then come back later on. Now, before we do anything, when we begin, what we're going to do is run into the fire corner to get another hidden item. So we're just going to smash through all these. Like I said, we've got another four mental locks to do. But from here, we're going to go into the left corner from where we begin. It is in the left, it's sort of left corner behind the TV, uh, because that is what's going to get your hidden item. So what do I end up doing? I end up going to the right, <laughs> which is not the one. We go into the left, the left corner behind the TV. So if you want to save some time and you want to uh, not waste time like I just did, <laughs> there it is then. So apologies about that one, but there we go. Right, so go back to the TV. Press the A button, and then we are going to hit it. Hit it! Now, these are the negative timies. So, you see where the skull is, the red skull? This is called a negative timey. So, basically, every time you get one of these, you can't not use it. So, the next thing that you use, or the next thing that you interact with, you use a negative timey, and that basically adds. So, instead of taking away time, it adds time on. So, that is a negative timey. Some of them can be random later on in the game, which I always just say, if that happens, just um, restart the checkpoint, so you'll have no problems with that. But there is some times that you will pick one up and there's just nothing you can do about it. And it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So yeah, it will always force you to use it like it's going to this time. Which basically, like I said, it adds times two time on it. Right, next of all, what we're gonna do is look directly sort of to your right, which is where we go into the medicine shelf. We're going to investigate the bottle. So investigate the bottle. Because of course that uses less, as you can see, less of the negative timey. So if you cho uh, chose anything else, we would have added a lot more time on. But we're investigating the bottle there. And well, apparently we're going for some exploding times. This is Breaking Bad 2.0, except worse. Because um, we can't cook meth. Which is a shame, because I could do with a couple of pounds, a couple of dollars right now. But anyway, that gets rid of the negative timing, that, uh, and we blew up a frog apparently as well, which is... Uh, I feel sorry for the frog. So, turn directly around, we're going to open the locker. Oh, sorry, no, we're going to the operating tables first, sorry. So directly where the TV was. We're going to perform surgery, which is up. So like I said, in terms of the timings as well, I don't use any... I don't use any of the timies, nor a little bit later on anyway. I get the timey bar full, so there's three of them, and then from then I start using more of the timies. I don't know why, it, it just seemed to work for me. You can, obviously you can find out other ways, whatever works for you. Um, but that's what I'd done. I filled up the timey bar and then used them each time then. It was just in case we couldn't get another timey later on. But anyway, more on that later. So for now, we're going to go ahead and open the locker. You want to check it out? Yeah, two inches of pure heaven. Uh, so yes, directly in front of you then is the locker, so interact with that locker. We're going to open it up. So we're going to open it. Again, whether you want to use a tiny here or not is fine. Like I said, it's pretty much fine for these first couple of sinks because you do get a lot of time. It is later on when we can get a little bit tight for time. Right, 
Turn directly around, go to the knife that just threw out. There it is, stuck straight in the wall. Straight in the wall. Now we're going to throw. So it was up on the D-pad there, so throw the knife that pops out. And then next up, we are going to look inside the oil drum using another timey. We're actually going to use a timey this time. Timey, timey. That word's going to get really annoying really quickly. Um, <laughs> so after this bit done, that is meant to lock three done. So now we're going to look inside the oil drum, which should be to your right. There it is. So interact with it. And then, like I said, we are going to look inside. Again, I've got three times at the top there, so you can make any one. But we are going to look inside. Make sure that the time is used. Remember to press the A button so that it's locked in. Use that. And that is done. And then for the final one. Oh, that looked <laughs> pixely. And then lastly, what we're going to do is shoot the gun. Again, using a timey. I don't think you have to. Um, I, Actually, I think it depends on the time here. So the gun is going to be on the floor. And it is going to be basically directly in front of us. In fact, it's on the shelf, sorry, not on the floor, but it is in front of us there on the shelf. So pick it up. And uh, no, we are actually going to use a timey to shoot the gun because it's 99 seconds, which gets transformed to 16 seconds loss instead of 99. And that one is done. So that will also get us day three Iris A. That's another album. So that'll be album six out of 27. And the vein disassociated persona achievement will unlock. What happened during that Somnium? We saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Well, upon further reflection... It could have been Iris herself. That is a possibility. The Sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. That means that Iris... We did see Congressman Sejima. Not necessarily, I'm sure... A dream... Even if the figure... So we don't know if... Putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? Dream? I'm okay. Yeah, I know his name. I've never met him. You haven't? I'm just an inner. It's not like I have connected. Iris, let me ask one. I won't tell anyone about what is that. I don't know. Ota's the one who. Wrote... You should ask him. Iba, Ota's phone is still broken, right? Connected. Hey. Konami Ota, I know you- At home! Uh, Got it. Wait right- Is Tessa still at the- Yes. If you want me to talk, criminal procedure, you haven't issued an arrest- This kid is starting to get on my- Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita. Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do what- Maybe not. So let's hear it. What is that? 
that... Don't play dumb. You sent that me... Oh, um... Date. What? There's a picture... Bruh, how did we just get smashed out by Ash Ketchum if you ordered him from Wish? He's like the world's crappiest Pokemon trainer. Not Ash Ketchum, he's, he's alright, like. I mean, he didn't catch that many Pokemon and he didn't really win all that much, but he's still okay. He's no Gary. He's no Gary, I'm telling you. But anyway, we just got knocked out by a cheap Ash Ketchum. Uh, so just watch, go ahead and watch the scene. So like I said earlier, if I'm not talking, it usually means that we're just going to exhaust all the dialogue options. And even if it's not, then, you know, it'll take literal seconds because you can just skip through the dialogue anyway. I think he's even got the same Ash Ketchum shoes on. If they were cheaper. If they were from, you know, charity shop. You stay away from my boy! What's wrong? Okay, let's go. Why didn't you chase them? Date. Oh, how am I gonna... Date, listen. Just now, the kill got I sent the address to I- Iris! Iba, the so- Identify the Okiura fishery cold storage where- Okiura? Date, we need to get to the site. Where did they go? Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Don't worry. Right, so, when we get to the police headquarters... Oh, man, isn't it all just kicking off right here? And I'm still confused. I've got really no idea what's going on, except everyone's trying to kill everyone, so... It gets a little awkward. Anyway, what we're going to do then is obviously just exhaust all the dialogue with boss, and then that's going to open up a bunch of free moves or free routes for us to check out. If it were filled with something heavy. You should ask Iba about Okiura Fit. Another connection to Wrench. Currently, Okiura Fit the Cup. So it's a coincidence. They were taken to. Ota's surgery went well. He's. St Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye, because the optic nerve is connected to the brain. Of course. She was at the hospital early. Date. Last night, Mayumi left the perhaps she knows. Yeah, she let's listen to Mayumi. They're giving statements at HQ. 
Jeez, you're finally getting around. Yes, she's fine. I she took her back to your house, so... So Mizuki's... And I'm fairly certain after leaving her alone. Alright, boss. I'm going to investigate. Got it. So when the map becomes available then, we're pressing the Y button and we're just going to go from top to bottom. So we'll go to the cold storage warehouse first. And we'll, what we're going to do is get our 57th appendix here. So when we get here, of course, the scene is going to happen. Well, this driving scene is not really a driving scene. It's just, I don't know. But anyway, here we are, the Harbour Warehouse District. And what we're going to do then, we're going to examine the van twice, and then examine the station wagon twice. So basically, both vehicles, just examine them twice to get the 57th appendix. Who owns the van? The Matsushita fam. It appears as though it was used... Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! Ota's fingerprints were found... Iris's fingerprints were found... Those were the only... Was there anything else? There was. What was it? Ota's cell. The one he purchased too. It slid under the driver. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected. This station wagon is a... Who took the car? The security cameras at the convenience. Ota's fingerprints were also... There is no... The stream of the pull... Correct. About ten minutes late. Ota stole the car. That makes four and a half hours until you. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Neither. Wow, it's cold. Oh yeah, and Iris's left eye was missing, so that's uh, it's a pretty unfortunate to lose your left eye. It's the best eye. Right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna ask the policeman here on the left if he's cold. So just say, aren't you cold? And what he's going to do is mention the NERPS, or the National Research Institution of Police Sciences, which is appendix number 58 out of 100. So that's all we have to do with the policeman. So press B to back out of there, and then interact with forklift A, which is the frozen one. And then we are going to examine the workbench. So the workbench, which is, you know, pretty, it's pretty obvious, square in the middle. And then we are going to interact with the ice cutting machine just above it. Man, that is one hell of an ice cutting machine. Jesus Christ. So, examining the workbench, then the ice cutting machine, and something still feels a little icky and uffy in the air. So, we're going to pan the camera all the way to the left now. And what we're going to examine is the shelves with boxes. There it is, for a little clue. Um, so, if we have a look at the shadows here on the left, there it is. So, there's the shadows just to the left of the boxes. Then press in the left stick to get your night vision up, and there's a little object for us to examine. I mean, we could have literally just walked over, but hey, I like standing still and getting our AI to do stuff for us. So, examine the um, the square object, so we've grabbed that. And then what we're going to be doing afterwards is just taking a look at the blood stain. Wow, that looks awfully familiar. If you play the Danganronpa games, anyway, that does look a little familiar. Take a look at the bloodstain here, what the investigator is looking at. And then what we can do then is interact with the equipment twice, which is the um, camera. So it's basically, it, it, it could have been a hot tub stream or it could have been an OnlyFans setup camera. Either way, I'll watch both. I mean, I don't watch anything like that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mature man. I watch the news and stuff. <laughs> we all know that's a lie. So interacting with that twice then until the um, the word has been greyed out. Now we can just go to Matsushita Diner. So that's where we're going to be heading next. Photo from when I wanted to look. 
Do you know anything about this? Oh, yes, actually. My Oto. When he was younger. Last night. Before. You left the diner to chase after us. Anyway, I don't know what you're... It was when my son... <laughs> I mean, I haven't said anything, which of course you know, you know that we're just exhausting the dialogue, but I just want to say, oh, look at the husband! That is an intriguing look. We've got no chin, we've got a Hitler moustache, the eyebrows look like he's pissed off constantly. Man, that is... You must have been dropped on your face at birth, broski. Sorry. Yee. Packing. I thought you... Date. So, take a look then at Mayumi, and then we are going to thermo her. No, we're going to stick a thermo squat in there. So, we've just examined her. Now, what's going to happen then? At the end of this scene, we are going to unlock Takiro which is the person's 21 out of 28. So if you want to double check that, uh, if you want to, you should now be on person's 21 out of 28. So after all this bit, uh, you know what, actually, actually, this is this is actually incredibly sad. You know, we, we laugh, we joke, but this is insanely sad. This, it hits home for a lot of people um, in terms of dementia and stuff. So, you know, everyone knows someone who has suffered with dementia and it's, it's a horrible disease. It's a flipping horrible disease, man. That's, you know, she thinks her husband Takiro's still alive and she's running a fully fledged restaurant. Oh, man. But she's happy. So you can't, uh, she's happy in herself. But still, incredibly, I find it incredibly sad stuff like that. So I just want to pinch her cheeks and give her a hug and tell her everything will be okay. But we got to crack on. We do have to crack on. we got achievements to get. Sorry, Mayumi. So we're heading to the Sejima residence next. Um, and another appendix that we are going to be getting after this. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it because it's too sad. But uh, man, dementia and Alzheimer's is uh, it's a son of a... It is a son of a bitch. It is an absolute bitch, dude. So, so, here we are. So... So we're going to talk to the cheap hitman right here, cheap agent, uh, we'll call him Agent 69. Um, so we're going to ask him about Iris. Uh, so asking him about Cyrus, uh, Cyrus, Iris, basically gives us uh, another appendix. So if you want to double check, we should be on appendix 59 out of 100 now. Um, and that is Kabaddi. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so Agent 69 right there, that's all you got to talk to him about. Um... You don't have to talk to him about the rest. We can just talk to So So. And we can exhaust all the dialogue options with him. I don't. So, um, yeah. So on. So forth. Yeah. Rise. Here. Sleep. I told you my relationship with. The hey, Iva. So after interacting with So, what we're going to do is examine the bodyguard. Oh, in fact, we do have to speak to the bodyguard about the rest of the stuff, so that's uh, fine. Um, but after that, what we're going to do is use an x-ray on the bodyguard. We are going to see what's down his pants, basically. Which, um, you know, apparently Date's, Date's all good with anything. So, have a look at his... Uh, hey, is that a gun in your pocket? Are you just happy to see me? <laughs> oh, oh, turns out it is a handgun, so he's not that happy to see me. So interacting with the triple question mark right there, that will actually get us bodyguard for persons 22 out of 28. So after this, when we've got all this bit done, we are now going to press the Y button to go into the map and we're going to head to the central hospital next.
Are you okay? Date. But Hitomi. I don't mean anything but I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up. That's when I Her testimony matches what The cops came to pick her up. Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house? Twenty to twenty and the polar bear ran out of the Correct. If you're fast you can just Do you suspect it? Not necessarily She Iris lost her life. They haven't found it. If the optic nerve and <sighs> when I was young, I Monica UI, my I am so thankful. I heard the police talk. <laughs> Sorry for asking. No. I should go. So then after speaking to Hitomi and then we can finally say goodbye, we're going to head to the last place, which is the Date residence. Um, and it'll just be the same thing here. So just exhaust all the dialogues with Mizuki because Date, oh boy, you screwed up. But if you're wondering why a 12 year old girl lives with Date, it'll become a bit more apparent later on. So no, he's not just a... um. He's not a Nedo or a Nido. <laughs> it will come become a little bit clear later on. Oh my god, bruh, bruh. Listen. I get it. Yesterday, I went to the Kumakura. Remember, Mama said Renju had some, so I went to. But of course, I. I'm not afraid of any yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three. Girls shouldn't talk like. That's awfully sex. This is why no one thinks you're. I'm attracted. Uh huh. I keep telling. Bruh, bruh. How embarrassing is this then? So, Mizuki, who is 12 years old and has no real, or oh, looks like she's got any muscles. That's 25 kilogram plates, so you that's two a side, which adds to 50, another two the other side, which adds to 100, and the bar, which is about 120 altogether. So 120 kilos Mizuki was just bench pressing, and it looked like absolutely nothing. My new hero, Mizuki, the 120 kilogram bench press queen. Jesus Christ, bruh, you are something else. Um... Yeah, anyway, after we, we, just to exhaust the rest of the dialogue, I was just in absolute shock and awe that she's just simply bench pressing 120 kilograms there. I've bench pressed 120 kilograms once for one rep. So I'm embarrassed. Very embarrassed. Thanks for talking with Hey, what happened? Why it is? In a fight, you m before I go. Actually, like, wait. No, you must kill Mizuki. Do you know? Um, that is. I kinda get it. Seriously, th what? The best training you could diet, at and if you are all, you will always. I get it, but you're so messy. You can't just say- Huh? I can guess your strength. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? How is that? Uh... You don't have to be no I know I'm weak. Hey, by the- Did you swing- No, I did- Really? But, never ever- yeah, you're in fact you're so strong. Really? Yeah. Promise? I prom let's go up. Where to?
before we reach HQ. Likely because you haven't had a good... Yeah. If my body... Mayumi is suffering... Mizuki did not... Currently... <laughs> there is only circumstantial evidence. The Kumakuras had connect. So has a connection to the Kum. There's a common link. So also might. Because so appeared in Iris's. I am more interested in the higher. I did some research and followed his security staff. So trying to start. Tr There is an important... What is it? The Odoroki ma Fingerprints were... Fi Who? Mayumi Matsushita's. Mayumi bought the chocolate at the con... Please. The chocolate was purchased... Did she go there and drop it? Well... Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the IC. All right. Ota, however... He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a... Got it. Huh. I'll meet you there. By the way, out of all of the dialogue options we just done, um, the last driving one there, we got Appendix 60 out of 100. Um, that was Iba talking about 8 to 12 How are you feeling? stores. Okay. Job done, so now we are in the central hospital. Uh, once again, we're going to get another appendix here. Um, so you can talk to boss if you want, but we actually just end up speaking to Ota. We're going to ask him about all the dialogue options twice. Then we're going to ask him about that thing, which will come up when you exhaust all these bits of dialogue. And then we can examine and x-ray him later on. I thought I needed to protect... Sorry. Her surgery was successful. Yeah. I Any fan would have done what I honestly. Ota's body temperature is rising. I think we can let that go. Yeah, you're right. Were you what? A big pole? Yes, I'm talk. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was prop. That's. Sorry. Then I'll tell Iris about You know what happens after that. Everything you built up here is gonna come- <sighs> But I can't tell- Why not? Calm down and think- The criminal who attacked Iris might have seen the- Whoever did this? No. If you want to protect her, the fast- But to do that- Okay. Remember when I told you about- What did you lie? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, that part is- But after that, I was hanging out not- Is that when you bought your- Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because- This must have been a- I was going to cross the- But when I got- I saw test- Iris was dr- That's what I meant by that- An idle driving without a license is a- So I- Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju. They were leaving the... Two and a half hours late, Ota witnessed Iris. What are your thoughts? This is sounding really bad. But consider the currents. Iris had her left eye taken out by... And if Ota had not reached her in time... What is going on? You mean after... I... yeah. I took... You did I wasn't thinking clear. Why is that so important? So, I drove... Did you... Yeah, but... I... Uh... 
just to make apps. Oh, come on. What do you? So why do you think Ota's um, wriggling his hand around where his genitals look like they are? Well, let's go and take a look, shall we? And of course, um, I, that probably sounds wrong in the wrong context, but x-ray him. And luckily, thank God for that, it's not his genitalia, but it is just a knife. So after this, we're going to whack open his blanket and be like, Mir, I thought you were, I thought you were touching yourself because my boss is... Uh, Let's well, her cleavage is flying out, and that is some that's some top cleavage too, some top. But he just wanted to try and stab me, so um, well, let's see. I wonder where you got your priorities there, boy. Anyway, after this scene's done, we're going for another sink session. Won't be a problem, but are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But... Right, so let's crack into it then again. So we are tiny, tiny AI. Polar bear's walking around, Ota's walking around, and apparently this is Ota's dream fantasy where he's one of those, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, heroes. Sorry, the music in this part of the game is, is phenomenal. <laughs> I, enjoy, I really enjoyed this one. <laughs> anyway, a couple of mental locks to get through, and of course we have to do it in under six minutes again, of course. So, let's crack on then. So again, it's got another route. We'll come back to this later on, which is faint. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is light. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, look at that butt. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Anyway, no more messing about now. We've got to help this douche. So what we're going to do directly in front of us is going to be the icy floor. So we need to interact with it and then lie down on it. And I'm already cold. With I, I bet. So lie down, which of course will get us a one second timey. Now that one second timey comes in handy mega. So instead of it being like 200 seconds, it literally takes just one second off, which comes in mega handy. <laughs> oh man. Ah, oh, dude, this is a cringingly but hilariously good time. Right. Next up then, what we're going to do, we are going to eventually. When we uh, smash through all this, again, obviously you know by now, just keep pressing the right trigger to smash through all this. But if you look directly on your right, there is a plate. There it is. Now, mine's already got a tick on it because I've done this sink once, so I'm just doing it again. But we're going to breathe. Breathe on. So, um, I end up using a timey here just because it takes 200 seconds off, so I would definitely use a timey. Something strange happened. Somebody breathed on me with rancid gingivitis. And it gave me some energy or something. Uh, <laughs> man, this kid's getting wienerish and wienerish. He does get a lot less annoying later on. Pro uh, honestly, he does. Um, so anyway, after this bit, that is the mental lock to unlock. So if you need to retry, you will now um, restart it from here. But now we are going to approach the forklift directly in front of us. So past the wooden box here. And we're going to get the forklift which can move, not the frozen one, which is on the left. So what we're going to do is sortie this. So again, if you want to use a timey, I would highly recommend using the sortie at the timey here and sortying it. And we're not too far from the end now, but we're going to go ahead and grab another hidden item. <laughs> Man, why have you got the most just... I just want to throw like an egg sandwich at you. I just want to get a... I just want to buy a kebab and throw it up your nostrils. I, I don't know, I don't know. It sounds harsh, I you know. Anyway, 
from where we are, turn around, go directly to the left and behind this green uh, shelf right here. Now what you're going to see right now is the next hidden item. Again, I've already collected it, which is another good thing, but the hidden item is right here where we're standing. So that should be day four, Ota B. So that should be a fourth hidden item. Then go directly around all the way to Ota. And we're going to be using another tiny. Ota is still and we are going to... Uh, we're going to cheer. We are going to cheer for Ota. Use the tiny, cheer for Ota. And that will be that. So you should now get um, day four, Ota A, which is another album. Eight out of 27. And you'll get the achievement called Swain, my hero. There. Watch him as he goes. Nya, 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 Anybody a Foo Fighters fan? Yay, nay? Stab. Uh, boy, oh boy, we're going to be heading straight into another interrogation here with Ota, with Asher. So make another save again if you wish. I always do it <sighs> again. It's always just just in case, just in case you muck it up and then you have to do this bit again. Again, if you do end up messing up and you don't save, you can just replay it. That's fine. So first one is going to be Od Odoroki Man, the Odoroki Ran Chocolate. Odoroki? Odoroki Man Chocolate? Yeah, it's that one anyway. So Odoroki Man Chocolate. Um, again, like I said, if you do mess up, you can just go ahead into your flowchart, replay this bit again. It's not too bad, but it's just taking a little bit longer. Next up is the Floral Pattern Kitchen Knife. So, right at the very bottom there, Floral Pattern Kitchen Knife. Press X to show that. And now, Ash Ketchup. We'll just call him Ash Ketchup from now on, because that's what he looks like. And then, finally, for the third and final one, we're going to choose Odoroki Man Chocolate with two cars. Know how it looks. <gasps> His own mom doesn't want him going on a pokey a Pokemon adventure. So Odoroki Man Chocolate. And the next one will be two cars. So just underneath it. That one will be done. And if you uh, got that done with no mistakes, you get the interrogation implicate Ota achievement. However. Um now also during this, basically Ota suggested Mayumi could have hired someone to kill Iris. Date agrees. Basically unlocking another appendix for us, which is called the Conspiracy to Commit Murder. That should be number 62 out of 100. This is the last thing to do here. Watch this short scene, and then we are on to the next part. I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out? Yes! And the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. And you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. Date, the criminal has confessed. Nice merchandise I wanted to... Because I... Killing her was... Well... You were in the polar... That means you... Yes! With the knife, I... I, I wasn't... He fought me! Because the world... Just a quick question, Mayumi. I'm not stupid. Could you explain it to me? Huh? Step by step. 
I can't. It's more like I was able to get it. I picked the... Which garbage? What do you know about this we call the criminal we're after? I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okyu. That's right. Both corpses were found with the same as I... This leads us to believe that the crimes were... So this person and the... They are the... And you're telling me you killed Shoko... Isn't Rinju Okiura the... Rinju's ex-wife. But the two divorced for... Well... I am... You do... I'm telling... I killed Shoko and... Date, there's no point. She's clearly lost. If Mayumi was at the... She may have seen the... You know what I'm going to say. Computer, we're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushi. The sync machine isn't operating to Yesterday's sync... I'll give you the big... How long will it take to fi- Sync. So we can't sync yet, huh? But we need to, or this and- Date. I s- We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. Computer, we're counting on you for those- I'll be back in six- Yeah. Computer is just- so as you could probably tell, a bit of exhausting, a bit of all, a bit of all the dialogue and a bit of all the options. Um, now, for, uh, just for this bit, it's pretty much the same thing again. Um, Ota is the choice you want to make, but if you want to pick the other three just to mess with Aiba, um, choosing Mizuki is, uh, <laughs> is kind of a funny one as well. So, little bits of funny dialogue now and again. But anyway, if you want to just progress the story, choose Ota, and just keep on going until we get to the Masashita Diner. So that's going to happen for the next sort of couple of bits here. We're going to smash out all the dialogues in the next part. The van was... Yesterday's sun. That was just. It doesn't necessarily. Iris had her left. In short, Iris drove the Matsushita. Then they prepared the. After that, I. In the stream, Ota. True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then. From Tessa! Perhaps Mayumi witnessed. It is also possible that me. So she locked. Yes. Consider the possible. Then, this. That's why she pulled out her eye and makes it look like there's another. I will repeat myself in saying it is one of. It's possible. They wouldn't go that. Date. You must. Shoko and Renju. And they both had their left. Whoever our killer is, it... We can't rule anything. Why did you arrest mom? You said you were gonna clear her! <laughs> so worried that my stuff. Of course I hit. That's my mom! Okay? When I was in the hospital, I couldn't believe it. That's why I'm... You asked me why you're... Word is going around. And you and her planned... No 
way, Tessa. She could have pulled it out or asked you to do You're kidding me, right? That wasn't caught on camera, though. You're saying that I stabbed... I'm telling you, I... Then why is Mayumi protect... Why would she think... Maybe because of her condition... Everything is my... But ever since the... The chemical plant... Yeah, we're just barely outside of... When this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant and he was a security guard. Mom worked as a jet. They were both working hard. And you? I was... And they bought me a PC... An idol... And there's a loan on the house. There are too many... Passed away? But even then, I didn't get it. Mom, I'm thinking of... Yeah. I always give up after the... F Not long after... Oh, what do you have the day off? Are you being sir? Oh, right. You oopsie. How can you forget your... Sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since... Are you kidding? What? I ate breakfast and... Oh. Uh, by the way, Ota, what... Why are you making... I'm not teasing you, huh? Don't fuck with me! Mom got sick because I'm such- I was only thinking about- I was so stupid. What's that picture? Looking at this photo one time, when I- I said something really bad to Mom, and it's not like it was an apology or anything. My mom was so- that's what this- Why did it turn out- Mayumi is such a happy little character. This means I hate Ash Ketchup even more now for treating his mother like that. Such a squeezable, huggable mother. And you were a bad son. So, um, well, there's only one way to make amends. Stop being a butthole. <laughs> That's always one good way to make amends. Anyway, so after all that bit, off to the cold storage warehouse now. Um, get away from me, bad son. Yeah. Or you can just pay me lots of yen money. That's also a way that I can forgive you. Date, weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was, but a thought occurred to me. So all we're doing here then is just inspecting both the van and the um, saloon car once again. And then we'll be on our way to talent agency Lemonskate. At that time. Iba, are you sure? We found the child, but that doesn't... If she was... She wasn't in the van or- Of course! I will search for all- Hey, got a minute? Hmm. I I'm with the police. So again, all we're doing here is just um, exhausting all the dialogue options with the driver. Again, I was just having... <laughs> it's her with the big cat. But well, I'll tell you what, Date seems to be very observant when it comes to a big pair of cheeks. A big pair of biobages, as it were. So anyway, after... Perving once again on the receptionist, speak to the driver, it's also the dialogue options again. And then it comes to a point where we need the the quote the dialogue option is listen to the rest of the story. We need to do that twice, ask our last question, and then the 23rd out of 28 persons unlocks, which is the taxi driver, and then we're done with this little area. And again, have a little perv again if you want. I mean I mean it's just data, man. It's it's not me, it's just what's happening in game. Pervy perv pervs. We then arrived at the old hag, of course. About 45 minutes at 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble. And thus, we again, without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the... I follow you. I have one more question. Why did the van go to so... We need to speak with him immediately. Agreed.
So who's ready for a surprise? If you've been wondering what the hell's going on right now, or you're wondering why we keep seeing yeah. Iris dying and whatever dying and whoever else is going nuts, let's have a look at the large vase. Or the large vase. What is it? Or if you're really posh, the large vase. Um, so what we're going to need to do is have a little x-ray inside it now. Now everything points to Sosa Jima at the minute, doesn't it? So have a look at the little x-ray. And... Ta-da! If you're wondering what it is, it's exactly what it looks like. Yes, it is a chopped up body! Got it. So, uh, well, when we do that, we need to um, smash open, or we'll do this bit automatically. So Dali's gonna shoot it open. And yes, that is the decapitated head and body of So Sejima. So Sejima? Yeah, so he's not uh, looking too good, is he, no? So So? No, he's looking a bit So So now, isn't he? <laughs> Anyway, what we're going to do is examine So's body and the Vase Shards. Uh, so then the Vase Shards, which are just above. And then we're going to uh, examine So's head three times before we head back to Ava's headquarters. And now you're thinking, and this is the stuff. This is really what gets me just interested in these sort of murder mysteries. Um, there's Otaboat. Ah! Otaboat. Otaboat the receptionist. Uh, but I, this is why I love murder mysteries, by the way. When it just, it's just twist and turn after twist and turn, and I love it. Everything pointed to Sosajima. As it turns out, well, I mean, Pewter does look like an absolute Pewter schnit, doesn't he? Anyway, keep doing this, and we're going to end up going back to Abus headquarters before heading into the next sink, Somnium Dream. So, in to the, um, uh, this one's called Sinking in the Sustain. Now, uh, there's only one route we, uh, need to take this time, so we don't need to worry about backtracking. But if you do end up missing an achievement, uh, there's a bucket in here for two out of three, which we have to wear again. And an album case file. There's two album case files, so if you miss anything, you can come back here, like I said, anyway, which is all good. So, we can do this one with the careful use of timies in just one particular run. So immediately go to the wall clock and just check the time, which would be up. Now, as you can see, the timey is now a question mark, so you will get random ones. Personally, I highly advise, if you get a negative number, an, an, a negative timey, I highly advise just restarting the whole thing. It's just easier if you've got um, good timeys. So check the date on the calendar. So today's date is, which was uh, the, the calendar was just next to the wall clock, as you can see. So I've got two good timies, so we'll keep going. So have a look at the sliding door. The sliding door. And then what we're going to say is welcome back. So again, this is the point where I start to wait until the timey bar is full of timies. <laughs> timey bar is full of timies. So um, I'll just say welcome back with 60 seconds. So, And then this is where I'm going to start using the use of timies. Uh, I, I don't know why I just done it that way. I found it easier that way. But again, if you if you prefer to just use timies one by one, you know, straight away, then you can do it however way you uh, particularly prefer it. Next, interact with the phone straight ahead of us, and then we're going to ask my husband. So my husband. -o. Again, this is where I am going to use a timey. And uh, you know, it's so easy to forget to select and then actually lock one of the timies in at the top. It's so easy to do that, so just be careful. Of course, make sure that it's blaring red. Then we're gonna say, my husbando. Yes, yes Matsushita Diner, where nobody comes in because I'm losing my mind and it's so sad. But that is the first mental lock anyway. So remember, you can retry and you will always start off 
after each checkpoint, after each mental lock that we unlock. So after this bit, what we're going to do, we're going to interact with the kakin, the cake. So the cake is going to be, if we swing it around, the cake is going to be just in front of us on the table to the right. So interact with it, and then we're going to say congratulations, Ota Boat. So congratulations, Ota, which for me was on the left-hand side. So there we go, that'll do that one. Congratulations, Ota. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, everyone's happy. Ah, uh, now that's, that's heartwarming, isn't it? That is heartwarming. Massive strawberries, by the way. If you like strawberries, that is the cake for you. If you don't like strawberries, then, well, you don't get none. You have to starve. <laughs> or just eat around the strawberry. Oh, there's our... There's the most hilarious-looking character I've ever seen. I've seen worse and funnier, but... His little... I don't know if that's supposed to be like a rabbit with no chin and a Hitler stash. I don't know. Anyway, next up, we're going to inspect the envelope, which is directly in front of us to the left. It was off to the left where the cake was. And now we're going to say, let's do our best. So for me, it was the top option right there. So let's do our best. And again, because it's random, you will have random timings as well. So just make sure to choose the ones that are better for you. Obviously, the least amount of time is what you're wanting to go for, which apparently I forgot to do until a little bit later on, um, which is all good. So now we're going to go ahead and get the hidden item. And it is to the right side of the table. Close to where we're going to get a missable achievement, actually. So as soon as we start pouring with flowers and all that jazz magoni, if we spin the camera around, go to the opposite side, right where the windows are, and you can already see the eyeball just on one of the chairs. There it is. So that's going to be day five. Mayumi B, that's the next hidden item. Right, so now we are going to now do three autographs for an achievement. So if we just pan the camera around to the right, or apparently I'm going all the way to the left. You can see where, the, where it says autograph. So press the A button on there. I don't think... Um, I think you can do this in any order. But we're going to be using timies anyway. But we select the, I selected the left one first. Again, with timies. Always make sure that it is with timies. So make sure to select the left one first. And then press A to go on autographs again. Then select the middle one. Now this one does have... A negative timey so obviously it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt so if you feel like you're running out of time if you get the achievement and you feel like you're running out of the time or you you know you're a bit paranoid about time um, it, like I said just restart the checkpoint and you will go from the last mental lock and then you can just uh, forget about this one and you'll get a lot more time so now we can choose to the right that'll get us the achievement called crazy awful customers but again, if you are worried about time, like I said, we've only got 62 seconds left, then simply just restart the checkpoint, and then you can just miss out this autograph bit, and then do the rest of it uh, without grabbing those. So, next up, don't go anywhere just yet. Have a look at the floor right where we are, and you're going to see the bucket right now. So, we need to wear this again. So, again, let's wear it again. Make sure that you've got a good timey going, especially now. Uh, you know, that any particular day would be fantastic there, Kiao. So, wear let's wear it. So that'll be the Protect Your Head Achievement 2 out of 3. And now, last couple of things to do. We're going to interact with the Odoroki Man sticker and ask Chocolate. So it's just sort of off to the right of where we were. Then choose Chocolate. 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 Chocolate! And if you're a Spongebob fan, you'll know exactly what that is too. So again, if you want to put a time in, make sure it is the least amount of time possible. So as you can see, mine was 17 seconds. I did have one for eight. Uh, I kept messing that. I kept doing that. I <laughs> kept, kept choosing the wrong ones for a while, as it were. So lastly, we are going to use a timey and advance the time on the wall clock. Eventually. Oh my gosh. So yes. Oh no, not 30 seconds. So there's the wall clock off to the left, press the A button. A wall clock. And then remember, you need to now use another timey to advance time. So we need to advance time, which is right on the D-pad. Now remember, so I'm using one for 14 seconds, which means that I finish. Now remember, we get a specific album um, 
an extra album if you finish with one second left on the clock. So there is only once that I, again, I tell you again, there's only once that I didn't do that. Um, and I'll tell you exactly which one it is, but that's because we had to have a look at rabbits and do all types of other stuff before. Um, so yeah, so using timies carefully, as I said before, make sure it is the one with the least amount of seconds. So if you got one for 17 seconds or one for eight seconds, you're obviously gonna choose the one with eight seconds. That makes all the sense. For some reason, I my brain didn't get the memo until about halfway through the game. So that's nice. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, just noise slash noise. Anyway, that's all good. We've done that now. We will get the sustain in indelible memories achievement. And then we will be coming up basically now to the end. So we're going to be heading off to Central Hospital next. We're going to ask Ota, exhaust all the dialogue here. And then another bit of a short scene, a couple of short scenes. And then we will get the Ota route end achievement. And that is for basically finishing off Ota's route. That makes sense. I'm so what do you mean? Yes. But mom, why did uh, I'm sure that's when I dropped the chalk. And I ran away from the warehouse. So that's why. I'm so sorry that it's my fault. Ota. But there's one thing I don't get. Oh. Yeah. I was like the number one. I stuck some of my duplicate. You and Mayumi have strong memories. Yeah, but I guess they're That's not it. Oh, huh? I thought you liked the Momonoki. No! It's Odoroki Man! Oh, sorry. You're, you're not just a dummy. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'll buy you a real Momonoki. Stupid. It's not Momonoki Man. After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to- My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time- My dad really How dare you speak to your- Because Mom- You're stupid to call your- Your mother bought you- You need to think I didn't raise- But- When she comes back- My dad told me to apologize- But the guilt- I hurt my mother, you know- It didn't go away, after that- But a few days later, my- Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day. Why don't we get a gift? A gift? That was the first time. You know how Mom... We should think of a way. I'm sure my dad was trying to... So, hon, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy... And my dad saved up a little money to buy the... And when Mom got our gifts... Oh, I don't des... Say cheese! Sorry, I lost track of time. It could be due to her memory. To it is. <sighs> she was thinking of nothing, but her head was full. The chocolate you loved as a kid. Ah? Uh? I don't know. No, you. She wanted her. I was always so selfish. So f Oh. Iris is away. R yeah, she's due to be Thank God. You saved her life, you Maybe. She's a great oh girl. Oh my! I'm looking forward oh, to it! fiancé! Oh yes! Yes, that's it! <laughs> Jeez, Mom. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> looks like another all nighter.
but they may not connect direct. I sent a video. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car. You witch! There, stop. I noticed this earlier. Do you see the walk on the floor beside- Yeah, what about- Look close, the bottom part is curved. Iris and Mayumi. Yes, I have prepared an enlarged emboss. The you witch! You, you stay away from my boy! Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? No. Everything's fine. Iris has the kitchen. The video continues. Iris took the knife and- But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear- Whatever, we can- Yeah, what's the- More thorough autopsy results of Renju's- An object. A clump of organic- Because it was partially digested. Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. So then, now we are going to actually start doing some backtracking um, in terms of going back to specific sinks and taking the other route, etc, etc, to get more story going on. And this is how we do this then. So, we are automatically going to be placed into the flow chart. So what we're going to do here is, like I said, there's still many mysteries left unsolved. So what we're going to do, we're going to press the B button here to back out of Sayokuzai. So let's just pre again press the B button here to back out. E eventually. <laughs> Obviously could have edited that down a little bit more, but still, here we go. So then we're going to scroll over to day four Monday, sinking in the swain. There it is, so it should be on the red route. So day four Monday, sinking in the swain. We'll press A to zoom in and then begin the sink. And then we will press yes to proceed. And that doing this also gets us another appendix for tips, branching paths. So that is appendix number 63 now out of 100. So again, this time we're making the complete opposite um, decisions that we were doing last time. So we should have already got the hidden item as well. If you didn't, remember it's behind the green, uh, where the, for the unfrozen forklift is. It is just behind the green um, shelving unit, whatever you want to call it. But you should have got that by now. Again, peachy butthole right there. Uh, he's all good. So, again, now a lot of the time I end up just sp spamming it forward even more. We've seen it all before. But first things first, we're going to lie down on the icy floor once again. So just go ahead, do that. Go on, lie down. Dude, my feet must be freezing. I My whole body just shuddered. But that is a nice big bit of ice. <laughs> oh, his face, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, polar bear, I he was Master Ball! He was Master Ball, Polar Mon! <laughs> ah. That's what I just assume uh, Ash Ketchum's voice would really be like in real life. So, now what we're going to do directly in front of us, just past Ota, is that we're going to roll the oil drum. Somehow we've got four minutes left ready. Son of a... So, we're going to roll it. Again, use a tiny here if you so wish. Um, I end up doing it, so I do end up using a tiny. But we are going to roll the oil drum. Uh, there's not a lot going on here. There's only two things left that we've got to do, actually. And the next thing we're going to do is interact with the power board, which is just to the left of the unfrozen forklift. It's to the right of the frozen forklift and to the left of the unfrozen one. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this kid. He's making me laugh with his cringy hilariousness. So as you can see there on the left-hand side, we just took the right path now. So eventually we are going to be able to interact with the power board. I'm going to tell you where it is now. Okay, so from here what we're going to do then is obviously pan the camera around. We can drop down. We're going to go towards the forklifts here at the back. It's basically, it is the big massive thing in the middle of the two forklifts. So, uh, run, 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 run as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm a ginger AI man. Woman. So we're going to throw something. Again, make sure to use a timey, because that is a lot of time to be lost. So use a timey. 
Oh, God damn it. Keep forgetting to press the A button. And we're going to throw something there. And finally, what we're going to do is nip over to Ota and we're going to encourage the boy. Use a master ball on a ratata. Do it. <laughs> then you will try and beat the Elite Four with nothing. Nothing. Unless a ratata wants to chew through their ass and stuff. Anyway, this time we are going to encourage Ota. So again, use the timey, encourage him. That'll end this part. Dante, you've hit the limit! Time's up! Stop! Stop it! What are you thinking? You can only stay insomnium for six any longer and you risk it. Fortunately, there were no not necessary. Well, Ota. So to get an easily missable appendix here, what we're gonna do after all this, as we see something incredible going on. Oh, more stabby stab. Um, what we're gonna do is talk to boss and we're gonna offer her an apology. That is going to get us the Dom P appendix. So offer the apology and that'll be appendix 64 out of 100. And then what you can do is just spam through the rest of the dialogue with Pewter. And then talk to Ota. Again, exhausting all the dialogue options. And then it will move us on. Ota. Now that it's like I... Date, I checked all of- None have a record of a patient- If what I saw in Somnium is how- He definitely would have- Perhaps a friend or accomplice- You think there are multiple- That is not what- They may have- Because I was scared, the killer could- But you did- You know what I'm talking- Oh, sorry. I have more experience- So we know that the culprit- are you all right? Happened. You drank too much at the club. Liar. I remember everything until. He probably went back. Boss told me. I'm off to. I see. Oh, Dante. Hmm. Hey, will you take me with- I told you yes. Boss said you need to find- Let me help you. No. Dante! <laughs> D 
Date, she is lonely. Mizuki has not been with Rebo clearly, a bond that was... Fine. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Date, I must admit, the clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg... We need to revisit. It's possible that we might... F so after this, then, we've got a lot of free move locations now. So if we go on the map, we got seven to go through here. So, again, for a lot of this, we're just going to keep going from place to place, and we're going to just be exhausting all the dialogue options. Um, and, and that's it. A um, couple of appendixes we're going to pick up. Again, I'll just let you know where and when. But for now, we're just going to go exhaust everyone's dialogue options, go to the map, go to the next place, and just keep on spamming it on from there. Daddy was on... That might have been the... Other than last... But in the end... I couldn't... You're kind of tame now. Well, I guess that's a... That's a this is what I... A family... A perfectly... That's why maybe... I... I was never... I didn't listen... I couldn't... That's why mom... And why... And why they got... Then mom... And start doing biz... If I was just a... Mom wouldn't... Piss... Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? What? I'm not abnormal. Sleeping at not knowing that her mother... What? Date really... There's nothing I can do. I'm trying. <coughs> it was my mistake. What do you mean? I thought that mothers loved, but some mother, well, no. But she has a hard time. Shoko was never hugged by her. But that doesn't mean she- Someone has to- If I could have- I What about ca- I did rec- No... She wouldn't hear it. Mizuki and Shoko are pro- Even with all of the- I have a company now. Hey. I mean, to be honest, Shoko and Renju kind of look like, uh... You know Ned Flanders from The Simpsons, his parents? Oh man, we've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas, man! Yeah, they kind of just remind me of that. Sort of posh hippies. Up their own ass hippies, maybe. Yeah, anyway. So, that's um, <laughs> that part done. We just, like I said, we're just going from the, the top to the bottom. There's any particular order that you can do it in, of course. Um, Now, you... Sorry, you should have got... When you were speaking to Shoko, she would have automatically mentioned the buggy, which would have been the Appendix 65 out of 100. So, sorry about that, I forgot to mention that bit there. Um, so now here we are back at the Ikumi Shrine. Um, and again, all you're gonna do is t just talk to Mizuki, and then we're gonna head to the Cold Storage Warehouse after this. Coming here reminds me of when I... I have nothing more to teach you. Well... This Mizuki, is on you. Run for it! Uh, wait for me! By the way, what are... Oh, did I not tell... No, I didn't want to... They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened... They targeted some other kids instead. I... Bro... She... Hey... I told you, I don't...
What did you ask for? To leave this boring pl- And you? Because if- I mean, to be fair, it's incredible how- how bullying can take things to another level. Somebody gets bullied, and then that girl who got bullied ends up bench pressing 120 kilograms without any trouble. That's insanity. So, uh, I, uh, tell you what, I wish when I was got, when I was getting bullied in school, I kind of wish that was the, I had the same effect on me, and that I could bench press 120 kilos at um, 12 years old. But anyway, here we are in the cold store warehouse storage. We automatically unlock the cower, the appendix 66, during the opening conversation. Now we need to examine the blood stain, and we need to examine it twice. Which will get us another appendix, the Institute of Sciences, for 67 out of one, 67 out of 100. So after this bit, we are going to examine the blood stain again. There we go. And then after that, we can now head to the map and go straight over back to Lemniscate, and we're going to get an, another missable achievement here as well. And it's another hilarious bit of dialogue as well. Think there was any? Tell them we need it analyzed. The culprit's blood is. Yes, sir. Under. You did it, Date. We're making pro- If this goes well, but it might take some- Got it. So, as you can imagine, then, the reception is still there, and we are going to get an achievement that involves said receptionist. So, uh, when we get here, speak to El Boobage, uh, Senor Buberita, El Bubos, and then say, I want to touch your two big... Oh. <laughs> <Seriously>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, puffed out her cheeks. See? That's that's funny. I made you think she was talking about something else, but it was her cheeks. So we get punched in the stomach there by, again, Mizuki. Once again, remember, she can bench press 120 kilograms, which is huge. So that I bet that hurt a bit. Anyway, speak to the receptionist again. Now you need to say, let's go to Atami together. And you need to say this about five or six times. So just keep asking her, keep saying to her, let's go to Atami together. And then a little cutscene's going to end, and then the achievement's going to unlock. But that won't be the end of the game. Wait. Do I look like... Date, you're being... Do you know? Let's go to a time. And there we go then. So there's two murders happening, but we decided to just nip to a Tommy there with Senor Buberita, Count Bublidge, and um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the game. Except that he's like, actually, nah, let's just nip back into it, which we are going to do. So we need to reopen the investigation here. So you don't need to go back or anything. Just select the reopen investigation and then uh, click talent agency Lemniscate, free move. And then, of course, select yes to replay it. So we got the Date's Atami date route end achievement as well. But, you know, sadly, we've got work to do, which is always a damn shame, isn't it? Right, so all we're going to do here, we're going to now just exhaust all the dialogue option with Mizuki. We don't have to speak to El Recepciano anymore. So just keep talking to Mizuki about everything. And then it's going to be the same for the next couple of minutes. Mizuki, could you go... Looks like it. Good idea. You might find something.
Um, not because this is where I told you before. I was the one who said it. Yeah, nothing we can. Mizuki! And duh. Yeah, total. Oh, I don't want. I heard that you fought off. That's so cool. No, not well. I calling me. I didn't call you. It is a good thing, Iris. Even more irritating than. Have you heard about I- The nurse was talking about- That she's still in the- uh, Apparently the sur- Hey, Ota. To wish that Iris- Yeah. Yeah, let- So that's the situation. I s someone with no. I see gay people on TV. The LGBT community is rich in sense, and they share a common, and they choose how to live their lives. So because of all that, I really, and that means you too. Oh, I love it, bro. You can transfer it to my. Account. Now stop right there, Mizuki. You ended up actually just sounding like one of those, you know, those guys that go, uh, I don't know nothing against gays. I had a gay friend once and oh, yeah, yeah. When actually they really want to be gay themselves, but they're too, you know, they're too gaminated to say. Uh, yeah, just sounding like that kind of answer over there. Oh, I got nothing against gays. Oh, I had a gay friend once. Oh, he got, oh it was great. He had a big uh, slobber double decker and it was fantastic once. But, uh, no, 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 no. So anyway, again, that's uh, just um, had to get that bit out there. That's what the answer sounded like. Otherwise, we're just going to talk to B -B -B Big Mama. Um, but actually, speaking to Mizuki there about um, uh, ed any problem with gay people, that gets her to mention the LGBT, which is appendix number 68. And obviously, completing all of that also gave us the appendix 69 out of 100, which was a Swiss army knife. And after this bit, again, speak in to everyone, that's all good. Now we can press time to go to the Abus headquarters, and there's nothing else to do except watch a cheeky bit of scene bags. Sate, a call from- No, wait, if I take the call, the zoo- Are you talking to your- Exactly. I can put it on- Please. Date, are you with Mizu? Yes. What's I need you to come to Abyss Head. I was just heading there. This order comes straight from the... We don't have the power, so... You heard her. Why? Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. And don't worry about... I told HQ to take it easy. It'll be over soon. Nope. Besides that... Jeez. Hey, Date! Sorry to make... But I have the results of the... What did you find? It's just like you said. The one is dead. Uh, huh? Well, we cut the... We couldn't find any matches. 
That is not surprising. H what now? What? Do not pin. I have a piece of information. I what is it? So, if you're ready for a surprise, now it's the time that we're going to have a look. So, there's somebody looking at us directly in front of us, just to the left of the inspector's head. There it is. And I wonder who this is. Let's zoom in to find. Da -da -da -da! It's So Sejima. So. So Sejima seemingly didn't have his head and his whole body chopped up. Well, now you're probably thinking, what the hell's going on? And, um, yeah, we, his left leg, he's having a bit of a limp, so... So Sejima! So, yeah, it's all, um, it's all going nuts. All going nuts. Right. So, what we're going to do then after this bit, there is a box that we're going to zoom in. Not just that. We saw him in Iris. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko. Date, the only thing we have so we also do not have any as Why would he kill? So we're going to be getting another appendix here, the saliva DNA test one. And when we speak to Iber, we need to choose the option, the Kumakura's office. And eventually, when she stops going on, there we go. So interact with Aiba. And then choose the Kumakura's office, which for me was right on the uh, D-pad. And again, that'll be the saliva DNA test, appendix 70 out of 100. And then that is where we're going to head next. Exactly. And some busy stuff's going on. Wait a moment. Hey, what are you doing here? You fucking with us, old man? Date, don't bother. Hey. Where Poor girl got one of her eyes. Sorry. And you're here for the Yeah. So if I could walk. Correct. Alright. Sausage. Hey, guys. Yes, sir. I didn't touch him. Right, another easily missed ap appendix here. What we're going to do is four cigarettes in a row. We're going to choose the very left one, which is called Rookie. So we're going to select the Rookie cigarette here to unlock the Hippocampus and Spider Crab appendix. That's 71 and 72. And then select the very right cigarette, which is the Klein cigarette. So uh, the Rookie one is just to get the two appendixes. The Klein cigarette is to move the story on. And then we've just got a couple of scenes that we are going to watch. You are automatically going to get another appendix when we are driving. That's the Soki Soba one. So you'll automatically get a 73rd one as well before we head all the way home like Am's Piggy. I'm counting on you, Pewter. If the DNA on that cigarette butt... There would be no doubt that so... How long will it take to analyze? How is Mizu... They finished questioning her. She should be there. So, Sejima. We don't know that for sure. Anyway... Yeah. It was so all along. He carved out Iris's eye and probably killed Ren. Making so Sejima. Thank you, Pewter. Don't thank me yet. Yeah. Boss. Boss, listen. The I know. I got. Then you already. I'm heading there, right? Heading where? So and the head office have been tightened it for. Are you sure you want... That's not... <sighs> Mizuki! Shit!
Bazooki. Aye, aye, aye. So it's all kicking off now. Now we need to try and find Mizuki. Right. What we can do, um, you can, you can interact with things for a bit of funny dialogue. So I end up interacting with the Ado Rabbit. Uh, <laughs> Date, I'm, me and Date are exactly the same. Make jokes at all the wrong times. Um, if you want to know where she actually is, she's in the left stereo speaker. Um, but I was just having a little look around for a bit of funny dialogue. It's all funny. But anyway, uh, look at the left speaker, examine it, use the x-ray on it, and then look at the speaker again to find her, and then just once again exhaust all the dialogue options with her. And then we go into so, so, so. Not have it look more sp Mizuki! Dante! Her I know, I know. You're late, by the way. You're never there when you need Just to be. Just like six months ago. <laughs> I don't believe this. Not hurt my mouth. What? We identify the and also the Who? Congressman So So? Do you know him? Kinda. I've seen him on TV, but why? I don't I Three men. The door. No. It, hmm. Mizuki. Bring it. Date. He killed. I saw. It. If I turn back. But after all that is all done, we are now going to be coming up to another shooting event. And remember, to get the achievement, we need to have no misses. So we're going to make a save uh, as soon as we can. It's always worth doing it. Uh, yep, so it's always worth making a save, like I said. Right. So, like I said, you can reload the scene, but it is faster to just reload if you end up messing up for whatever reason. So, first thing that's going to happen is we're going to need to mash the button. It's going to be a random button for you that appears on screen. So you're going to need to mash the button and again. You'll have about a second or two in which to, a couple of seconds in which to do it. So it is going to start eventually. You tell any man there's a porno mag or a porno video nearby and his heart rate and his attention to detail will be incredible. 100% peak performance. Right, this is where the button mashing comes into it then. So for me, it's the A button, so just spam whatever button it is for you. Okay, that's the first bit done. Next, we're going to have to just press the right trigger button once. Huh? Where'd the porn go? What am I shooting? Above us. Above us? No time to explain. I tell you, put a pair of boobs in a man's face, and once again, his peak performance, as I said, will be at 100%. So this is where we're going to press the right trigger then, as soon as it appears, like now. Now. Right trigger. There we go. And then finally, what we're going to do is, you need to hold the... Uh, hold down on the D-pad and press the random button that appears next to it. So it might be down an X, down an A, but you've always got to hold down the D-pad. And then whatever button appears next to it. So for me, it's down an X. There we go. So make sure to press them at the same time. 
We're not quite done yet. We've still got a little bit left to do. So if you want to, the next time more dialogues start in, you can actually make another save if you want, if you're feeling a bit paranoid or whatever. Um, but basically, we're getting Appendix number 74 here as well. The Cap... Cap Psychin. Cap... Cap Psychin. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's Appendix number 74. And this is the second part. So again, if you want to make a save, it's always worth doing. Just because, obviously, there's so much dialogue, etc. Oh, and apparently you've got to wait a little bit anyway. So... <laughs> that's noise. Right, so let's try now, shall we? Let's make another save here. Should be able to. Right, okay. There we go. So we can't just do two consecutive saves quickly. Which is... Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Right, examine the sliding door in front of us. Then we are going to need to examine it and then x-ray it this time. So click on the left stick there with the x-ray. Examine the triple question mark. And as you can see, so 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 has Mizuki in a headlock with a gun to her head. That's not good. Um, so again, if you didn't save yet, highly advise doing it just now, just in case. But we're going to come up to the second part here. So what we need to do, we just have to press the button. Again, it's going to be a random button for you. But you need to just press whatever button it is that appears on the screen. Are you ready? Yeah. Go! So it's going to appear here now. There it is. Press whatever button it is. And then what we're going to need to do then is aim the cursor at the target once again to fill the bubble. Remember, it will move. So just keep filling the bubble up. Keep moving it. And then as soon as it's full, hit the right trigger. And skablamo, Marge. It's all done. And that will get you the Battle Electric Shock Bodyguard achievement, providing you got no misses with that one. And then that's pretty much the end of this part now as well. Uh, we do just have one more thing left to, left to do. And then when we get here, what we need to do is examine Mizuki and protect her. So examine Mizuki, choose protect her. And then what you can do is examine So and then shoot him. And... Yeah, it's going to come up now. Yeah, sorry. It's going to come up. So, um, <laughs> so I end up getting shot. So, examine. So, shoot him. Again, not like you've got much of a choice going on in there. So, choose the whatever option you want. And um, now we're going to end up doing Mizuki's route next. What? What did you say? Thought I know even the best of us can be taken out of commission by a simple cold, but I always thought Date... But instead... You make it sound... Date has an artificial eyeball... It's strange. The problem lies in... Don't worry about it. It's true that Dot. Oh, that's all the evidence thanks to Dot. He's lost somewhere. Maybe. Looks like I gotta go. See you. So, after all the dialogue there with Boss, we, um,. Once we talked about Date Soul, by the way, we would have got another appendix there, so 75. Right, next we're going to tell him to wake up. Grade a. Why did you protect me with my own King of Idiots, oh yeah. Um, so yeah, just keep spamming the wake up buttons. 
uh, of the wake up option there and eventually we will be able to leave. So remember we should now be on 75 out of 100 apexes. And then we're going in for another bit of sinking. Hey. Dot, what happened to your promise? Do you want to save Date? Yes. Then I'll finish my thought from earlier. There's one way we can bring back Date. Someone has to sink into his brain and guide him. Told me a thousand times. I'll bring you back. I promise. So then, this is actually the one that I ended up missing. So obviously, if you don't finish with more than one second remaining, you end up missing um, um, something off the album. So, what you should get is 12, because there's a couple of things to do, I actually ended up uh, not getting it. Um, in this one, but it's fine, because you can literally replay it, and it takes me a minute at the end of the game. So again, if you do end up missing something, you can either replay the last checkpoint and go from there, or, you know, just wait until the end of the game. So for now, we're going to taste the stew. So, we're going to taste the stew first. I'll try eating some. Yeah, try it. Try it. And what does it taste like, Mizuki? Does it taste like Mipuki? Because <laughs> that's how I make my stew, baby. Right, after this bit's done, what we're going to do then, after this first mental lock is unlocked, we are then going to throw the police ID. Now, it's just on the table, eventually. So if we turn the camera around to go straight in front of us, the police ID is straight in front of us. So pick it up. And then we're going to throw it. Uh, so again, it's up to you, whatever you want to do with your timies. Again, I just wait until the timey, the, as long as the seconds are not mega, like 60, 70 seconds or something, 24 seconds isn't too bad. Right, so that opens up more bits for us. So interact with the trash can directly below us, and then we can choose look, look closer, Lenny. So make sure to choose look closer. Okay. And then after we've looked closer, and then bring your parents to school. Ah, see, so now, you, now you're getting it, why a 12-year-old is living with Date. It's not because he's a Nido Nedo. It is because he was best friends with the parents who are now pretty much sliced and diced. So, uh, we're going to listen to the left speaker, literally in front of us right there. So again, we're going to listen to it. So now it's worth putting a couple of... Time is in. Again, remember to use the least amount of seconds there, so it'll be eight seconds. So only eight seconds comes off your time. Hmm, 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 hmm. Right, Addo Rabbit is on the right speaker. Now, this is for an achievement as well, so you can tell Addo Rabbit. There it is directly in front of us, just on the right speaker. And what we need to do for the first time is tell him it's ugly. Now, you will get, uh, you can use a timey, but you will get a negative one. This is pretty much all is going to happen to you as well, so make sure to tell it it's ugly. You ugly little ting man. Where's the rest of your teeth, dog? Oh, <laughs> Dutty, what's that a rabbit doing to you, bro? <laughs> well, anyway, that is mental lock number three unlocked. Now, to get rid of the negative timey, what we're going to do is smell the bed. Now, um... <sighs> I mean, it's got to be done, but, you know, if you were, if you went into a single man's, it's my bed. um, here we go, so smell the bed, but yeah, if you went into a single man's apartment, the last thing you're going to be doing is pretty much smelling the bed. It's pretty much commonly known that men only, single men only change their bed sheets, I think about twice a year, which sounds about right, that's what I'd done when I was single, I know, disgusting. So we're going to knock on the door anyway, door. men are disgusting. And uh, for some reason, women like some of us. Um, we're going to knock on the door. So again, use a timey if you want. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're all gross. Women and men, we're all bloody disgusting in our own way, aren't we? Um, 
<laughs> so that is what makes it equal. So we're now going to go ahead and sleep on the sofa. So interact with the sofa and then choose the sleep option. I was sleeping. Oh. And with that one done, what we are now going to do, now this is where the time for me um, went quite a bit lower. So what we have to do now to get the add a rabbit achievement, we now need to go ahead and lift the fridge. So pan the camera to the left, you can see the fridge. So interact with it, and then we need to lift the fridge. So even with the timies that we've got, of course, that still adds quite a number of seconds on for the ending. It's where we've got to speak to Date three times. The time goes incredibly bad right there. Um, but there's the second Addo Rabbit anyway. And then right next to it is the pot. So what we can do is turn up the heat on the pot to find the third Addo Rabbit. Now, what, what will happen... Again, turn up the heat. It's, it doesn't matter whichever one it is. So what's going to happen now is we're going to get the Addo Rabbit achievement. But if you want to finish this sink with more than one second remaining, I highly advise. And then you can get the um, uh, album achievement a little bit earlier than I do, of course. If you want to do that, what I highly advise now is just to um, restart the checkpoint. So restart the last checkpoint. And then you don't have to go to the fridge or turn up the heat. You can just crack on and that will save you a lot of time. But if not, that's fine. We can just come back to it later. But I do recommend um, restarting the checkpoint. Turn directly behind you where Addo Rabbit was the first time to get the hidden item. And that will get us another achievement there. The Dream Documentation Duty Manager. And then what we can do is go to the back. Kick Date's coat. So we need to kick Date's coat. Yeah, eventually we are. Okay, there it is. No, it's not right. Of course it's right. You can kick any coat you want. It's not going to hurt anyone, is it? Meh, meh, meh. Right, anyway, uh, what we're going to do then, we're going to examine the backpack. So if we pan the camera to the left and onto the floor, we can see a backpack. Mm, there it is. It better have some food in it and nothing that'll kill me. So examine the backpack and select this charm. Then we also select this charm. Uh, again, using the timey. Now, all we've got to do for, to finish it off is yell Date's name three times. So like I said, if you really want to um, just get everything done in sort of one run, I highly advise reloading your checkpoint or even just start over if you have to. Uh, because you've come, since you've uh, picked up the hidden item, that will stay uh, collected as well, as well as the add a rabbit achievement. Um, so yeah, so you can do that. You can restart the whole thing, or you can just restart the last checkpoint if you want. If not, like I said, I get it at the very end of the game, which is all good. But this is where the time the time he gets really into it. We go ahead and have to speak to Date. So don't go to your parents. We need to turn right to go to Date, and basically we have to call his name three times. So. Um, the first one is going to be 12 seconds, and you think, eh, that's fine, how, how, that can't get any worse. But it does, the second time we call him is going to use up 36 seconds, and then the third time we call him is going to use up 72 seconds. So that is where I screwed myself out of the, the achievement later on here. Um, I, I didn't screw myself out of it, I just had to replay this bit again. Um, but if you don't... If you, end, if, if you did end up restarting or whatever and you didn't run out of time, you will get the Date A album, which is number 12 out of 27. If you do run out of time, like I do right here, again, as I said about for about the sixth time now, we'll just get it at the end of the game and that's also fine. We're also going to get the Captain Bonds Revealed achievement before we move on. Thank you. 
What the? How did I get here? Because you're so, you're so stupid. stupid. I just want to punch you. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome home, Dante. Yeah, I'm home. Now, to move the story forward here, all we're going to do is speak to Mizuki, but you can speak to yourself as Date as well, if you want. A joke? Now, it really depends on what your sense of humor is like. For me, I thought it was hilarious. Um, for other people, you might think it's lame and, oh, it's not that good and, oh, because, of course, we live in the uh, future and everyone's offended in the future, of course. So, just keep um, spamming the talk to him button if you want to see the hilariously or lame joke, whichever way you look at it. I'll start. Thick. Tits. Lips. Hip. You're really sticking to ones? Are you certain he was... <laughs> no, of course, I thought that was funny, but, you know, like I said, we do live in the future, so, um, somebody thinking of a woman, a woman's naked body, of course, that is deemed offensive and crass and just, just rude these days, of course, so, um, you know... Anyway, all we're going to do is spam talking to Mizuki, and that's the end of this bit. We move on and on and on. What is Five days after the f I saw so on my- Where? I was getting dropped off- Was he alone? No. My homeroom teacher. Homeroom teacher? She's also my- It's a long story, I'll tell you- No, tell me now. I don't want- Why not? Because I'm- I'll tell you over food. I do not believe, but being that we are at a shrine. What did you pray for, Doc? I didn't ask for it. Thank you for saving me. It was I who saved your life, not God. I was the one who stopped. That was completely by ch. Wait. Do you Everything that I see is. Though I do not have. Do you know what Date said right? It is more com. You can sit your and. The case has been settled. But we still don't know it. All right, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. You haven't said it yet. Said what? Thank you for saving your life. <laughs> I don't oh, you don't remember? Where? So that is Mizuki Root End, that's her, um, they're more or less completed now. So what we're going to do then, we're going to do some more backtracking. And so we'll press the B button here. Eventually. There we go. We're going to press the B button. We're going to go to day two, Saturday, Sinking in the Pain, which is down the blue route. So there it is, day two, Saturday, Sinking in the Pain. And... Um, Obviously, if you've been following the walkthrough so far, you would have already got the uh, hidden items and everything, which is all good. So there's not a lot left to do here. So let's just crack on. To reach Mizuki, something must be done. Hmm? Iba, speaker over there. I see. So, we're obviously not going to view the Somnium tutorial. We know exactly what to do by now. I'm hoping so, since we're almost halfway through the game. 
Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull out the ice pick then immediately from Shoko's photo. Chocolate, chocolate. Remember, we're gonna pull out. Yeah, pull out a Shoko. Okay. Well, if that's the way you want to do it. Anyway, once we have pulled out of Shoko, we are going to. As soon as this bit comes on, we're gonna open the door to the control room. Okay, there we go. So now we are going to open the door to the control room. So the control room should be right in front of us. A lot of the times when we're backtracking, of course, you can see the ticks of things that we've already done. So remember, we're going to open the door. No need to use a timey yet. What is your plan once I am inside? So we're going to um, lift up the right bird cage this time. So going down the right route. So lift up the right bird cage. A bird cage. And again, obviously, we'll have to do that. So lift. Now I do um, use a timey this time. In fact, no, I don't. Apparently, I don't bother. Uh, it's probably not even worth it since there's only a couple of things to do actually. So that's all good. So we've lifted that up. What we're going to do? We're going to come up to a deflated balloon. There it is. Blew away the cage, and we've got a deflated balloon that you can stick wherever you'd prefer. And apparently, what we're going to do is actually blow it up. So you should be directly in front of us. There it is, the Def Latadio. We are going to blow up. So just go ahead and blow up. Again, use a timey if you want. A lot of the time it really doesn't matter because we've got lots of times left and we've only got two things left to do here. So turn slightly to the left and you can see the chunky boy big panda head. So we're going to interact with it. And then we're going to kick it away. So kick away the giant panda head. Again, use a timey, use a whatever. That's all good. But we just need to make sure to kick it away. And then what we're going to do after this bit, we are then, because it's going to stop, and we are actually going to go and speak to Homizuki. Oh, hiya, hiya. That frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki... Agent Date, you've got four minutes. It's Mizuki. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. Hey. Is that... a phone ringing? You okay, Suki. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. Hello. This is Konami Tate from the M. If you promise me we'll go on a date. If you don't, I'll wander around the city. Tr <sighs> All right. Under. Great. Looking forward to seeing. Fine. Just if anything happens, call. My number is. I have it in my history. What was that? A phone call? It's nothing. Mizuki. Iris. She was... she was dead. What was... tell me, Mizuki. Date, there is no... Hey, Mizuki. Tell me something. In your dream world, did you hear that somewhere? Or did you just... Date... Mizuki. I ch Mizuki, when we I'm not accusing you of it. I trust you. I just want to know. Answer me, Mizuki. Date!
Hey, Date. Remember that you thought that lot. Please don't remind. Where is this coming from? Her name is Iris, the girl you went to blue. How do you know that? Iba told me. It is one of my duties. It didn't, but it's not all clues. Boss, I don't. Did CSI report in? What? Prophecy. The sinker dot. Well, as a prophecy. I think I'll go to looking for the fun. It might be there. Take care of Mizu. Yeah. Now the news. Yesterday night, the body of Shok. By the way, during the um, chatting in the sync control room, we would have automatically unlocked history for appendix number 76 out of 100. That was during the opening conversation, so that is unmissable. So for now, here we are by the merry-go-round. What we're going to do, we're just going to speak to Iba for now, just using all the dialogue options. Wait. Idiot. It's me. Who you? It's whom? I said. But are you a go? I'm not. Then Iba? But why? I just thought I would project. How are you doing? I am overlaying the image. I am connected to your. Do I even need to? For Mizuki didn't come to. Oh, I was bored last. Huh? Week. I thought. As I mentioned earlier, I can. Let me see. And then after that is done, what we're going to do then is actually examine the horse. So examine that boy. Not those ones, but the ones directly in front of us. And then we're going to use the x-ray on it. So examine the horse, use the x-ray on it, and now we need to check out the mysterious object twice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So again, interact with it again. And then what we need to do, we need to just select the smartphone option for times so as soon as it pops up anyway so Iba's gonna go into her you know little eyeball flappy floppy mode oh well done big dogs well done smoky bacon right so what we need to do then is interact with the smartphone option four times here who owns the number is Date look who is the caller Ow. What happened? The battery the screen turned off. Hmm. Then after that, we're going to speak to Iba. And then what we're going to do, she's sitting on the horse's nose, by the way. Of course. Uh -huh. uh, whatever you're into. Um, uh, obviously, ask her to call the number there. And we are going to be extremely stupid. Oh, and there we go. So what we need to do now is ask her to call it again. Then exhaust all the dialogue options. And then we'll be able to go straight to the Saigon residence. Iba, can you call? The number you have dialed is no. Damn, call. Called enough? Yeah, call. Oh, the thing Reka from the. Damn, you remember? Near Third Street. Unknown. Probably someone in 
there would be no what Iba about your absurd let's hope so By the way, she left earlier. Dante! Oh, did you want. No, sorry. Dante, I, I am glad that nothing. Yeah. Because sometime I'm going. Date. What? What? It's a social. A man's promise. You absolutely must. Have you ever heard of a. So you're. G That's not what I. The day's not over. If I go see her and. S oh. So you. No. If you say. You almost sound relieved. Pardon? Are you. Uh, and I could never be jealous of a. Uh huh. I am watching the case. I asked HQ. It was Shoko's fault. Mizuki's phone is at. Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't- They called from a- They didn't register. I can make a deduction with this information. We know that the phone belonged to Shok- But the culprit- But either way, consider that they did not register- And also, they hung up as soon as- And on top, they blocked Dante's- no The blame lies- I suggest cutting- I'll Do it! I'll anyway, if you don't want- <sighs> There's been no. All the his. About. Yesterday I told you. I can't believe it. Date, you should. He is Shoko Nadami's former hut. So after more, more, more conversation, we can now open up the map. We've got three free moves that we can go to. And again, we'll just come from top to bottom. So we're going to go to the Central Hospital first. Now, by the way, other locations will open up as we progress. Um, but that's fine. There's nothing you really have to worry about. So just pan the camera to the right here. And we are going to ask the nurse where Renju is. That's the left, broski. And let's try again. There it is. So turn to the right. Ask where Renju is. And basically, this nurse is going to go into our person, so that'll be 24 out of 28 as the nurse, of course. Now, asking her this is going to open up Sunfish Pocket now as a free move location. And that's exactly where we're going to head next and get the missable achievement too. Hello? Do you have any idea where he... Uh, sorry. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. I'm getting worried. He must be... Oh, wait, maybe he's at the... Maid Cafe? Do you mean Sunfish? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, I guess he was gonna throw by with the... Thank you. No problem. Farewell.
Sunfish pot. It is worth scoping out. So this time, when we open up the map, we're going to go to the third option, which is the Sunfish Pocket. Now, obviously, you're going to have a scene and all that jazz right here, but what we're going to do is get Appendix number 77 out of 100, uh, entitled PEA. Um, and to get the achievements, we actually need to X-ray the mermaid and examine her twice. Now, Date apparently gets so horny that he thinks um, skeletons are even hot, so... I mean, just don't take my word for it. You will have a look now, and you'll uh, you'll see exactly what I mean. Oh, <laughs> is this your first time here? Excuse me, kid. Oh, sir! Oh, oh, wait a minute! Man, cheap Ash Ketchum thinks he's some hot shit, he? Yeah, well he ain't. So there we go. So what we're gonna do? Uh, look at the mermaid and then X-ray her, and then examine her when she goes from. Uh, when she just turns into complete skeleton. Um, <laughs> sorry, it just makes me laugh. And whether you like to admit it or not, that is the mind of most men. So, uh, interact with her again, x-ray her again. <laughs> uh, you're dirty death, Dati. Anyway, that will get us the ideal bone structure achievement. And that's all good. So now we're just going to exhaust all the dialogue options with the mermaid. And then we're going to do the same with Ota, and then that'll also get us the appendix number 78, the Sunfish Pocket menu. That's what we called us mermaids. And we really... What? Everyone worked... But uh, you... Yeah. They were a gift we were given, so that we can gather riches and... Dante, let's go. Ah, oh, no, there's still so much to... Do not listen to her... No, I didn't know. Did she change her? Suzuki, something. I just. Oh, is it eating you up? In uh... <laughs> While you're sitting here, and but you can order. I'm kind of nervous. It's been a while. Huh? Could it be Sorry, a everyone. Something came up. It's not a. S it belongs. You know. Why do you? It's more like. Sure, around. I s One hour into. She looked real. I was worried about her, so I. Tr she didn't. Re I thought maybe the people. Tessie used to work. She made a lot of friends. The number you are attempting to dial is I. Anyway, prop. No. I wonder if. I'm so worried about. Uh... You look like you can. God damn it, Ota, you ash ketchup looking broski. You are irritating. Anyway, let's get out of here. Go on, let's, let's get the hell out of here now, because uh, being fed by a mermaid, mate, I would have shoved the fork square up his nostrils with that. Right, anyway, um. So like I said, that would have got you the 78th appendix, Sunfish Pocket Menu, speaking every, about everything to Ota. Plus it would have got us the 25th of the 28 persons as well, which would be the mermaid. So now we've gone home. And, um, big hitty hitty homie. So as you can see, while Mizuki is just casually repping 120 kilograms on the bench press, which is still impressive the crap out of me. Now let's see a squat, bro. Let's see a goddamn squat. Uh, anyway. 
what you're gonna do here then, we are just going to speak to, uh, we're gonna examine Hitomi and then x-ray her first. So as soon as we are available, there it is. So examine Hitomi, x-ray her first, and then we are actually going to interact with her injured shoulder. So you can see it's pretty, it's looking pretty rough. Rough. Yeah, so after we do this, we can ask her about her arm, and then we can just uh, exhaust all the rest of the dialogue options with her and with Mizuki. Um, but just ask Hitomi about her arm, sorry. And then next, next after this, ask Mizuki about the ice pick. Then exhaust the rest of the dialogue options with both of them. We can do in whatever order you want. And then we can summarize with one of them before we move on to a marble apple. The police statement said just a random crime. When I got there, it was... I couldn't... Yeah. Did you hear any sound? Sound? Oh, I think... It... Confirmed. Yeah. Mizuki. Yeah, that was it. Bloom Park. I couldn't. It's not like we have con Because you don't. Because you don't. She's my teeth. She's daddy's friend, and I. It's a. So it was not Miss. What's wrong with that? You have heard what she does not know. I don't know where he. Iris, why are you at? Mizuki must not. You know what? As you can see, she. She's a little quiet. Another time? But... Yes. You said... And you work at the... That's right. Is that a coincidence? Well, I hadn't... It wasn't a coincidence. Renju seemed really intent... They even moved... That was about five... Before the divorce? Renju? I don't know. She's been at home. Why? Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Well, well, if it isn't Dante! I saw it all on the news. It's been a- I have something. You know how Shok- I don't know for sure. I've been a you used to Really? Ren was Yeah. He's had that watch on him ever since. Mm, that Shoko was involved in illegal activities. 
Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. They have a relationship with Renju. Do you want to pay them? Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. So, you want- I think we should exchange na names- Alright, MoMA. Two days ago at Bloom- Okie dokie then, broskies. A uh, couple of things to do here. So first of all, um, we are going to speak to MoMA, and then we're going to use all the dialogues options with him, especially asking about Shoko. So just go through it all for now. And then what we're actually going to do after this, so we're going to speak to him first, and then we're going to examine the crest, which is to, just to the right of Momo. Momo, bo oh, Momo, like a Momo, loco. Uh, we're not the chairman. No, this was the chairman. Some guy with a bald head who, for some reason, had sideburns that looked like scythes or something. Upside down scythes or hooks or whatever. So anyway, after this bit, we can now interact and examine the crest. Uh, X-ray the crest, sorry. And it is, like I said, to the right of MoMA. There it is. So X-ray it. And we can examine then what is inside it. And you're like, oh, I wonder what that is. And hilariously, it's an A-set doll. MoMA has a secret and no gangster will would ever, ever reveal. Which is all good. So after this bit, we can then use all the dialogue options and then... Speak at the moment, we can ask him about Rohan Kumakura four times to find out why he was hospitalized. And that's to get another appendix, 79 out of 100. Water. Fears. I've got your seat. If you don't want that to get out, yeah. Rohan was my old. About 20 years back, both he but it doesn't re like eel, and if he's drawn a pit Date, is Rohan? Why? Just ask him. Yeah. Confirm. Rohan must suffer from him. As you are aware, the one sign. Anyway, after... About six years ago. I remember him. He didn't get. I figured. Anyway. Whatever. Anyway. Us Kuma How did you. You're hiding an eight. How did you. I have soup. Yeah. Right. No point. Looks like he's not lying. Hey, Moma. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASF. So, like I said, then exhausting all the dialogue options will get us insanity, uh, which is Appendix 79 out of 100. Now we are heading back to Ava's headquarters. Right. Now what we're going to do is basically keep asking her about her self-destruct sequence, exhausting the rest of the options as normal, and that'll get us a three laws of robotics appendix, number 80 out of 100. C -c ghost I have been here for some Could you not- Why not? If people- Do not worry, I am sending this project- Oh. But returning to- Why would people- Isn't it obvious? We're a good wrench. An AI never lies. So your skull. My body is full of cutting edge. 
Strictly speaking, I am... Let us determine one that... Command 4-1. If you issue... No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of... The number will be the first... If I give you the second command with... What is... Let's see. How about if I tell a lot? A lot. So something that's not... If I say... Understood. And one more thing. Even if I... Everything that I... So you're basically... Hey, up. I'm already tired. That's not like you. I still... Iris is bot. The official title... About Shoko Nadami's murder, we still need to see the. The only relevant. Date, the light. I see. The caller did it. Do you remember? Yes, I do. It, it's connected. It's ringing. Focus, they're gonna... Um, help... You're an imp... I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. How did you get that... This is... Lie, you're impersonate... That's enough. I am so Sejima, the congressman. Help. Sejima? Sorry for- It's fine. What oh, uh, I will call back later. Goodbye. Why s- Oh no, but that was definitely s- I was able to match his voice. In any case... Date! A call- this is Special Agent Date from- My name is Akaska from HQ. There's something that you- What is it? We got a phone from a prisoner at- Who is this? In here. What is this called? I know who killed, and if you let me out of here, I suppose you might- He will kill- This happened. Do you think it really is just- Well- I mean, if you want to call anyone a minor celebrity, you're pretty much looking at the cast of Made in Chelsea, Made in Chelsea, all those scumbag real reality shows. You know, all that disgusting, hideous pieces of crap. Um, but anyway, that's just my opinion. That's if you want to know what an actual minor celebrity is. I wouldn't even call it a celebrity, I'd call it a minor celeb. I can't actually finish the word celebrity for those um, useless, talentless nobodies. So we're going to infuse our thermal on So. So examine Tho. Tho. So, and then examine him. And then what we can do then is, once we've examined, we can then call him, which, by that time, he'll admit he called Shoko's phone around the time of a murder, and then just exhaust all the dialogue options with both bodyguards. And then we've got a couple of scenes coming up. Iba, call his phone again. Using Shoko. Fine. Around nine o'clock. Final. There's nothing to confess. Then why did you? Because I didn't want to get involved. You mean to tell me my call was after? If I were the killer. Do you know what? I don't know. What... I don't. I've heard of her. Look. Look, the Mothman! Look, a grandma! Look, a porno mag on the floor! No, not any different from any-
was so... Date, my apologies. Are you serious? This is... Iba, what's your char- Date, what- I found a bo- What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds. And one eye missing. Oh no. Location is Okira Fish. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. God damn it! Oh boy, it's all about a kickoff now, isn't it? It's all kicking off. Uh, right, so we've got another interrogation scene here with so, 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 soda pop. He loves soda. Who loves orange soda? I do, I do, I do. Does anybody remember, anybody remember Keenan and Kel no. from the 90s? No? Anyway, interact with so, make a save, and then we're going to choose Iris's pictures for the first option here. Of course, we need to not make a mistake to get another achievement. So use Iris's pictures for the first one. Because, of course, as we've seen... There's a little bit of a dead body happening, yeah, as you can imagine. So, next up is where Iris was found. So, where Iris was found. And then afterwards, So leaving the warehouse. So, you can see that So was so sewing his sew bag to sewing, leaving the So warehouse. And then, after this bit then, the third one is going to be Iris's time of death. So, eventually, when we get there... Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. So now it's Iris's time of death, which would be the second option. Iris was and then finally, it's going to be Iris's autopsy report. So the top option, Iris's autopsy report. And without messing up, with no mistakes, we will now get the uh, achievement called Interrogation Implicates So, and we'll be heading straight in for another sink. You know, stop dodging the boss. Give me permit. He can't hide inside his. You've got to sink the. I put so into chemically but do not worry. It will not affect the sink. Okay, this is slightly a bit of a long-ish one. Um, but again, it's not too bad. There's only one route to take. And of course, remember, we'll be using our timies carefully. Again, some will be random, so just be aware of that. Um, so now we are into So Sejima's dream. Uh, basically, what it appears to be that he is chasing after Iris. I'm going to give her the... Oh, God, I just seen her butt. That was... What's going on? Hmm. Anyway, so she's been stabbed to death. That's um, that's unfortunate. And then he just nobs off. Okay, job done. So we obviously need to prevent things from happening. Do the same thing we've always been doing in the sync somnium dreams. Smash out, of course, the couple of mental locks that we've been doing for so much, for so long. And what are we coming up to now? About four and a half hours in the video. So we're over about half. We're just over halfway now. So. Let's help Iris escape. First of all, drive the forklift on Iber's right. So, look to the right. There's Iber. Interact with the forklift. And, of course, we need to drive it, which will give us a negative one. That's fine. Don't panic just yet. Ne needs to panic. Oh! 
<laughs> Top job, I will. That's, uh, that's why I don't let you drive, to be honest, Hans. Right, interact with Paul A. Portal A, and then put your hand in it. So you need to put our hand in, and of course that's going to destroy us and put 40 seconds on the timer instead of 20. God damn you negative timies. So after this bit's done then, what we're then going to do is go to Warehouse Door F. After Iris just gets stabbed up again. It's looking a little awkward there for a little eye bag. Eye bag, Iris. So, um, if we have a look directly in front of us. We need to find warehouse door F, and it is directly in front of us. It is past G, and there is F. So we interact with that one. We actually need to go in, so make sure to choose the option go in. Go inside, dry as a cucumber. Next up then, what we need to do is find the control panel A, which if we look directly in front of us here. So where Ibor is standing now, don't move, just we need to look directly in front of us and it is by the single looking container right there. So it can be kind of hard to see sometimes, but it is directly in front of us. This control panel A, now when we interact with it, we are going to input fighting game combo which uh, I highly recommend using a tiny here because that would make uh, half the time, which of course will come in handy. So input the fighting game combo while using a tiny. Funny how I was still getting stabbed to death made us unlock that, that's all good. Right, next up we're going to enter warehouse door B, which should be on our right. So straight, basically straight in front of us on our right, so we're going to enter warehouse door B. We are now going to pick up another hidden item as we enter. Delivery. It's called Deliveroo. And yes, I would love a takeaway, please. Anyway, so... You can see the crane directly sort of just to our right, just off to our right. What we need to do is just run past the crane and on one of the um, dark things, you can already see it, is the hidden eyeball, the hidden item. So just make sure to pick this one up. That's going to be day three, so be. So be it then, I will kill her. Right, now we need to open up warehouse D after we've gotten that hidden item. So go behind you. Go sort of past the boxes onto the right, and there is warehouse door D right in front of us. Then, of course, we need to open warehouse D. And then after this, after Iba gets her incredible steroid strength from uh, Mizuki, I assume. Well, hey, look at that, look at that. It's straight through the portal. No worries there for Iris. She wasn't thinking about anything, Bresky. She is crapping El Pantos, which is... I mean, to be fair, if you had a deranged guy who wanted to stab you in the back, yeah, I'd probably pretty much crap my Pantos as well. Shrinking her body. So it wasn't a portal, it was a shrinkalator. No, whatever, it'll do. So now we interact with Warehouse Door D again. And of course, we're going to enter it this time, so make sure to enter it. Delivery! And right beside you then will be the control panel B. So if you just look to the right of you there, there it is. So interact with control panel B, raise the lever on it, which would be left on the D-pad here. So raise the lever, no, the lever, the lever. And again, if we finish with more than one second left, which we should have done, we will unlock day three. So, which is album number 14 out of 27. Um, or could be the album 13 out of 27, depends if you got uh, the one with uh, Mizuki's dream earlier on. But I'm just going to say it like I assume that you've done it, which should be 14. And that's the end of this sync. Then it'll get us the villain evasive memory achievement. And then after this, um, we just need to do a couple more things to end the uh, this particular part.
virus. Right, the only thing I'm gonna, just going to say here is when we ask to, uh, when we ask to, when we speak to, uh, Pewter Schmidt, what we're going to do is ask Pewter, what is the ego algorithm you mentioned three times? So that is what we're going to do, and then we're just going to exhaust all the dialogue with everyone. I was just seeing if we could get those ones from earlier, but I can't. So there we go. So ask the about the ego algorithm three times to Pewter. That will unlock the connectome appendix, which will then be number 81 out of 100. Then again, you can finish talking to Pewter, then talk to Boss, talk to So, and then we've got a couple of scenes and job done. Picture an egg. The sub... He may not have so. It could be indeed. I've been telling you I don't. I saw you. Come to think. Two days ago you called what? That is a private matter that. What were you doing if read that does match what the body I didn't I it is impossible to he very well may not have no he was in the where no Either. I saw Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Of course, since you and Iba are one and... But that was just a dream. Date, the investigation... This is Date from Abyss. Hey, sorry to call. There's something we want to check. Sure, what is... You said you found a body at Okiura Fish... Yes, that's right. Huh. Why? What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. Yeah, we looked every. in without ringing the doorbell? The world. Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. Wasn't killed. Maybe the dream... Impossible. Then how else would you explain? Date and Iba sit and... Hmm. Anyway, I, I trust him more than... Congressman Sajima... Three days ago, Exhibit B. So Sajima was at Okura Fishery Warehouse last night. Exhibit C... So was an iris. Dreams are constructed. Stranger things have. I sent him. You released. What was I supposed? We can't hold him with what we saw with I. In any case, we. It is absurd. Dreams are fig. You must. Within Mizuki's song, last night, if it bothers you to the- Her cell phone is on. Mizuki went to- There are three pop-
I have done another connection to currently, but I can't. I would suggest. We can talk to I. There are four people I should talk to. What in the goddamn hell is going on? Uh, we will get some answers pretty much soon. Uh, but after this, this opens up another couple of free moves. We're gonna obviously just going to go from top to bottom this time. So, again, like I said, I haven't been speaking, as I said earlier. Whenever there's a scene where we've just got to use all the dialogue options, you can literally... I don't need to tell you that. You'll just follow along. Um, it's only when I'm speaking that I'm going to mention specific dialogues in order to unlock specific appendixes and all that jazz, as I said earlier. So nothing's really going on here. Um, we're just going to exhaust all the dialogue options with Iba, then with So at the Sejima residence, and then we'll go to the Marvel bar to find b b, -b big love I mean, Mama. Mama. Unknown. Uh, you would have to ask me. Unknown. Uh, you don't know? Not for me. I heard there was no body found at. How many times? I knew he was lost. This proves it. I am having difficulty after all. Maybe he's got a secret. I told you I w And why not? We didn't find any. There's nothing to hide. Number 89. Who is If you need information, you can ask her. <laughs> You are beginning to irritate me. What did you want to talk? I'll let Haven't you people got enough? It's what's best for both of us. Here she is, my favorite woman in the world. So, uh, here's Boo Bazooka the second, by the way. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to ask about Renju. When we speak to Big Mama. So ask about Renju, that will unlock the jobs appendix, which should then be 82 out of 100. Um, then we just need to, once again, exhaust all the dialogue, and then we can select Summarize to head to the Sagan residence. High school, I had a pretty crazy job. I just had to go collect the money. But still, Date, I. His name is Date. Well, I could use a little help down. I do not know what she means. Absolutely. I don't have anything else. Yes, I'll be waiting for you. Apologize for yesterday. I arrived uninvited. No. Did something happen to him? I put Iris through so much. I was 19. People didn't take kind, but Iris was. So I remember. <laughs> I suppose there's never. Dead. They died when I was 17. Oh, I was an orphan, yeah. and my relative. Yeah, mine too. It 
was always just me. No, but I'm gonna keep asking. Whenever she sees something. So by the way, we can't actually move on here until we look at the picture, which is just to the right of the door. And so just letting you know, just in case you were wondering why we can't summarize, look at the picture, then we can get out of here. Must really enjoy I've been wondering about that picture. I met him about six years ago. I was praying there one day, and I heard him. Even though we had our first kiss, our second kiss, second kiss was, I don't think we ever said it. I introduced him. Oh, sorry. But those days did not. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me. I don't know the deed, so he became a target for Underworld. I don't know exactly why, but I know that he betrayed them in some way. May I ask you something? Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out that I was dating a criminal. Date, we can't spend time reminiscing. Just she seems like a three year old, and then the other kids that are just like, Papa or Delilah? No. I know, I'd love to get a wage. Should we get a wage? Fat bitch. I am so aggro right now. Who says that? Why are you? You backed out on your Shovel Forge promise! I didn't make- Absolutely not. Right, so normally all we do is just speak to Iris and exhaust all the dialogue options, but what we're gonna do for a laugh first. Um, now during the opening scene, Iris is gonna mention Iterup Island, Kurdisher Island, Shikatan and Habomai Island, Habomai Island, which is Appendix 83 to 86. But what we're gonna do is ask the receptionist for her contact information a couple of times, if you want a good laugh. We're going to ask her a measurement as well, because that is, um, it's what the game told me to do personally. I just, I wouldn't have done it anyway, because I'm a very respectful man, of course. And I do not watch pornographical images. No, no. Nobody does. It's disgusting. Um, anyway, um, so, you need to exhaust all the dialogue options pretty much on, uh, sorry. That's it. The end. Job done. Game over. All done. No. So, so let's go again. Um, so again, if you want to, I think you've got to um, exhaust all the dialogue options anyway in order to select summarize and then go on a date with Iris. Now, that sounds wrong, but we actually have to select that because Iris won't take no for an answer anyway. So even though me, the receptionist, are uh, having a little thing going on right now. Nyah, 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 nyah. And oh my God, I love New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. I... Uh, I tell you, we've got so much in common. And you know what? My moves are about the same size as yours, actually, as well. So uh, that's the second thing in common. Good stuff. Good show. Iris. Sorry. Sorry. I know you were mad. Last oh, night around 2 a.m. Some... No, you it's really want to know? Yes. What about him? I've seen... No. This is not me. Uh, so... You fucking... Recording coming up. I sh Tessa, we're got it. So Date.
Now remember, I had to pick a date with an 18 year old. Like, I'm, I'm not Leonardo DiCaprio or anything, don't worry. Um, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Leo. I respect him as an actor, but uh, the fact that he only goes for women that are under 25 and that's about it, that's... Uh, <laughs> but then again, if you were under 25 and Leonardo DiCaprio did want to date you, you're pretty much not going to say no to that, do you? Nah. Um, so, again, that's we had to force forcibly go on a date, just saying. So, we're going to just examine absolutely everything in this area until all the, um, all the words turn grey. So that's the workbench, the forklifts, the shelf box. Literally just pan the camera from right to left, examining absolutely everything, and then we will be able to head to Abyss Ed Headquarters. There are... It's a wooden box. Exactly, no stinking ass kids about. The crane. But you, but you deal with there it. There are new. I took care of what you am just dying inside. Yeah, I'd be nice in the wall. Oh, I'll just get. Ah, oh, I know, I'll buy one of those fucking. girls or Udi's, whatever they call them. I don't know, it's not like I'm counting. Anyway, if you want to, back up. Djibouti. Let me have a look at Djibouti. Number 89. Oh, you know about... I told him to call. Alright, let's get back to... Shit, <laughs> that's fine. Well, how do you like meeting number 89, who we spoke to, exhausted all the dialogue, and then he basically got the number on us. We suck. A criminal serving a life sentence. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only we need to get number eight. Number 80. But don't worry, I have a... I'll give it to you later. How would I... After he got to the... Punched out and he put on the uniform and. Boss, it's my. <sighs> really? Dante, I know you are already aware of this, but. Renju? Yes. Dante, Mo Mola. I'll connect it. Hey, Doc, I just got the word. Renju's been seen. What? Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. What deal? You forgot all I'm talking about test. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. You know what to do. What should we do? We have no choice. Oh my gosh! Late, late, late. I'm going. Never! Have you forgotten the va- Are you tr- No. You're tr- I kid. I can't believe I'm gonna shovel forge with you. We are not. I was talking about the date. Shovel forge and a date. So where are we going? So what we're gonna say to Iris then is, 
to where the dragon is. So we choose the top option there to where the dragon is. And she might think that's a metaphor, but it's where a literal dragon is, or a statue at least. No, that's what you thought. Got it! I'll have him st Mama, I help- Also, because we chose the option to where the dragon is, we did just unlock the marbled flounder um, appendix, which is number 87. You should be on now out of 100. Otherwise, we're going to use also the dialogue options with Mama, and then we've got another four places to head to. I brought- Iris- Date. Dante, uh, can you ask Tessa if I can shake her? Oh, sure. Iris. A fake. He, uh... What the fuck, dude? Oh, sorry. What I meant was, he wants to shake... Oh, I, I would never show my... Dante, this is the... So how about it? All right, here it goes. First, son, second... Sunfish pocket. They're out. Why do you care? Absolutely, of course you. Wait, 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 wait no. You're so. Come on, it's not like. It's exactly like. Aww. You guys are like sitting. My name is Moma Kuma. You run the Kuma Kura gang. Uh, this is. Moma may not look it, but he's. Back! Dead! <laughs> uh, uh, I don't. Sorry for bringing you here. We're not. You would take a cheese grater as. But! Crystal. Methamphetamine. No! We don't deal with that! We had to restructure the whole. Cut? Their throats. No! Anyway. <laughs> Are you serious? Not to mention he runs a. Cr what if he sells me to the high. Tessa, I would never. I told you, we all go home on time. We'd see. Wait! I told you, I never promised. But you promised me a. D Dante! You s. I'm gonna ignore that. Good idea. Dante, you're gonna look for Mr. OPU. Our late night visitor. Dante! A clean gang? Oh, that's just a- Oh! <laughs> Let's leave them up. I, I mean, we're happy to help and all, but, uh, damn, Moma has some serious anger issues he needs to get control of. So, of course, we've got a couple of things, a couple of places to go here. The first one will be Sunfish Pocket. We're going once again from top to bottom. Uh, we come up to the end now with the appendixes. Uh, thank God, so we don't have to collect them anymore. So, what we're going to do then, it's... Basically, with all three of these characters, we are just going to go ahead and exhaust, once again, all the dialogue options. But when we do that, we when we ask the mermaid about her relationship with Mizuki, that will unlock the BFF appendix, which is 88 out of 100. Then we ask Iris if she knows the mermaid girl to unlock the sup girl slash blow these boys away appendix, which will be 89 out of 100. Then, like I said, you just exhaust the rest of your dialogue options with absolutely everyone, and then we can summarize and head to the next place. She's my friend from back. We would hang out at- Blow this Mizuki. You really sh That's how she started getting off. I didn't know. More than, well. All right. Jeez. All right.
right, world? Get ready! See my dance! On the that song. That's right. Iris. What were you doing? You haven't fulfilled your pro- This is- I told you no info and don't you get this date- It was after that- Why didn't you tell me- You didn't ask. Damn it. We just- He was looking- he was asking everyone where she- looking for me. No? I don't know why. Anything- well- Well, a triple board seed- That's a- What are you gonna- what? I'm not... Mizuki was... What happened to her? Can we... In any case... The police asked me a bu... Why are you... I was just curious. That company was me... Unfortunately, we didn't find Renju here. We can think about that later. I just, uh, missed a step there. A flower over there. Flower? You can't. An iris. More specific, this is the same flower. Yeah, it's the same kind. I told you about what it means. Good news and hope. Mr. Okura is a cute. Two. It's an astop. It's called eat a fruit called. It is said that that. Not inch. I've been looking for him for si Date, we have no we should get moved. Now, when we come to the cold storage storage warehouse here, um, again, you're going to exhaust all dialogue, but just letting you know that we're going to get another two appendixes. One called the uh, BBB, which is the blood brain barrier. And when we tell her about how sync works, twice that will unlock the conflict appendix for 91 out of 100. But again, you've got to go through everything anyway, so they are unmissable. To borrow pewter. Nanotech? Technology. And when they make. Largely accurate. Okay. You have the big sinkers like me equip the sink. In shovel for you. Once the nano kit. Because of. 
Thank you for explaining it. Didn't I show you his picture? But you've never met him. Hey, Date. Hmm. Ah, when we come then to Masushita Diner, um, we're gonna start off here by asking um, Cheap Ash Ketchup where his mommy is, and he's basically gonna mention Fugu eggs, which will be the 92nd of 100 for appendixes. Um, basically, he wants to poison us because we are smoking hot and we can pull any woman we want, including Iris if we really wanted. Um, so obviously, uh, Otis is going to mention the Fugu eggs that he wishes we were poisoned to death, which is a bit harsh. Jealous, green's not a good look on you, pal. Anyway, just skip through all the, the dialogue again with Ota. And then what you're going to do, we ask Iris then about the parallel world next. Um, then, and, and I'll show you in just a minute, uh, because basically we're going to play a game of rock, paper, scissors. But the, your choice doesn't matter, so it literally doesn't matter. Whatever you choose, Iris is going to say shoot, which will be Appendix 93 out of 100. Then when we ask her about the Booba slash Kiki effect twice, that'll get her to talk about Carl Jung, which is Appendix number 94. And then we ask her about the 100 million balls twice to, to get Iris to mention the Anthropic Principle, which will be Appendix number 95 out of 100. So basically just exhausting all your dialogue options again, We'll get us up to night appendix 95 out of 100. Then we can head out. Uh, uh, nom, 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 nom. Uh, uh. Tessa. We just played rock, paper, you won. Any but in a different timeline, or maybe I got. If I had chosen. So those timelines are. So you think I jumped from a. That's what I think. Huh. I can't believe. Sure you can. Parallel world. I know some urban legend. Dante, look at this picture. Like worshipping the sun or thinking that regardless of it's what you think of it like. This world is full of re- The universe developed. Imagine a box. The birth of humanity is- do you know Nelson? Well, yeah. There are lots of it. Nope. Because those. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe. There. Well. A is, of course, the story only can. Couldn't scissor. Well, that doesn't. When did you two get so. Aw, oh, thanks. Let's get going, I. Hey, Mama. I'm not getting. There's a regular here who. What are you talking about? Date. <sighs> okay, Date, tell me, did you find them? If I did, I would have. Uh -huh. What was that? That was a cry from deep. Do you realize how. Go find number. If I find Renju, I'm gathering information on. Where?
Wow! Uh oh, spaghetti! Oh, so we are coming up to another shooting scene, which remember we have to do with no misses. So as soon as we begin, and as soon as we're able to, like now, we are going to make another manual save. It's always worth doing, just in case. Um. So the only thing that we have to do here for all three, all we need to do is hold the cursor over the icon to fill up the bubble and press the right trigger when prompted. Um, by the way, only the third one is actually timed, but it's the same for all three. So it's the whole filling up the bubble while the cursor moves around a little bit. Um, and then just go ahead and do that. So as long as you make it no mistake, you will then get the achievement at the end of it. See that hanger over there? Look at that! Are they stupid? Now, the burst! Hey, this is... This is crazy! I've never seen anything like this before! Yeah, they must be... You are... What? The final step, but you don't have to... Hello? Mama, there's a group of naked buff guys... There's... Don't use my voice for that. This is an emergency. Now, we're ready. We just need to use the... It's loaded with high pressure. Now, I will leave. Shoot the... So this is where it's going to be timed then, as Iba incredibly throws the fire extinguisher. This is where the time section is, so fill up the bubble now. And my most favorite dialogue scene is coming up with Big Mama. In, in just a moment anyway, as we shoot it. So again, as long as you got no misses, the battle impact on the Mafia achievement will unlock. And of course, this is super realistic. This is exactly what would happen in real life if you want it to happen. <laughs> Macho muscles. <laughs> anyway, so yes, if you ever think, oh, there's a lot of guys to get through here. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um... Just have a little AI tell you to, or to get someone to throw a fire extinguisher and then shoot it and then it'll knock out all the guys and blow up a van as well in the process. Yes, completely real life stuff, that. This is... My place. The building's got a secure... I checked your phone's too... Iris. Have a seat where I Now, once again, this is an exhaust all dialogue options um, with Iris. So that's what we're going to do. But what it's going to get us after we speak to Iris about everything is the incredible bench press, which I'm still baffled by. Uh, but after you speak to Iris about absolutely everything, we're going to get the Elgorg appendix, which will be 96 out of 100. Talking to her about the X00639 gets us the geostationary satellite appendix, which is 97 out of 100. And then ask about the same thing, the XOO 639, a second time to get Iber to talk about a space advocacy appendix 98 out of 100. Uh, so again, you're going through all the dialogue anyway, so it'll be unmissable, but you should now be on appendixes 98 out of 100. So smash through it all again, and then we'll be coming up to another sink. Hooray! Well, you know about the Waja, basically. It was true. Is this true, Iber? 
In geosynchronous orbit, there's a satellite. It's about a hundred and quite big. It's always in the same place. Most people... And that... It's spelled N-A-I-X-A-T. Sometimes they... They're deeply connected. Their organization... I managed... And after that? I don't know. Nice and Waja. Let's say that most... Alright, I get it. And human trafficking? Well... You... Do you think that you were... The men who attacked us at Golden Yoke, that means they knew we were... Why would that... Someone to... Who could have... Someone who knew... That's right. Boss. Boss. Hmm? Iba, can you call... I want to ask him... Understood. Oh, Dante! Pewter, I need to know... There's only one sick machine in the end, for now. Pewter, where's Bond? Not sure. I don't think she's at a... Maybe she went home? Where are you? I'm out drinking and sh I was actually thinking of heading by her. So the cops, maybe a shootout? The world has become... So, neither you... No. Where are we going? So, welcome then to Minecraft. This is Minecraft, but of course, probably for copyright reasons, we're going to call it Shovel Forge. Which, uh, yep, that'll do. Um, <laughs> but it's obviously not exactly the same as Shovelcraft or Mineforge. But of course, this is a sink. We do still get timed, so we have to do it. Um, we have, well, it's, man, schnizniz has got to be done, broski broskis. Um... Mm, I thought he was going to come up quickly, uh, uh, quickly, uh, Jesus. Comment, commentating for over five hours of the game so far has now destroyed my brain, and we've still got about three hours left. Yes, nice. So, after we get um, all the mental forges, or the mental uh, locks, of course, we're going to get half an achievement here. First thing we're doing, though, go straight, pick up the pickaxe from directly in front of us. So remember, we need to pick this one up. Again, the music though is a pretty, uh, pretty much a banger in this, so I, I do enjoy this one to be fair. Next, go straight in front of you towards gate two. Now, what we need to do is dig, but then we need to mash the button that appears on the screen. So if you want to time me, you can investigate if you so wish, which it's always worth doing, but if not, don't worry, we'll grab some more later. So when we dig, we need to mash the button, remember, that appears on the screen. You get a couple of seconds to do so. So just spam it. There we go. Next up then, after this, what we are going to do is 
Hello? Oh, so the vending machine is literally to the left of us there, directly in front of us as we unlock the first mental lock, but we are going to dig at the vending machine. And again, after we dig at the vending machine, we're gonna mash the button that appears on the screen. So it's directly to the left of us there. Big stick of him. It is a big stick. So again, if you want another tiny, it's always worth investigating. But again, if not, I don't bother with the first two. We'll just dig. Mash the button here that comes on screen again. I got a lot of materials that time. Good haul today. Be sure. What is that? So as we begin, head through the door here on our left to crafting table A. And then what we need to do is craft the disco ball. So make disco ball, which will be your uh, D-pad on the right. But again, like I said, it's probably worth getting the three timies there just in case. We'll grab them anyway in just a little bit, but it's obviously worth doing because you'll only lose 30 seconds. And if the timies are any good, because they may be random, which is probably why I didn't bother doing it, uh, yeah. But apart from that, once we've crafted the Disco Ball, we have a, 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 a dance, apparently. The same spinny, leggy dance for ages. And this is gonna go on and on, isn't it? Yeah. Yay! Oh, thank God, anyway, we made it to uh, checkpoint two. Right, so go straight in front of you now to uh, dig at gate three. And once again, remember so remember to dig again or investigate, uh, which I did do this time, and I got, uh, <laughs> I got a little one. So we're gonna mash the button here. After investigating, we're gonna mash the button that appears on the screen. For me, it's been B every single time. I dug it up. I did escape. Now that song that um, Iris was just singing, she's gonna sing it at the very end of the game, and it is honestly so catchy. So we're gonna go to crafting table B, which is directly in front of us here on the right. And we are going to craft the monument. So again, if you want to investigate there just to get another timey going, trust me, it's always worth doing. Then interact with the crafting table again and craft the monument this time. So again, I'm still sticking to my guns of, I, I, I don't know if it's just whatever, but I like a full timey. Right, go straight in front of you through the door, place the monument here on the pedestal. Again, after an investigation, just to fill up your timey bar again. So like I said, after this is done, interact with the pedestal again and you will place the monument on it. Understood. Right, next up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some soft ground in, um, for us to dig up. So straight in front of us as we leave, there's the soft ground, press dig, and then we can mash the button on, uh, right. mash the button that appears once again. So it's the X button for me, maybe something random for you. Well, I did. I, I kept saying about two or three seconds, but you get a, you get about ten seconds actually there. I think maybe a li little bit longer. Anyway, what you need to do is don't head towards the left. Do not head towards the left. Go towards the right. Um, purely, we are looking for the three question marks, and I went the wrong way. So when we begin right there, head to the right, not the left. If you want to save yourself a couple of seconds, it, it doesn't make it too. It's not too bad. So here's the three question marks anyway. What we're gonna do, we're gonna observe him first. So we are going to observe him. Hopefully, we will get a good timey out of this. You definitely, definitely, definitely need a good timey for the end. If you get a negative timey, um, it's probably worth just resetting the checkpoint or something. But as long as you've got one good timey, you should be okay. Now we're gonna talk to Mr. Grey Broski himself. Obviously, always worth using a timey here. Whichever one you've got, obviously make sure that it is the least amount of seconds. So talk to the triple question marky. Um, yeah, be good. We'll just kill him to death. Oh, and he just seen a, he probably just seen the alien head quite quickly. So from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn around, head out of here, and we're gonna use the love bomb on the debris, which is to the left. So all the way down to the left as we exited. There's the debris, or the debris. And again, if you want it also, if you want a good timey, smash out an investigation. If you've got a negative timey, use it on the investigation there so that that negative one is out of the way. Otherwise, we can use a love bomb here. Around here. What?
and we are coming up to the end now. So after we've done this, have a look at the mirror door directly to your right there. And what we're going to do is dance. So again, because I've got two timies, because I kept on doing the investigation, uh, the investigating, uh, I've got quite a good few good timies left. So uh, we dance at the mirror door. And then finally, when it's all done, we are going to interact with Iris's core. So this is where you really need a good timey for. So interact with Iris, Iris's core, and then we're going to touch the core. But remember, as long as we've got one timey left, um, you should be good. Um, now, for whatever particular reason, I'm not sure how this worked. I thought I would have, I thought I messed it up because I only had about 60 seconds left on the clock. Um... I ended up using a timey that had 119 seconds. And as you can see, it went to 0 0.01. But somehow, I still ended up managing to unlock the Day 4 Iris A for the 15th album out of 27. So, yeah, I'm not sure if... I think because I didn't use a timey with the Date one, that's why it didn't work. But if you use a timey uh, with an ending one... It, it, it seems to work for whatever particular reason. But anyway, as long as you use the timey, you should still get that bit of albumness. Plus the main one, an antinomic conflict achievement. And for this driving part, there's nothing else to do here other than watch Date apologize to Iris. What? You stayed at- It was a business. It was a two-bed- Isn't your gang supposed? Why are you here, anyway? I see. Unfortunately, I don't- Date, come on. I'll tell you, Date, but- no, 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 I, I want. I'm sorry. I, I, I really gotta let She's not gonna let me. Can you? Unbelievable. Okay, Momo's getting really pretty much a lot worse than Dati in the minute now. That's messed up. I know Momo would. Right, Momo? Yeah, yeah! Dati, you serious? You just want a hitch? Yeah, yeah! Dante, this, this I thought that was yesterday. When you told me, anyway, what's this intel you? That's when. She... Obviously, that's not enough. Sorry, never. They even. Re... Yes. Oh. <laughs> I've always known. Always. Anyway, I I those Well that's Maybe Mr. Okio He was looking for I And then later I Was that just a quick and not just that, when you found my corpse in the parallel... Whoever killed me in that, that makes me think the oak... School? Maybe nice... If that's true... Shoka must have found her and killed her for getting to... I know about conspiracies and... Good point. I have more information. 
Let's go, Iris. I made her a prop. What's this? A GPS mama. Iris is fun. I know, but in case she gets caught and they throw away, it's just... And put it somewhere, they... Thank you. I hope it'll be you. Dante, if anything happens to her... It'll be fine. So, once again, we've got another free move. So we are going to just head to Matsushita Diner. Now, this is where, if you've been following along... With the guide so far, and you didn't end up missing an appendix, this is where we're going to get the appendix analyst achievement. I get it in just a little bit, because of course I missed the two from the steel shelf um, quite a lot earlier on in the game. Um, so you can talk to Iris about Oda and Mizuki for just a bit of a laugh, if you want. Uh, but what we're going to do, uh, just to move the story along, we're going to talk to Ota about Knights a lot, twice. Um, so it is actually funny. So this is why I end up talking to Iris about Ota and Mizuki. Now this is the ultimate of heartbreakings. Indescribable feeling. That is literally just someone going, I've done everything for you and you put me square in the friend zone. It's um, it, it's it's a bitter feeling. It's a bitter pill to swallow that one. Anyway, ask about uh, Night a Lot twice and he will mention Rockefeller and Rothschild, which should now get you the um, Appendix Analyst Achievement. If it didn't, like I said, do not worry because there are 142 total appendices and whenever there's another one coming up, I will let you know anyway, just in case. So don't panic if you haven't got it just yet. Thanks, Ota. Well... Look, I was gonna let you have it, but I What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting- Don't you think she's out? Mizuki stayed at one of the- She was twisting and turning- She called me this morning. So then, when, so then, when we get to So Sejima's residence, there's no talking to do. What we need to do is pan the camera to the right until we see what is called a veranda. Um, a little bit more righter than this. There we go. So it's kind of like a shelter thing. So interact with that. Zoom in, and you're going to see Hitomi speaking to Samomi. That's so. Uh, next to him, Hitomi. It looks that way. What? What's Hitomi doing? You want to challenge? Well, yeah, let's we'll start here. So we bring. Line up next to me! Okay, here we go! So speaking of Iris, I automatically get the Appendix Analyst achievement here. And which is why? Because we unlock Scander after the very first scene. Then we're gonna ask Iris about ASET twice. She's gonna talk to you about 
Osiris's resurrection. And then asking about Aset for the third time, gets her to talk about Isis and Iris being similar. So that's another couple of appendixes if you want. But you should definitely have it right about now anyway. Otherwise, at the minute, it is just smashing out all the dialogue as usual for the next couple of times. Father, Isis was... I think I get the picture. Horace's arch, not only was so... And from that day forward... Do you think that's why... I told you yes! He But during your... Because I was... After I stopped dancing, they said terrible things to me. All I had just dance... Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no, don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't hear. There was a sh they closed all. They were saying something about hitmen. They were. Wait a minute. Yeah. I think they must be four. Sorry, huh? Sorry for the late. This is I. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset. Oh, sorry. Oh, my. Are you a verd? Oh, what a coincidence. Oh, you don't see. Mama, I want to add the person. There's no one here. Maybe he was. No, that. So, after that next bit of entertaining is done, what we're going to do is interact with the locker directly in front of us, X ray it up, and we're going to see Pewter Schmidt hiding like a little Schmidt bag. Um. There's that bag. So, there it is. Now, if you need another um, uh, appendix for the achievement, if you didn't unlock the achievement yet, after this, just ask Iris, what's that cat on your wrist? And you will learn about the Bastet, the cat, the cat goddess. Um, I'll keep showing you the appendixes anyway, just in case that you need it, but just letting you know. And then all you need to do is, after that, exhaust all the dialogue options with Pewter, and that's where we'll get another appendix, the main branch careers. Uh, plus Iber's electric shock function unlocks at the end of the scene. So again, at the minute, it's just exhausting all the dialogue options. You were helping him the whole time. I've always wondered this. What is that? Oh, this? It's Bastet. Bastet. Two days ago, Ren Renju asked me on the phone to- That's yesterday. The boss told- Then, Renju asked- I was conf- I thought, but it was- Ren He sounded like- 
You, I couldn't say not with my intelligence. I, you know. The escape happened exactly. You were acting. I may not look it, friends. I asked one of. I don't know. Is it true that you? I see. Damn it, Pewter! Date, calm down or it will compromise your- It's just- Put it somewhere. I'm a calm moment now. On it. Hey, Date, what's up? Goto! Ariake! What? That's where the cold storage where- That's where I saw him. Hey, wait. I've got it, thanks. I'm on my way then. All right, so now we are needing to rescue the little iris. The little iris flower. The little iris flower. First things first, we need to do a couple of things. So we need to look just above the left barricade at something and then zoom in with it. That is going to be the van that we have to look at first. Uh, oh, well, okay, we're looking at the barricade first then, apparently. Um, <laughs> sorry, so yeah. So have a look at the barricade first, then have a look at the armed guards, sorry. So we need to zoom in at the armed guards. So the barricade on the left first, then the armed guards here on the right, and they're peppered everywhere. Interact with these guys twice. And then what we're going to do, that's fine now. Now we can just back out. And now if we have a look just above the left barricade, there is another something to interact with. So have a little look in. With these, uh, zoom with the left stick first. Click in the left stick and it's going to be the van. Then interact with something again and then use the x-ray on it. And we're going to see. Let's take a little look. So interact with the van here again. Use the x-ray with the clicking in the right stick. And there we go then. So we can see that it is uh, Iris just chilling. So after this bit, what we're going to do is exhaust all our dialogue options with MoMA. Um, and then for some reason, if the summarize with me option doesn't, like I said earlier, if the summarize with me some, uh, does, uh, option does not appear... Back out of the conversation, interact with a couple of things that are around the um, uh, area, such as the ATV, the, the van, or whatever else there is, and then it'll work. But anyway, after we do this, Ota Mizuki will show up, Ota's going to give a speech, and that'll unlock some more appendixes for us. Shona Mercy, shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart, and we stand. Tessa's in the... Mama. That appears. So, what's the plan? Uh... Date, if something... A promise is an inviolable protocol. Uh, Date? Who's the old man? You don't look very useful. Shut up! I'm not short! Listen up, you idiots. You're here because... Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Alright, let's work together and get our... So this is kind of a slightly long one. So we're going to make another manual save. And then every time we do the three or the four, whatever we got... Excuse me. Whatever we've got to do... Um, 
We'll then make another manual save, just in case you mess up. You don't want to start from the very beginning of this time, uh, because it does take a little bit of a while. Hey, Dante! This is how we get... Think of something. Last night you went back to gold. So, first of all, what we're going to do is hold left on the D-pad and then press the button that appears on the screen. So it'll be left on the D-pad and whatever appears on screen. For me, it was uh, B. So. Hold left on the D-pad, and then hit the button. And then next, next time it's going to be just aiming the cursor at the target to fill the bubble, and then press the right trigger when prompted. Oh, this is amazing! Dante, More oil drums to blow up. So whenever you get an opportunity, we are going to save the game once again. So, so now we will save the game. Excuse me, if you just realized, I do have hiccups right now, which just adds to the entertainment uh, purposes, the entertainment values of this bloody eight and a half. Oh. Our guide, excuse me. Right, next up, what we're going to do is um, hold the right right trigger and press the button that appears on the screen. So now we are going to press the right on the D-pad and press whatever button there it is. Also, we did just unlock another appendix. It's where Date said wine and underwear are best when aged, which, uh, <laughs> which is also true. Which is also pretty much true. Uh, in fact, it's very true. So, next up, it's going to be another aim the cursor at the target to fill the bubble. And then press the right trigger when, prom when prompted. So, it's coming up right now. There it is. Oh shit, move! Let's go. The last one. And finally, the final one is just mashing the button that appears on screen, and it is cu coming up right now. Cover me. Momo, cover me. So for me, I'd be mashing the X button. Not sure if it'd be the same for you or random. So mash the X button now, and we just about get that one. So after that last scene, if we've done this shootout correctly there without a miss, we will get the battle attack on Mafia achievement. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. Ota, mission complete. Dad. 
Date. Mama and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Do you think the fruit of the I told you yesterday. Nothing in Yeah. Looking at I used to Oh, you like the Okonomiyaki. Um, like it's like patty cakes. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. In the oven, with a scissors, roll it, paper, scissors, shoot, fruit. I don't know. I only called him Uncle. Mama called him Falco. Falco. <laughs> Isn't it a funny sort of weird for a j Oh, maybe he was I never found out where Before he met me It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were What? Now you have to take the penalty <laughs> And number 80, what the hell is going on? I didn't keep my pro- Renji Okira. What? He seemed really probably because at the time I had no idea. He was sweating buckets and he came up. He said, he seemed real. I couldn't, so I got in. We went somewhere. I, Mr. Okira got out of the car, then I got. I pulled my hand. Well, I, I thought he might come back. And then at night, I met up with her and took her home. Mr. Okira has. To, he took care of me. I wanted to trust no matter what happened. I mean, he never. He came to my house at two in the morning. You never know. Or it was like. And that's what I thought at the time. That's. But after hearing everything you've. Maybe he's a. Maybe he's. I don't know. I haven't seen him or. Iris, I need you. Is this the place? Yep. The Chiba Police Department was working. Two days ago, I saw it. After that, we went to So. And in his Somnium. Somehow, I saved. Maybe you were in a parallel. Do the same thing. Survival, please. Is that? Yeah. I suppose I, my mission is. All right. We are. Date. This it is not identical. You said that already. I do not know how. There must be a manual. We need. So just before heading into the sink, we need to find manual A, which is just to the right of the sink on shelf A. There it is, manual, just okay. above um, Peter Schmidt's head. Iris's head. So once we've done this, we can now go into Minecraft Shovel Forge 2.0. Yeah, let's go.
Shovel Forge again? She's lost consciousness. Even in her own son. That proves how. Whoa! So things can potentially get um, a little confusing because you keep getting sort of turned around potentially sometimes, but like now. So we turn the camera around as we're looking at Iris, go directly in front of you to interact with the egg-shaped monument. So we need to place it on the pedestal, which of course will be up on the D-pad. I'm going to get an, uh, another achievement here as well. So now place it on the pedestal, after investigating, sorry. So I investigated first, and then we place it on the pedestal. That's just to get another tiny going. And then after we do this, we are... Oh, I thought my I thought my game broke just then. Uh, so that is that is that one done. Ping, ping. Ping a wit, bing a ring. Right, now what we can do is investigate the Chozuya, Chozuya, Chozuya. Which is basically, if you turn directly around, there it is, just underneath this blue sort of shelter hut thing. That's the Chazoya. We're going to investigate it. For one, that gets us another random timey. For two, this is where we find Grey the alien, and that'll be Grey 2 out of 2, which will give us the Dream Invader achievement. Job done. Now what we're going to do is stick our hand in the Chazoya this time, so stick your hand in it. There we go. Again, use a timey if you so wish. It's probably worth, always worth doing. And then it's going to start going owl to hell. It's going to hell, girl. So that's going to unlock the mental note one, or the mental lock. So now we need to take the monument for pedestal B, which is the peach one. Which will be on the left-hand side. So it can be confusing. If we go to the left... Head towards the left. Ignore. You won't get shot or anything like that. But we need to find Pedestal Peach B, which there it is. So we need to take it. No point doing investigation. There's no timey with it. Uh, so use the timey and take the monument with it. And then where we need to do is place the monument on Pedestal Peach A. So if you look, basically, it's more or less straight in front of you. There it is. Pedestal Peach A. And then we'll place the monument. Again, use a timey to make it a little bit whiny and easy on yourself. Understood. Now we need to pick up the egg-shaped monument, the blue one. So if we go to the opposite side, past the guardian dog here, we need to find the egg-shaped monument, which is just a square, this square box here on the floor. So that is the blue monument. Again, we're just going to pick that up, use a timey, and then pick it up. And then after this one, what we're going to do is place the egg-shaped monument on the pedestal, blue C. So that is going to be directly in front of us. So pedestal, blue C, there it is. So again, this is why it can be very confusing. But again, use a timey, place it on the monument for yet another timey, tiny timey. Right, now we need to pick up an egg-shaped monument at yellow. So if you look directly behind us. That is where a yellow one is going to be. Like I said, you're looking for a basically like a cube on the floor. It is directly in front of us now. So there it is. Pick up the egg-shaped monument, yellow. Now we need to, and again, obviously use a timey and pick that one up again. Now we need to place the monument on the yellow pedestal. And the yellow pedestal is if we turn to the left. There it is. That is where the pedestal is. So place it on. And job done. And that, um, again, use the timey, and then that makes everything one different sort of sport. But we do have a couple of tiny things left to do, including grabbing the hidden item. Iba, you're... So then, as we begin here, that's uh, completed the next one. So we're going to turn around from the ashes, pan the camera right around, keep going, and you're going to see where we can, the Chozoya, the Chozoya, sorry. 
We're going to interact with it, and this time we are going to dig it up. Um, you can Again, you can investigate if you want to, uh, but we're just going to go ahead and dig it. Only because we've got a couple of things left to do, so there's no point wasting your time. Um, after this one, then, we are going to head to the shrine where the little seed was in order to collect the hidden item number 8 out of 13. Eventually, after we complete all the, all the seedy bits there, so we've obtained the fruit. That's mental lock number 3. Oh, El Completo! Obtain the fruit of immortality. God, I wish it was that easy to stay alive forever. Eat some fruit, bruh. Oh, well, why did you just say so? So from here then, what we're going to do is go directly in front of us where Iris is laying down. And obviously we're going to go past her. We'll save your ass in a minute, broski. Go up here. And then this is where the hidden item is. So that'll be hidden item number 8 out of 13. Now what we're going to do is give the Fruit of Immortality to Iris. And that'll be job done for this particular sink. So again, use a timey of course. And give the Fruit of Immortality. And again, if you completed the Somnium here with more than one second remaining, we will unlock Day 5 Iris, which will be 17 out of 27 for the albums. Also, you get al um, unlock more stuff in the album when you find the hidden items as well. So that's 16 and 17 you should be on. And you'll unlock main two, the eternal, the eternal ceremony achievement. And we are basically coming up now to Iris's end. And you know what? It's actually one that uh, it's going to hit you square in the field bags. This one. Oh, good. You're awake. Patty, thank you. Huh? I'm... No. I synced with you to save you. This has to be the time. I don't want it. I don't want it. I, I, I wanted to spend... I wanted... I'll take you. I'll take you wherever you want. I'll take anywhere you want. Really? Yeah. Uh, um... Of course. You won't die. Okay. I'm glad. I'm not gonna... Of course you can. You're gonna live. I, you'll become a grown woman. I'll even be. Dante, thank you for these past few days. Please, Mr. Dante! You can't leave me! Your back is so worn, Mr. Dante. It feels like I've met you before. Then go on a date with me. Goddess of Rainbows. You're the only person I can trust. Dante! Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Dante, can you tell me one last thing? I've been... Are... You... No, you can't please, Iris.
I'm on Date. Why would you lie? Why would you lie to someone? You're not going to die. You're going to be okay. I promise. Dies. I, well, that was just anticlimactic. But yes, Iris is pretty much dead. That is unfortunate. What we're going to do is go straight into Sinking in the Main. We're going to need to find Day 4, Monday, Sinking in the Main 1, which is on the Peach Route. So there it is, sort of on the bottom right-hand corner. Day 4, Monday, Sinking in the Main 1. So, again, we are doing the whole Minecraft thing again, but this time we're going down the other route. So, still not over, baby. Still not over. And, of course, this is where things are going to get really confusing, because now... Iris is pretty much gone for, right? Or is she? <laughs> I guess we'll find out in just a bit. We're six hours in. I'm losing my goddamn mind now. <laughs> right, so let's begin. Again, pick up the pickaxe. And of course, because we've done it before, a lot, uh, quite a few things will have a tick by it. So you'll know um, where things are if you... Um, not messed up, but if you missed it the sort of first time around. So we got the uh, pickaxe, dig once again at gate 2, straight in front of us. So straight for a sink, you think? Again, always worth doing an investigation there just to whack open a cheeky time bags. Oh, well, that sucked, bows. Um, so as it turns out, it, uh, it went right against me that time as we dig and waste a bit more time. Now, I do highly advise, um, I'm... I think the first time that I went through this, I got another negative timey on my on the vending machine. So I actually just restarted the um, checkpoint. So if you do get a negative one again here at the vending machine, I highly advise to just uh, reset the checkpoint and you'll start pretty much right there, of course. So otherwise, we're going to go again. Vending machine. We are going to investigate again. Luckily, second time around for me, I managed to get a good timey. I don't mind if it's only one, but when it's like one negative that has, it, it's like times eight or something, well, you can just dig me. So, mash the button here, and then this whole thing is going to happen again. Oh, wait, not as bad this time. So, go straight to crafting able tea then. Now, we need to make something else. So, we're going to make something else this time. Again, if you wanted to, you could have investigated to get another timey. But otherwise, you can invent, make something else. So this is where we go down the next route now. So after this one, so this is checkpoint two. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and dig at gate three. So straight in front of us, it should be, or to the right of us, sorry, is gate three. So again, we're going to dig. We're going to mash the button here that appears on screen. It's always worth, now it's worth doing the investigating because it'll tell you exactly what timey it is. So... Make sure to grab those one on the way. Grab those on the way, of course. Then smash dig. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash. Smash, smash, smash. Right. Now what we can do, we need to go and find the question mark, question mark, question mark again. Now remember, it's not towards the gate four. It is the opposite side. So not that way. So we're going to go straight down. And we can finally see the couple of question marks. There he is. Off to the left, and again, do the same thing. Observe, um, question mark, question mark, question mark for the timey. Who is this? Rawr, rawr, rawr. And then we need to talk to Someone's triple question mark. So again, if you want to put a timey on it, that is more than yeah, more than welcome to do that. More than fine to do that. So we need it. We had to talk to this broski, otherwise we wouldn't be able, we wouldn't be able to do the next thing. So make sure you've observed him, you've talked to him, and then we can go back out of here and go towards crafting table B. So to the right as we exit, there's crafting table B. Now we need to craft NA. So it'll be on the left. Don't bother investigating this time apparently. Uh, but we are going to craft NA, which is left on the D-pad. And next up, soon, <laughs> it means not available or not ass. No ass. Ow. Right. So, go into where the pedestal is here. Literally in front of us, just through the doorway. Because th th we need to dig at the shrine. Which is just literally just the right. It says shrine wall. So, we need to. that's where we need to dig. Nope. So, past the pedestal. Dig at the shrine wall. And we need to mash the button once again. That appears on L screen. So, whatever it is for you. Smash it. Smash, smash. A couple of more things left to do. We are now going to be grabbing the... 
Jesus, this is taking its time. Bloody hell. My thumb hole! She hurts like a pig. Apparently. But we are actually going to be grabbing now another hidden item. So what... Uh, item. Sorry. So what we need to do now is run... We're going to run down the street, going just past the car, and then we're going to make a right into the wooden shack. So go straight ahead. You can see the car. It's pretty much obvious. It's the only one that is there. Just as we go past it, turn to the right, and in the wooden shack, you can see it gleaming, glimmering. Howdy boys! Iris Day 4, Iris B acquired. That is the next hidden item. That should be number 9 out of 13. Otherwise, keep going down towards the end of the street to enter the gate. Man, we are tripping bows right now. Tripping incredible salty bows. So, let us enter said gate. And the last two things to do is exactly the, the two things that we've done earlier on. We are destroying the mirror door. So, a pyramid, it's a tea bags. So, have a look at the mirror door right next to you. And this time we are going to destroy it. Now, don't bother using the timey. We're going to use the 10 second timey for the um, destroying Iris's core. So, it's all good. Like I said, we've got the album. We've got the achievement, so don't worry about that. Since we've gone down the right path... We are now going to use the 10 second timey to destroy Iris's core. So again, turn directly around. Pop your pickaxe where the sun don't shine. Maybe Iris will enjoy it, maybe she won't. Now we definitely need to use that 10 seconds. 999 seconds is not feasible. It's not. And anyway, this is the end of this sink and this particular route. Okay. Uh, no, not. I found out nice. Date, is this? It's true that we were shot at by arm. Date, you don't. Be if you can't show me proof, I can. Iris, seriously, you're. Fine then. I'm stupid to think. Fine. Date, you don't... Right. You don't believe... Me. No. Then why was she... I don't know, but it might have something to... He was looking for... I... In any case, we don't know who... Which is why I came... To Hitomi's residence. Well, yeah, if you make her... Ma well, I guess you'll have to be... She had to hear the... There's a room back... Hide Iris? I mean... <laughs> Mizuki? Anyway, if they do manage to find her... I know how... Good luck, you two. Thanks, Dot. Now, remember, of course, if you're wondering, didn't Iris just die in the last one? No, that's because you'll obviously see where we're going from day five to day two to day four to day three, etc., etc. The reason why people are alive, of course, we're going down different routes. So we're branching off stories. It's just a whole bunch of stories that are just completely branched off. Um, so instead of trying to figure out what the hell's going on, just enjoy the story for what it is. It does sort of come into one towards the end, so don't worry about that. Um... But obviously, while we're here at the Hitomi residence, 
Um, well, we're just doing exactly the same thing we've done before. According to the doctor, you mean grade four. Just, she has, that's oh, see, now this is where, uh, oh, okay. So as it turns out then, Iris is going to die soon. That, now, to be honest, having a daughter myself, stuff like that really upsets me now. Because I just think, like, you know, somebody who's, because obviously there are a load of kids out there from, you know, one up to 18, up to bloody 20, you know, there's these, these, they're just kids, and they've got like terminal diseases and stuff, and all that, that's it, crap like that breaks my heart, generally, because I just think you can be an absolute crack-headed alcoholic dickbag your whole life, but you can live till you're about 85, 90, and then you've got like, you know, literally innocent kids and stuff who are, uh, you know, who've got no. terminal illnesses and stuff, it's just, yeah, breaks me, breaks me that, so again, <laughs> this game's doing good at sort of really you in, really new in with the real life stuff in terms of Miomi's um, dementia, and obviously now we're just finding out that Iris has basically got a couple of months to live. Man, why do games hit you in the feels, broskies? It's, it's, not, it's not good. Anyway, we've got no time to feel apparently <laughs> because Iris has now disappeared, so. Again, there's nothing else to do. Anything, anytime that we're going to come up to any um, dialogue, we just exhaust all the dialogue and watch the scenes. Did something happen? I'll go too. Date. The person in Iris's letter. The one she trusts. Who do you think that... I think so, too. I look up to him. He's done so much. He was looking for I... I think Renju... Then what can I do? Even with all of that. If we only had... Renju's house is... If he went back there... The cold storage... What? Maybe he's there. Right then, so now we're going to do some stuff here in the cold storage warehouse. So, um, what we need to do, it's the only thing that we've got to do. So, you'd assume that the forklift here on the left hasn't been moved. X-ray it by clicking in the left stick again. And there is a body inside. Holy crap! Us. Examine it. And, well, just play out the last couple of scenes. Or the next couple of scenes, sorry, but... Well, damn. Iris. Settle down. The scene is being inspected. I didn't expect you to. Seeing that corpse must have. I did not predict. I suppose. Now that you're back, let's get back. You are thinking that Iris died. If I never. Sad times, bruh. So every timeline or whatever that we go into, uh, Iris seems to keep dying. So uh, <laughs> we're not doing very good as a detective right now, are we? Right, so now uh, we're going to get asked, asked a few questions. I'll tell you exactly which ones to pick. First of all, 
uh, the answer is going to be to preserve something. So to preserve something, what does the warehouse have to be to preserve something? The next question is going to be, do you remember what was strange, so strange about the corpse? The answer, the body was completely frozen. So the body, or it, was completely frozen. Iris is a nice, cheeky 105 pounds. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? You can't ask a girl how much she weighs. She will snap your nostrils off, prov. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that if I were you, uh, Maka. One of five, huh? You felt like a good one, 106. Jeez. Right. Last question is going to be. Why was Iris still alive after Date discovered her body two days ago? How could Iris still be alive? And we're just going to choose, you mean, dot, dot, dot. And you're going to sprint the hell into that place. Because now, I mean, for the majority of the game, it's been completely confusing so far. And it's not letting up. Good stuff. So as we get here then, what we're going to do, we're going to x-ray the body, so examine it and then click on the left stick for the x-ray. And then we're going to examine it three times. I was going to say that the weapon used was a single-edged sharp knife, which is another appendix if you need it. So just keep examining it until the cutscene begins. This evidence makes one... This corp is someone else. Which means... Iris is still alive. Not necessary. She could... We haven't confirmed... <sighs> Multiple stab wounds with a single edge. Judging by the size and shape of this matches what you set up. So this is the. Is there an estimated? Impossible. This body has been. Ten years. She was killed more than. Exactly. Her identity. Her killer is all. But there is one. Let's consider the scene. Oki or Sunday night. And there is something else. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed. But it wasn't Iris. That is high. What we saw was... I believe that is the case. Ranchu. But we still do not... That means that... So... What? Unbelievable! We're going to the uh, Sejima residence now. But as it turns out, that is a kind of very well-preserved corpse. Ten years. Ten years that's been chilling in there. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Uh, I didn't actually mean that one that time. Um, so yes, ten years that a body has just been relaxing, not doing anything. Lazy bastard. So, this has literally just put a whole mind-blowing, incredible butt snatch on the whole investigation. Um, so, as it turns out then, it, it apparently looks as if... Uh, uh, so killed whoever this was and we are going to find out now who it was this is where it kind of starts getting into the point where things start making sense now that we know that that is not actually iris so um like you've seen we just got questioned twice didn't nothing happen so we're gonna get questioned for another three times here and the first one is going to be uh when was the first time we saw the frozen corpse Three days ago, Saturday night. So the, the answer is three days ago, Saturday. I mean, you can't get it wrong, but obviously we just want to progress the story a little bit quicker. So, who is the girl? We're going to call her Alice. Alice in <laughs> Wonderland, except it's about as wonderful as being stabbed 42 times. Yeah. Next, which Somnium did we see, Alice? And the answer is going to be Mizuki's. So, which Alice was in whose Somnium? The answer is Mizuki. Of course, if you remember earlier, what looked like a frozen Isis. Meh, frozen Iris even. It was this random girl. Date. Iris used to like, you know those steps that we would sit, so I thought that maybe she 
I think Iris is with Ray. Yeah. Her note. Yeah. He was looking. Does that mean that Daddy? Mizuki. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I the body of a girl. Who Your dreams are built from so that corp. Mizuki, please. I need to know everything about. It was about a month. I saw my daddy crying. I was peeking through a crack, and daddy got up. I had never seen him. I was curious. That led me to the cold. He got out of his car. I followed right. Daddy was standing next. I hid behind. I watched daddy. And then I wanted to know what he. I went over to the forklift. And then. You saw Alice. But at the time. I. The corpse looked. I couldn't believe. She, so I went to. Huh? Iris was. I thought I. Or dream. I tried to convince my. What was I supposed? What do you mean? I thought that. Repressed memories are off. I actually met with one of the higher. I found out that Daddy was man after my grandpa in exchange for managing. Alice. On paper. Hey, Mizuki. For eight, that's what the man. Eighteen from that long ago. Yes. Iba, I need an missing persons from eighteen years. Monica Ey, nineteen years old at the time of her disappearance, a graduate of a to. What? Renju was my classmate at Atoku High. We've known each other for twenty years now. When I was young, I... Monica Ui, my best friend. One... Alice's... Monica... It told me his friend who went to the same school, but why? Monica's body was... But even back then, it told me she knew that Monica was already dead. Iba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for question. MPD still believes that the body... Got it. Contact boss. Have the... Roger that. So we're going to be coming up now to the last interrogation. Now one thing that I really did like about this game as well is that when something new had happened or something shocking came to light, it reminded you of, it because it, you know, if you've forgotten something in the past, it reminds you of what it's referring to, etc. I thought that was a nice touch as well, just to keep everyone in the loop. So we're going to make another save. This is a uh, save. This is going to be our final interrogation. Finally, six, almost six and a half hours in. And there's only two bits of evidence that we need to present. So um, the first one's going to be information on Manaka. Manaka, sorry. So information on Manaka, which will be the first one. Because that body isn't. Oh no no no! Her name is. She was killed when she was. That's unfortunate. Right. So uh, and the second one anyway. The second one is going to be where Manaka was found. Bro, trust me, I've got an AI left eyeball, I know all. So, where Manaka was found, which will be the third option, and that will get us the interrogation implicate Hitomi achievement done. And then, what we're going to be doing is going through another sync sequence, after a whole bunch of dialogue, uh, exhausting all the options with Pewter and Boss. And it's another sync in <laughs> We're in sinking season. You were her best friend. Tell me. Tell me every. Date, she's not going to. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please. You know why. Because it will take over my consciousness? No, not even. If the sink passes the critical point, then. But what does that mean? Oh. 
No. I'm not hiding anything. Then let's try it. Then we'll know for sure. I'll just say you know more about it. <sighs> Ask if he knows more about it. Well, first off, it could be- I don't care about- I'm asking what happens if- If you imagine an egg as the white, if you go beyond the limit- Because the subject's mind will- I know that- The human brain has what can- One brain can- And it can only- Now you know, talk to the boss. This information is... We had to prevent the possibility. A Project Sync is a top... You heard it from Pewter. Swapping bodies with trading... Fine. Start it. Understood. Let us begin. Pewter started talking about eggs and stuff. I lost interest and started thinking about eggs. So at that point, I went to make some eggs. Uh, so anyway, enough about my dietary plans. This one was a, a pain in the ass just because it's so dark. Um, so I'll try and tell you where we're going. Um, yeah, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass. Between this one and the more or less sort of final time to sink. That one is a douchebag. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's not that entertaining. But anyway. So first of all then, let's just crack on with it. Don't worry about it, we'll just crack on. Right, so we're going to go straight ahead into the flower bird and we are going to worship it. So up on the D-pad, let us do some worshiping. Get on your knees, open your mouth, and pray to the flower. Right, when this one is done, we've already got one checkpoint. That came very quickly. So now we need to find rock two. So obviously don't move, just um, hang, hang about around. Uh, have a look around at the letters. And it's more towards the left of where we were standing at the bud. That is where rock two is. Now we need to do the same thing here. So worship rock two. Again, all the time is going to be random. So hopefully you don't get too many negatives. But that's what you have to do with this one. Now, I... Literally, as I turned around, I was able to just about manage to see what the next thing was. So now we need to go to the hole in tree one, which is just to the left of us in rock two. So interact with the hole in tree one, and then what well, this time we're going to stick our hand in. So bottom option there, stick your hand in. Stick your hand in. Right, what we're going to do now is go to, we need to go to the hole in tree two. And we actually need to get a hidden item from there as well. So, again, we'll just have a little look around. So if you press the Y button, of course, that will get your map out as well. But it doesn't actually tell you where things are. So, it's kind of a help slash it's not that much of a help. Um, <laughs> so, what we're going to do then, uh, like I said, we need to go to the hole in tree 2. So, from rock 1, where we are standing right now, we are basically going to go forward. Just forward... Slightly left. We're gonna go past this log as long as you've seen this log. That's all good Keep going straight and there's the hole in tree 2 now go to the left of hole in tree 2 behind this rock is another hidden item So again when you come up to the hole in tree 2 go to the left behind this rock to get day 5 Hitomi B and then go back to hole in tree 2 and um, We are going to tackle we're gonna tackle the hole huh. Hmm, who's putting the tackle in whose hole, hmm? <laughs> it's us. We're getting straight in. Right, now we need to find Renju. So from where we're standing, follow the lights. The light on the floor. And Renju's going to be straight in front of us. 
So now we need to show the picture to old Renjou. So show picture, top option again. Oh no, I'm running away now. Ah, uh, you son of a biscuit. So, this is another checkpoint saved. Happy days. Hopefully, my explanations of where to go are going well so far. Right, now we need to jump into hole one, which is to the left of where we were just standing, just by this whole tree and fallen log. So we're gonna jump in. Job done. Do it, man, do it. Really? Right. <laughs> yes, really, I beg. Get your buns in there, huns. So now, what we're gonna do, we're going to find the... <laughs> Damn, didn't even land on her legs, literally landed square on her face. Nice. So now we need to find the hole in tree three, and it is pretty much um, back. So where we are started, turn around, pan the camera around, turn around, and the hole in tree three is then straight in front of us. So what we're going to do with the third hole that we found, third sticky hole, we're going to scream into it. Man, nobody's got a hole that big, surely. Oh, that's not really a scream, is it? Hitimi! Right, now we're going to stick our hand in the hole in tree three. We're going to have a little, uh, see what's happening in the old, uh, the old cave of life. The old tree cave. Oh, and as it turns out, it's a wristband. Wrist. Who's been sticking wristbands in their holes? Mm, I need to know. Now we need to show the bracelet to Hitomi. So from where we started, it's to the, basically to the right of where we just were. So go past the log. And Hitomi is now... Just at the end of this log here, there she is. Hitomi! You've got a hat on. Uh, so show the bracelet to Hitomi. I like what some games and TV shows do. In order to make some characters look older or younger, they literally just stick a hat on them. All oh, right, that makes it, that's supposed to make her look 19 now, with the beret on her head. Top job. Uh, but it seemed to work. So that is now mental lock three unlocked. So now we're going to jump into the second hole, which if we look um, just to the right, keep following the lights on the floor. There is the second out of the three holes. And again, Aiba, you'd think you'd sort of jump down gracefully, but no, she is, <laughs> she is going to just land square on her face again. Man, does that not hurt? I suppose it's an AI, so probably not. Right, now we need to find the cluster Amaryllis, which from here is just off to the right. So where we begin, again, I always end up panning the camera around just to be, uh, just to look, uh, obviously just to make sure, and then go in that direction, which of course, this time it was on the right. So now what we're gonna do is actually dig up the cluster. So dig it up. And we're not gonna use the timey at all. We're only using the timey for the very third one, which is the, uh, just for jumping in the hole three. And this is it. So interact with hole three. Now we are going to use our tiny in. 30 seconds. That'll do me just fine and da -da -da dandy. So with this done, this is, will actually be the end of this sink and it'll get us the mountain corpse flower achievement. That is... Tell me, I think I know what happened. You three were close. You. Monica was murdered. And you brought it back to the cl and My guess? I've seen inside his head before. I see. 
If you know that much, I'll tell you the truth. My doc, your stomach doesn't go down right. I'm not worried. Uh, I don't. So does, and especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first. So that's what he wants to know about. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, it's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth. It would still be. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to. There's no way he'll. It's okay. I told him that I won't. But could you take care of the baby? I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you. Just I don't know what Monica saw. She said he was kind and loyal, but I didn't understand any of it. He tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened, and it ended in... What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or... So I don't know how much of... But we could guess. Date, you said that Monica was- but that's not true. Monica was killed by... Sa the son of So and his late- Saito was 12 at the- tw Yes. But why would a little bo I don't know. I can't- He told her to move- He said he'd pay for- Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this. Renju had connection. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. So contacted his friend. He asked him to dispose of the body. The incident was... That means the chairman was Rohan. Rohan went to the scene of the... Yes. With... Again, we were just waiting at my house. She never came back. We tried to call her cell, but, but then... The GPS Renju gave to Mon- Yes. At first, we thought she was not- We saw the GPS getting- Renju and I got nervous. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby. Renju gave the baby to the mob dog. Kumakura people covered Monica's body. Renju and I ran over. What? Why not? You don't know who those guys- They would do anything. I've seen it happen. I know what their cape- Anyway, think about it. They thought Monica and her baby- Monica's stomach was still- I don't think they know that she gave birth. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then, they'd make it look like we dis- All of us would be- Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty. He knew when something couldn't be. He said that they would do anything to kill, and I believed him. We had to protect. We had to. Okay. I decided to... We couldn't leave Monica's body and we cleaned her up.
So yes, this is pretty much uh, a whole bunch of flashbacks going to happen. We are going to eventually speak to Renju here, but once again, it's just a case of exhausting all the dialogues with uh, dialogue options with Renju. But we now finally see what happened to poor Manaka all those years ago. So um, yeah, so there's literally nothing else to do. We are going to unlock persons 16 out of 28, which will be Manaka at the end of the Cold Storage Warehouse flashback, the second time we go back there. Um, so yeah, all we're doing, it's just a whole bunch of scenes. A couple of times we are going to have to exhaust all the dialogue options with people. And then that's uh, that's pretty much it. Then we're going to do another sync. We're going to do another backtracking route. I don't really want... There's something you need to... After talking to the Kuma, I found out who... So, son. Saito said... How? Saito? Twelve years... Why? Why would a little boy... I don't know the motive. So used his connections with the Kuma Kuma and all of the evidence of this... And so? His son? I feel the same, but you can't think of... You and the baby can't leave... <laughs> Just... Bear. The opportunity will... So wait until the right moment. I was thinking about her name. How about... I... The goddess of rainbows and green... And the colored part of your... And the flower too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> it's also for Ma the kanji for Monica uses. Yeah. And so my life with Iris. Mama, I'm wet. I'm sweet. Mommy, I won race today. Is mommy proud of me? Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon. Mommy, you are so. Mommy, pancakes are done. Sorry, I break. Mommy, why can't I dance? I can't help it. Mommy, don't more people. How come it's always. Hey, Mommy. I want to dance. Hey, Mommy! Look, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for. I love you more than anything in the. Mommy, I drew it! <laughs> that was so fun! The food or the... F um, I'm gonna have to say no to the left. It took forever to click. But Uncle said he wants to do... Hey, Yes? Are you gonna mi What? As long as it's Uncle, I say go for... I would always question, could I keep... I had promised Monica, but... And maybe Ranger what? There's no statute of limitation. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would and the Sejimas and Kumakuras. But that would mean that's what I was really. I didn't want Irison, and even more than that, I didn't want her to know. That. Uh... So I mean, fair play to Iris for taking on a newborn. Um, but yeah, so that's just gone from one mind explosion to the other. Monaka died. Having Sosajima's baby, Iris had to take over, and she still hasn't told her, so... Day to the... Um. Two days ago, on Saturday night, he agreed to come. After I had prepared everything, when he finally... He walked over to the where I had laid Monica. He lifted the cloth. Uh. He whimpered, and even he was phased. Seeing not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. He reacted exactly. I had prepared a recording. There's no way not to go after you. I saw So put his phone back into his... I came out of my hiding place to put... But then... I saw you. I hid behind the forklift. And when you were done looking...
can't be. Iris is not but Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed. However, Hitomi raised Iris. Hitomi showed unwaved just as much as her biological. Iris's tumor was discovered. The only possible treat, however, that Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail. The best way to establish that is why Hitomi Cree, she was the one who called. On Sunday night, what Date saw. That is the summary of what we have, but there are some things I. Date, pull it. Date! Probably don't have to ask. After I left the, I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the fort. Except that's why the police didn't see. Me. It makes perfect sense now that I. Iris did not resurrect. The body did not disappear. Those were the events at the warehouse. Simple. There are still a few loose ends. However, not her murder was is a connect or are these If there is a connection, it would be We can think about it later. Wait. Yes. At around four o'clock, I don't know who it What did they say? I have your daughter. That's why I did Friend. We don't know that for it could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger. The voice asked for something. He told me to go to a special With me? Yes. The culprit? It must be red. What look? I'm sorry, but this stops now. Date. Run! Oh, wow. Who's seen this coming? The guy who's trying to be Mega Mind with, for some reason, he's got that 60s, 70s collar turned all the way up. I bet he's got that Mega 70s bush as well, hasn't he? Down his uh, trousers. Oh, who's seen this coming? <laughs> anyway, Pewter's being a Pewter Schmidt head. Hi. Iva, can you turn? Easy. All right, get ready. Three. Now tell me, where is the location? All right. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. Someone has begun to act there, attempt everything I have accumulated, including the- Pewter? Is Pewter doing- Almost. He does have admin. Date? Nothing. All right. I'm counting on you.
There we go. The case remains unsolved. All good. That's it. End of the game. Bye bye. Big love, etc. No, uh, what we're going to do now is press B to back out. Then we're going to go to the green route, day three, sinking in the vein. So it is this one on the left hand side, sort of here in the middle of the green route. So day three, Sunday, sinking in the vein. We are going to begin the sink. Of course, it is once again going to be a shorter one, but we're just going down the other route this time. So, um, yeah, now it's. <laughs> I'll tell you what. The music, I'm loving Spike Chunsoft games at the moment. I am absolutely loving them. The twists and turns in this, the um, the music's fantastic. Graphically, looks brilliant. Everyone's smoking hot as well. I mean, that's that's always a plus, right? So anyway, interact with the TV, and we are going to spin the dial. Of course, it's going to be a negative timey straight away, so don't worry about that. Of course, you know I'm, I'm being more inclusive. Not everyone has to be smoking hot. Um, Everyone is smoking hot in their own way, so if I could make love to each and every one of you, I absolutely would. Right, let's shut up and carry on. <laughs> so anyway, we spun the dial. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've lost my head now. We're almost seven hours in, and I am the cuckoo. So now what we're going to do is choke the torso that's behind the TV. So here is the torso. Torso with a head. Yes, so we're going to choke it twice. So remember, we have to use the negative tiny anyway. That's fine. We've got the hidden item and everything, so it doesn't really matter. So choke it. Choke it! Wow, the, the look in Iber's eyes there was quite frightening. Highly adv my, my high advice is don't choke people in real life. It, it doesn't go well. It doesn't go well. Um, I mean, depends on the, depends on the circumstance. Uh, anyway, uh, we need to do this... Uh, nope, that's all we need to do. So now we need to turn the dial on the TV in the corner to Ali Iba's right. Sorry, so again, it's turning the dial. So use a timey here. I end up using a timey. You should be okay, actually, to get away with it. So you don't actually have to use the timey. I ended up for, I ended up forgetting to press the A button. I did go to use a timey, but I ended up not doing that. Um, so that is turning the dial there. Next up, what we're going to do is we are going to now push the shelf that has appeared just in front of us. So, directly in front of us, it's an obvious looking shelf thing, it's, it's what all shelves look like. We need to push uh, push the shelf. So, now I attempt to use a timey, <laughs> this time it works well. And again, I ended up using the wrong one anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> that's, not, that's nice. Noisy sloicy. So when we have pushed this, an iron ball appears, we're going to interact with that iron ball. And then we are going to throw the iron ball. Alright, man, like, come in, Jesus Christ. So, make sure to throw it. Again, use a timey and throw the iron ball. Hiya! Okay, she already done it, never mind. Oh, that was anticlimactic as well. Right, straight ahead is going to be yet another TV. So, if we just pan the camera up. There we go. It's on the sort of right-hand side wall here. There's the third TV that we need to grab. We are going to turn the dial once again. So again, use a cheeky timey bags and turn the dial. And then we've just got two more things left to do. Eventually. Oh, why you want to shoot me, man? Okay. Well, I guess he shot me anyway. Well, screw you, buddy. I'm not your buddy guy. I'm not your friend, buddy. Right, now if we look directly around, we see a worn out reference book on the table, just chilling. The butterfly effect, we're actually going to rip the worn out reference book. So again, use another timey if you so wish. Rip that, the butterfly effect, oh, the butterfly, the butterfly effect, flizz flow floor. Next, we're just gonna open the locker, which is if we just go directly behind us there, it is the final one we grabbed earlier on. So, if you're running low on time, use a timey, um, which we're just going to use anyway, so open up the locker, and that will end this um, sink. So, now, because of course we've got the, um, sort of most of the collectible achievements, the appendix ones, a lot of scenes and stuff between now and the end of the game is literally just, it's even more exhausting all the dialogues, and it's even more just cutscenes. So, a lot of the time, you're literally just going to be through. 
I mean, we've been doing that anyway, but even more so this time, somehow. Ah! Okay. I was just sitting there. I assume she's not really enjoying it. <gasps> oh my god, it's Date's face! What the... Teddy nutball bag nipple head is going on? What happened in that Somnium? That means... The murders that occurred... Are these memory fragments that... No. That means the person who... Didn't I tell the entire kick? No matter how many times. The Cyclops killer appeared six. I lost my memory. There has to be some kind. You can't dream of some. That means Iris mustn't. Six years ago. Did she witness the cr Not just one. Hmm. Help me understand what I saw during the sinker. Yeah. So the person doing the killing. Right. Did you see it? He was. I saw the original Cyclops. It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say you have no memory. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you, you're missing your. So you steal them. I'm kidding. You can't be the cycle. Really? Of course. Do you think I would hire a serial? You interrogated Iris. What you saw in the Somnium was just... I don't believe... Between... I am absolutely certain... Remember what the boss... The original Cyclops killer? The sinker does not... It's like a so what I saw in some yes. Pewter. The events. Hey Iris. Dream? There and what about the Cyclops? Dreams are pieced together. You can't dream of Date could Sure. Marble. It's a it might Oh, she left a. No, this is. I was nihil. This actually works out nicely. It's about a nihil. You said you wouldn't tell anyone that you'd stay. Cool. What were you talking? Well, uh... I'll tell her about the two widow thing. I swear I'll do it. Geez, fine, but. What? At the door.
I try. I thought just like the Ota. It says he's too old. He was already gone. It'll be three o'clock. Date, the boss is calling. Date, listen. Just now, the well, I sent the address to I. Note. The criminal is streaming. Iba. Identify the Okiura Fishery Co. Okiura. Date, we need to get to the sun. What's our ETA? 20 minutes with the fast. Please, please. Hota! Stay away from Tenta! Ah! No, it can't be. Oh, holy sugar balls! What the hell has just happened? Man, I tell you what, Iris is not having any luck in any of these bloody um, timelines, is she? So this time, of course, remember Ota saved the day last time? This time, as it turns out, eh, uh, no, no, she got sliced in half like an absolute dice bag. No. So, Ota, uh, why, why, well, why did um, cheap ash ketchup, you know, knock us out with the zappy zap, magoni zap zap thing? <sighs> Broski, this is just... Man, we suck at trying to solve stuff. Even though we're the world's best detective, supposedly, according to Boss. But maybe Boss is just hot and horny for me, I suppose. Because of my left eye. So there's going to be nobody in, in here after witnessing all of that. <laughs> Un <laughs> Unbelievable. So we've got another couple of free move locations here popping up for us now. Um, where are we? Right. Oh, and Ota's dead now as well. Ah, uh, see, that's because you didn't catch all the po all the Pokemans. That's why you didn't evolve Pikachu into Raichu. You you let Charizard go. You let Pidgeot go. No. Oh damn it! I've forgotten which one. No, Pidgeot, wasn't it? Ash Ketchum left Pidgeot go when he was his most trusted loyal Pokemon. You you Screw you, Ash. And about. Shall I tell you what? Ota had a selfish look. He was under the delusion that but Iris ref So Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife. That's ridiculous. And how do you explain the other- Iris's left eye- Just like Renju and Sho- those three murder the new Cyclops. Stay away from Tessa! Ota showed himself if he was going to kill Iris, and the only reason you would show yourself. So he lies down on. I don't buy. The culprit was wearing a polar bear. Maybe he was thinking... The re... Shoko was... Maybe he was trying to get... It. That's a str... They've been divorced. Ota knows all about it. He... There are some additional... Dis I analyzed it. Judging by his wound, Ota was stabbed... Are you sure? I... Oh. Well, Ota could have stabbed. Maybe he thought it would be a fatal wound, but then shouldn't we have recovered? Maybe he threw. Boss, come. Ota goes out to the water, stabs himself in the gut. Well, I wasn't being serious. I didn't think Ota was the culprit from. I was just playing. Stay away from Tessa. Ota knew Iris was kidnapped. He tried to fight him. Then. I wish I knew. We're up to four, but. Right. And he was- So let's focus on the three. He told me they were high school cl- 
Ran humans, but there's Mayumi had Mayumi. Renju, sh there is a connection. Mizuki has the strong Shoko and I know Renju, and I'm connected, but I have an ally aside from Shoko. I thought it over, Bob. So, more free moves have become available to us. So, we're going to go to the cold storage warehouse first. And again, there's only a couple of things that we're going to do here. Um, first of all, we are going to examine the workbench twice. Eventually. So when we get here then, again, a little bit of conversation is going to happen with yourself, I suppose. And then, let's go. So, we'll, let's examine the workbench twice. So Iris first, and then Ash Ketchup. Um, that's an unfortunate uh, set of circumstances. That's two kids that we haven't managed to save. Good job, Date. Next up, examine the ice cutting machine twice. So I just kept going until the green word turned grey. So examine the ice cutting machine twice. Oh, that is just... Ugh. You know what, I don't know why. Nothing, bo nothing, nothing really bothers me that much, but... Oh, slicing against the gut, man, that, woohoo. Bit nippy, that one. I bet that'll nip when she wakes up. Um, anyway, follow, um, interact then with the equipment another three times. See if there's anything juicy or saucy on there. Since it's not, well, that's nothing good. So after this, we can now tell the policeman that we are heading out. And then we're going to end up going, again, when we're doing the free moves, like I said, we're going from top to bottom. And again, it's all just a case of, for the next bunch of um, places that we're going to, it's literally just exhausting all the dialogue options again. I told you that I was... I am absolutely... One of them was born of the other is Rohan Kumakura. They each had the murderer committed... He was born. Oxytocin. I'm sure you know what this. He got pleasure from kids. Sl Killing people was the. O he was 12. That enlightened him to. 18 years. She was already. He put his finger in. The reason why was he was fascinated. Their beauty stiff. He need driven by this. From then on. He acquired a grotesque. He was very particular about his need, but even being. However, the aforementioned the Cyclops killer would thus a mutually benefit. This was the. That, I don't know. The detail. You really have. The original site. There were two. And one of them was the former. Ch Rohan committed suicide by jumping- That mean? Pewter, tell me, one of the original ki- That means one- Who is he? After his fourth murder, they actually picked him up. But, in any case, Fuch- Yes. What's his name? In prison, he doesn't- He is simply called number 89. Number 89? I know who killed Sh- So, now you- At the original Cyclops, because- one is dead. Neither of them had the opportunity. Do not hear me! I said l <laughs> 
Can I be left alone for a while? was one of my students. Iris was my everything. Her memory. It told me. The first time would you press. Are you okay, honey? Huh? About last... The Kumakuras are involved in this case. Remember what I told that there's a relationship? Iris? No, not that one. He came here last... Ota? Yes. Have you heard the rumor? Kumakuras own a hand. They of course look legit. I'll call those the KE followed and they bought it. Now, have you heard of the plans? So I was born. Decontamination efforts, therefore. If the plan goes smooth. This is just enough. The chemical plant exploding was no act by so in the coma. But the, it's just. Uh, what? Ota and the coma. Oh, you know how Matsush. The chemical plant explosion. Foot traffic went. No wonder it closed. Ota must hold someone. And if it was intentional, oh. That's how I link. Thank you, Mama. I don't know if what you told me will lead to anything, but... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. No, no. It was very helpful. I cannot determine. I know who killed you. That must mean that he. It is. As you know, he is. He is currently. He was in prison. That's a pewter. After his fourth murder. Pewter claims that one was the. That leaves one culprit. But number eighty nine couldn't pop. He was in jail when he. Correct. However, I do not believe it is. I know who killed. If he was telling the truth. Unknown. Uh, 
You don't know? No such person is. It is possible he is. Let's talk to. Trying to talk to everyone then. Understandably, everyone is quite bummed. <laughs> quite bummed out. Now, we're in the interrogation room but with number 89, but we're not doing an interrogation. Again, it's literally just a case of using all the dialogue options, and that's pretty much it. And then after this, it's going to be scenes, flashback scenes, more scenes, flashback scenes, exhausting dialogue with number 89 again, and then just more scenes before we get into the next sync. A long time ago. I don't remember. What's your relation to physical? I'm kidding. She was just a... Number eight. You're real. I don't remember. Burkina. F That's right. I was one of the culprits behind... One of... All right. Then let's get started. The story... Of Once upon a time, there was a detective. Let's call him F. Found the evil. Okay, I get it. That was a turning point. He was ready to shed the morale. I've done some research. I know you've cleaned up. But somehow there hasn't been a. S Thus, F. he became a hired gun of the Kumakuras. Ro Falcon, named for the Falcon. Time passed. Falco, who by this time, he missed his mark. Somehow, he, after reaching a nearby sh he had no strength. He put his back up against Bon and... In his darkening vision, he watched her take, at the same time, footsteps of it. He knew immediately. So, you want fine. You've done a lot for her, but one final job I want you to It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you. Should be simple, no? Rohan handed Falco a picture. It was the teacher, Falco, and her daughter. She had just turned. Why the two of Rohan, as usual, and Falco had no, but if he didn't, he knew that he thought long. How is he going to keep? He couldn't find an answer. He was backed into a corner. And then... Was that the whole story? What's the connect? Why did you... You mentioned a detective. Hey, answer me. This is a transaction. Until I get a guarantee that you'll uphold your end, I'll give you half up front. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest of my story once they've cleared. Date, it is un- Pewter. Yes? Start the prep for- What do you think? <laughs> the same. Sup? Why are you sleeping on the job? Because I want to. Why are you getting mad at me? Yeah, this rug feels so good on my skin, yeah? Why are you sleeping? Don't know whether to be scared or horny right now, um, but Iber is pretending to be a cat. No, that would make me attracted to cats. Never mind, let's just move on, pretend I didn't say anything again, even though we just heard it. I could edit it out, but I can't be arsed now. We're 7 hours and 20 minutes in. My throat's dry, my hands are numb, my brain has turned into... Absolutely nothing. 
So welcome to Sinking in the Curtain. This is another one root um, root, another one root root. And we've got another achievement that we go in if we've been following the guide. So first up, turn to your left to pick the winter iris. Luckily, it's not as dark and confusing as the last one. We're going to pick the winter iris. Lovely, lovely flowers, by the way. See, I'm a sensitive man. I like flowers and holding hands with the beach. On the beach, not with the beach. See, that's it. My brain is turned to right now. Right. Ignore the phone. We are going to completely ignore the phone. It's um, a little bit more. Uh, more seconds now, but if you, um, if you hang up, it'll actually cost you a little bit more later on. So ignore it. Next up, what we're going to do then is fill out the picture. We've just unlocked the first sort of checkpoint for ignoring the phone. So if you have a look exactly where we're standing, the picture will be there. We need now to fill... All right, Pewter Schmidt. We need to fill out the picture. I don't bother using the timey that time just because it's uh, not too bad on the seconds. Next, have a look up at the ceiling fan. It'll be, it should be literally just above your head. There she blows. And this time we are going to blow. <laughs> blow on the ceiling fan. And if you don't have that much breath, way to breathe, no breath. Um, then it's going to be difficult for you. Luckily, Iber is full of wind, <laughs> full of breath. So ignore the phone again. So I end up using a timey here just because it's uh, 60 seconds, but we will ignore the phone once again. Again, like I said, like I've said plenty of times, make sure you use the least amount of seconds. Apparently, I still didn't get the memo. <laughs> We're almost done with the game, so <laughs> that's nice. Right, so after this bit, we are now going to get the pot to get the Protect Your Head achievement. So after this bit's done, we're going to run around the dining table. And in directly on the shelf will be the pot. Or directly around the dining table, sorry, not on the shelf, on the side, kitchen side here, is the pot. We are going to wear it once more. And if you've been following the guide, you should, have un you should now unlock, that should be the third out of the three. So this should now be the Protect Your Head achievement. If you didn't get the other two, have a look at the timestamps and just complete those sink -ins, uh, sinks again. So, <laughs> run around with a pot on your head, interact with the liquid and stick your hand in it. Which uh, looks looks so delicious. Because, of course, that's what you do. Weird random gold liquid, stick your hand in it. Lovely stuff. Right. Now, what we need to do is tear the book that is underneath the ceiling fan. So, pretty much right where we are. There's the ceiling fan. There's the book. We now need to tear that one. It is going to be a We do have a negative one, which is fine. And luckily, the tear doesn't give off too many seconds. We've just had a negative times two. It's all good. Right. Next, turn around. Have a look at the table. That is the next, the low table, sort of in the living room, sitting room, whatever you want to call it. We go going to tear up this book as well. So we do have a timey, which we can use if you want, if you're running a bit low on time. <laughs> Next, we're going to see a giant eyeball that's going to appear in the window. It's always pretty, but that's, you know, creepy enough as it is. This time we're going to close the curtain. So, again, if you want to use a timey, it's always worth doing. But close the curtain. Definitely worth closing that. Next up, what we're going to do, there's going to be a skull after we get the mental lock, the third mental lock done. That's another checkpoint. Saved, behaved, and raved. Just thinking of rhymes now. So there's going to be a skull directly in front of us here. So we're going to pick it up, and then we're going to throw the skull. So left on the D-pad there to throw the skull. Do it, do it, do it, do it now. Did I just... Throwing the skull was 12 seconds, and I just put it up to 20. <gasps> Stupid me. Right, tear the book that is on the stereo equipment right in front of you. Just making life difficult for myself for some reason. So again, we are going to tear the book. Again, I got a negative timey here, but that's fine. So I just lose 24 seconds. You know, me trying to do things the complete hard way didn't help at all either, but that's fine. Look to your right to find another book on the dresser. We are going to tear this page as well. So definitely worth using a timey here. Again, the less the less seconds, the least amount of seconds, the better. Still didn't get the memo. What kind of dumb baggery dumbass am I? Right, go around this little green thing right here. T 
to the left and you can find the next hidden item. That's going to be hidden item number 11 out of 13. Day 4, number 89B. And that'll be album 21 out of 27. Tear the book on the shelf, which is right next to it as well. Um, yeah, sorry. So yeah, tear the book on the shelf. And for the final one, we're going to hear knocking coming from the door. And all we got to do is lock it. So lock the door. And that will be it. We should now have... Plenty of time left to reach over one second, which should now get us uh, day four, hashtag uh, number 89A for album 22 out of 27, plus the curtain, the other side of the black curtain achievement will unlock, and then there's just a couple of scenes after this, and that's done. Stop right there. Date? Where's boss? Huh? Boss, where? Uh, I, I haven't seen her since a- Damn it. Date, listen. Huh? Please, stay- So Sejima's body was dis- He was cut into pieces and put- That can't be. The housekeeper found him and reported it. And one more thing. So was missing him. You mean the Cyclops killer? Probably. What is your next move? Not here. Where is she? What the hell is going on? Why is go- They told me it was shot by Ro- To protect number eight. Boss. Why was boss? Because it was a dream. Was it completely- No. That you can't dream of a face number 89 must- Iba. I will try. That is... Sosajima. Why? Why? What the f fudge sack is actually going on? What is going on? This honestly is this game is just awesome. I can't wait to play the sec. I can't wait to play the second one either. So boss is getting involved in the action as well. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, monkey balls. That is so Sejima. Uh -huh. Why? Boss? Shoko was killed around what was boss? Unknown. What about Saturday? The time similarly. Iris and Ota were. I was watching. Only the first. The polar bear had not. It is possible that she. Where was Boss's checker cell wreck? She did not call. She used using a VPN service. <laughs> boss is the new cycle. Shoko, Ren, Boss killed them all. The evidence makes that a light. So also had his left eye identical to Shoko. 
Date, I, I have picked up her GP. Where? She is now. Right, so we're coming up then to the final shooting sequence on the game. And if you wonder, I wonder if your mind is still blown as mine was. It's getting incredible. So now, everything that was pointed to So Sejima is now pointing towards the boss. But honestly, the, the ending of it is just unbelievable. So, interact with the kitchen count in here. The phone will be buzzing. Will be ringing. Buzzing. Ringing. Same thing. Um... And then everyone's going to burst through. Boss and a couple of SAT officers right here. Boss. Now, all you got to do then is just uh, examine and exhaust all the dialogue with both the SAT officer, any of the SAT officer. So exhaust all the dialogue with him and then with the boss as well. Make a save, of course, if you want to. Um, I mean, it is fa you know, fairly easy enough as it has been throughout the entire game, but it's always worth doing just in case. So exhaust all the dialogue options and then we will begin the final shooting sequence. I could ask you the same. You killed Shoko. That's ridiculous. What do you don't lie? Are you kidding? You're the new psych. What? You put a gun to So's head. I saw it with my own up. Shut up! I don't know. She was gone when I- Why did you come- Why would I tell you- I didn't kill- Please, believe- They are not listening. Please. Boss is- This is going nowhere. Are you going to- I have no- I recommend against it. You have Well then, what- Let me think. So we are going down the porno magazine route again, but the first one that we're going to do is mash the random button once again that you're going to see on the screen. So for me, it was the B button. So that's all we're doing is mash, mash, mashing. Again, like I said, you show a man a, a porn magazine or something and his heart rate goes up and his focus goes up to around 100%. I didn't make up the rules, it's just what they are. So here is the mashing the button. So make sure to mash, mash, mash. Mash the gash, there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. It's only just... I honestly, I think, I wish I would have played this with uh, in Japanese now, because I reckon it would have been even more fantastic with the original Japanese um, uh, voiceovers and stuff. Anyway, next up... And for the final one, actually, all we need to do is press and hold up on the D-pad and the random button on the screen. So for me, it's up and right trigger, so whatever it is for you. And that will be that. We, for some, somehow, a bag of flour, a bag of flour explodes with, <laughs> with the big flaming bullet that we've got. That injures everyone, and that's job done. So we, as long as you've done that correctly, you will unlock battle bombing the SAT. And... Now, we are going to be coming up to the biggest, honestly the biggest, pain in the ass sink. Uh, it's going to take roughly around 7 to 8 minutes. It's not too bad when you know where you're going and what you're doing. But I had to play through it 2 or 3 times in order to get a, a proper specific route down. Because you have to go through a certain couple of doors a couple of times to get a couple of timeies. It's just stuff that you actually have to do in order to complete it. Otherwise, it's a pain in the ass. But hopefully, I'll make it nice and easy for you. On to Sinkville. Boss is still unconscious. Because I, I got the video from... I processed it and found it. There can be no mistake. After pulling out his left, that makes the odds of her being the cult more. Maybe she had a cult. That's why I am cool. I want it as the truth. I had him put in the food tube. That's right. I couldn't keep him. She has broken her right shoulder. This one. But you can see. And for whatever reason, on this particular occasion, I had to speak with Boss, exhaust all the dialogue with her, and then I. I think I ended up just um, interacting with the sink chair a couple of times all over the place. 
and then Pewter was finally ready to say, right, let's do it. So if this is happening for you, just interact with the sink chair, the sink machine, and then you should be good to go. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Also making sure that you've exhausted pretty much everything there with boss. And I think that's it. We should pretty, be pretty much good to go. There we go. Right. <laughs> Let, let's do it. Let's do it. I said this time... This one confused the absolute juggernaut off me first. Dante. I know. Six minute time limit. I'll be back before time's up. Hell of a butt wiggle there. Pretty much as less cringy as it was on She-Hulk. I didn't mind two women twerking though. I don't know what people's problems were. So first of all, we're gonna go straight. We need to find door one and we need to break the lock with it. So just go straight past all the boxes, containers and everything. And here is door one. So interact with that. And we are going to break lock with the pick. Now, timing is going to be tight. So as long as you just do exactly what I do, you will be absolutely fine. Um, if you do it sort of any other way, you will run out of time and it gets frustrating. And that's the end of Shoko, apparently. Couple of keys get thrown out, job done. Right, what we're gonna do, we've got a 10 times negative timey, which we need to get rid of. Now, now you can pick up the key first and then go to door A. Um, but what I ended up, to, to get a little bit more time for myself, what I ended up doing, was running past the keys for now, heading to the right. We're gonna head up this little stairway, and then we are going to open up door A, because it's only one second. So we only lose 10 seconds, plus we gain a positive timey. So we've opened up the door, so now we can go back the way we came, towards door one, and we can pick up key one. So, because when you see it, we interact with key one, and that's five seconds, so that would have added a lot more time to, um, to your time so that's why we opened up the door first and then came back i don't know if running back and forth cancelled it out or whatever but anyway it's all good we picked up key one now we can go back up to door a and we're going to open it up of course it only costs a second that's all that's all good oh that's funny isn't it that's what happens when you normally stick a key in places uh, except up your nose um next we are going to turn around um and we are going to go over this um, uh, walkway, sorry, I couldn't remember what it was called. From here, we're going to go to the right, down the stairway, and open up door B. Door B or not door B? So we will need to open it up, so it's going to be another negative timey, which is fine. Don't panic. Don't panic your bums off about it. Next up, we're going to open up door C, so turn directly around, down the next set of stairs, and open up door C. It's another negative timey, but again, this has only cost us three seconds, so that's damn fine. Right, there apparently is a door E somewhere, but I couldn't find it, so we... I'm going to ignore door E for now, because I couldn't actually find it on this, and there's no point running around trying to find it, so we're going to go all the way to the opposite side, interact with this steel drum, An oil drum, and we're going to push it. So, yes, it's going to cost us 35 seconds, that's that, fine, don't worry about that. So we need to make sure to push it. And that's going to open up door two for us. So go to the right of where we are. And we are actually going to open up door two. There we go. Open it up. Now obviously make sure to use a timey here as well. Because obviously it's just not going to work. So make sure that you've got a one second timey in. And again, make sure that it is one second. Very, very important. When you go through some of these door A's, E's, B's, and C's, that's the one that normally gives you the one second timeies, which comes in very much handy. So, after this, we are going to go um, back to the left, 
to find the key. We need to pick up the key that has 8 o'clock on it. And it is right here between the two stairs. So make sure to pick up those two. Now what we need to do, again, very importantly, we are going to go straight up the stairs and open up door D. And the reason we're doing that is because when we go back through, or when we go through it, it'll give us another one second timey. So after this bit, we need to kick the pipe. So from here, go straight to the left, go to the end, and we can see the pipe that we're going to kick. So there it is. It's uh, getting some stuff out. So make sure to kick that. Um, I, end, I do end up using another timey here, which is fine. This one's going to be random. So again, hopefully for you, it's not going to be a negative one. And then we can open up door three. Um, so again, make sure to use the one second timey. Very important here, otherwise that's the end of that chapter. So make sure to use the one second timey. Slicey dicey, right, we get, we do have a negative timey um, to get rid of. So now the next thing that we're gonna do is actually investigate the control panel. Very important here. So go to the control panel straight in front of us. Now we need to investigate because that will only cost us 10 seconds rather than 50 seconds. And again, we need all the time that we can get here. But, but don't panic. Now, um, so now we can insert the key into the control panel. Again, you can see the time going down, but don't panic that it is going down. Just keep doing what I'm doing and you'll be fine. So now we need to interact with the uh, control panel rotate key. Sorry, rotate the key. So there we go. Next up, we need to press the switch on the control panel, which will cost us two seconds. And then once again, we need to get the control panel and rotate the key once more. Important again, rotate the key again. And that is all good. So now after this bit, what we need to do is now go ahead and open door D. So go to the left, straight back down the steps here to open up door D. And very importantly, it gives us another one second timey. So... Um, I ended up using another timey, which is fine, but as long as it gives us that one second, that's all good. Right. You can see behind these barrels that go in an L shape. Follow the barrels down the walkway here to find the next hidden item, which will be day five, boss B, and that'll be hidden item 12 out of 13. So from here, we're going to open up door C. So go straight up this doorway. Oh, in fact, this is door E, sorry. So we're going to go into door E. Sorry, uh, sorry, this is where door E is. That gives us another one second timey, very importantly. And then we're going to go up and go through door E once again. So you need to go through door E twice. Very important to do that to get the one second timey. Right, next, go to the left and basically go the opposite side of this floor. Again, don't worry that we've only got 50 seconds left. Don't worry about the time. But we are going to head up to door C now. Door C. Do -do. So again, if you want to use a half, on the timey, that's fine. It, it, in fact, I highly recommend to do it. So use the half timey. And then we need to go through door B, which is door C. So if you go back down to where door C is, press the A button on it and it'll open up to door B. That could be very confusing there and knob you up a bit. Use a one ninth uh, timey there to turn it into one second. We're almost done, by the way. We are onto the bottom floor now. Um, so now we need to kick door F. So if we go back across to the walkway, so go across the walkway, again, we've only got 30 seconds left, but that is honestly fine. Drop down the ladder to the left, open it up. And again, uh, no, we're going to kick open, sorry, kick open, not just open, we're going to kick open, use the one ninth timey to turn it into three seconds, kick open door F, and now we've just got two things left to do. So from here, have a look on your left hand side, you can see a ladder. So the 1F ladder, we're going to tackle this one. Make sure to use a time to one second. So make sure that it is the time to one second. Otherwise, it just wouldn't work, of course, and you'd fail. And that would be really annoying, as you've already done so much. And then finally, we can open up door four, which again, we are needing to use the one second. So of course, we're not going to use the one third because we don't have 333 seconds spare. Use the one second. And that is how you do that. Now, providing, of course, that we've got more than one second left on the clock, we will we will have unlocked Day 5 Boss, which is album 24 out of 27. Um, but yeah, that is how you do that. So the key parts in that sync is to go through Door E twice and Door C and Door D. 
It was door E, the one that uh, a lot of people seem to miss. Because um, you needed those two one second timeies at the end. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell? So is this just like a slanging match where everyone's just like, right, um, we're just going to go in for the free-for-all kill mode. I, pff, who knows? Anyway, again, at this point, we are just going to exhaust all of the dialogue by now, and we are going to end up in the sink room again, where we begin to understand what's actually happened, what's actually happening. And it's something that Professor Hubert Farnsworth from Futurama will be most displeased with. If there wasn't just one, that's how it looks on this bus. That's not the truth. There's only one. One and that person. Is yes, the person in front of me. You're blaming the commander of a... No, not the person inside bosses. Can you at least try to make sense? All right, I'll explain. You know about the abandoned chemical... There's a prototype sink. You use that device to... In other words, the in mind. I don't know where it started, but at some point... Then, you got into Renju. And got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was... You strangled Renju using... After that, in... Who you used to kill Iris and O- Now, inside her head. I see. If you know that much, then I have- Yes. I am- I guess you can call me- Before I do, how did you know about- and not only that, you also seem to know what the why is that? That's... Regaining your memory. Human memory. If you retain even a single pieces of memories are like gradually... I imagine the same... Allow me to explain. Memories in the brain are... That was me. You imitate her well from the way you talked in your body... Earlier too. Your imitation. Oh, yes. Let me define some ter- A person's mem- Moving on. Saito. Saito Sejima. Congressman Sejima S What? I researched Saito, but I cannot find any- He is listed on the family- What the- Shit! So this is actually Saito. So if you um, haven't figured it out yet, 
Um, Saito Sejima, who is So Sejima's son. Now, remember earlier on, they mentioned that um, it was Saito, the 12-year-old boy, who stabbed Manaka to death. Um, basically, it's just going to it's just going to transpire that he has been using these uh, these sink machines in order to swap the minds and bodies of absolutely everyone. So when he's been seeing Iris kill someone and So killing someone and everyone killing everyone, that's basically been Saito Sejima the whole time. Hubert Farnsworth not happy. Then. Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Rin. I knew she would be suspicious. I called her anyway. I put her in the car. It was around. Then I put his body. But then he asked me something about being. He was surprised to but I. That's what that thing. And just like that, I managed to. Escape. The rest went exactly. Sunday morning, I... Oh, I am... I didn't want to draw suspicion, so... To be honest, I was a little... Just the previous night... I didn't think Ota had... So... You were on to me. The entire... Then you synced and... But you didn't get as a result. I didn't want to go home right away. I got enough. He did as I ins After that, I got into the van. Hmm, of course, I knew I couldn't. But I thought I could. I told him this. I want you to come. He was quiet for a while, but eventually. We arrived at the prototype by the time. There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon. I synced with her. And after blowing... I stuffed the meat into a... This was yesterday. I arrived around one. Well, you thought... That annoyed me to no end. Dressing him up in the polar bear was an impromptu plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think. I just wanted to throw over. It didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened month. I left the warehouse. You know all about- That should ex- Of course I- I don't need them. All I care to- Why didn't you just put the- Shokos is in Renju. Renju's is an iris. Iris's is a dad. Dad's is... Their stomach. You s Homicide is my ho- That was personal. This series of murders, no matter how- You- He was born with a due to damage to the posterior. Oh, my own. How are you fine? That's what I've been telling you! But I don't have the same ox. That is because I regular. They must have increased your dosage. No, but the person who had this disorder was number 89. That is what I believe, but we must have missed. Computer did not specify only that one of the original cult. That's straight. That would mean number 89. That must. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. Computer must have known that. No. And before so. Iris. 
and before that wrench, and before that, and before show. I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain. I'd lost most of my memories. I was, they housed me, but I still have just as I explained. From a single, I took my time. I got her, but when she saw herself in the mirror, after that, I spent using show. In there, in that, it was in Rohan. Sorry, but t I want my body. It's quite simple. Sink with me and st And if I refuse- <sighs> I- Huh? Date, look! This is stream. Date! I knew you- I know you well. I got it all back! Hey, where's Hitomi? All right, I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. Return my body and I'll tell you the location. I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! <sighs> You're the one who injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Dude, what the hell? This is... Uh, right. Anyway, during that scene, we just got the achievement there, Annihilation Root, and we also unlocked Persons 27 out of 28, which was Saito. Um... Well... Well, god damn. I... I anyway, we're gonna backtrack one more time, and then we are pretty much... This is, this is basically now heading towards the end of the game. Uh... And it is, we've got one more sync to do, but it is not timed, so you can have a bit more of a breather with this one. Thinks I'm investigating Monica's. That is not so. Sejima holds a personal grudge. Against... That is likely why Pewter is attacked. Are you okay? You're Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Renju's body on the without his left eye. You were inside Renju, weren't you? But what interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sink machine? The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took... Don't worry, I... Yet? The brain you are currently... It releases a flood. I thought I... In front of you. Which is why I... Son... I was still in my neck. If I. I was still. I decided to pick her up. I thought that if she saw me, how. Uh, you got in an accident. <sighs> my plans were ruined by my ultimate goal. 
After the accident, my bo- I regained cunt. I know what happened after that. You got to the Sargon household. You pushed the inner- He was sweating buckets. He said- You got iris to- but when you try- I got scared. I pulled my hand- Oh, you know that too? But you're exact. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but the sleeping pills were- uh, was my plan, eh? I'm sure the painkiller of my mind was- By Monday, Renju's body was- The man you called- The boss told me then, Renju- Iris trusts this, and there was another reason. That's why I asked Pew. I brought Rohan, who was inside number eight. Rohan was my partner. Not to sound like a broken rat. This happened. Renju. Just mercenaries I hired. Of course. I told him about... I told him. And he acted. I called Iris about Tuesday at 1.40. Long time no- I'm sorry to call you out of- Iris got so excited. I told her where to- It was all- I knew that if I- I've been looking for him for- I see. That is why Iris left my- After Iris got into the car, I restrained- I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she died. I used Iris. Thanks for being. Oh, right. I put that there. When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I didn't want to. So. The merry-go-round horses now. I was but I remember. On that day, 18 years ago, I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi. He went to the harbor. I've only ever been happy before, Monica. I would kill Bud like a drug. Next, that's when I found you. that woman took me, and she stole all. So I chose her as I was born with a. Br I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland, and I didn't have a mother. My mom died giving. So naturally, my am. Sometimes, if I didn't kill Monica, maybe the murder is six years. Me, you. And maybe... Isn't that... Sorry, I... And even I'm growing tired. So, how's everyone doing? Is everyone still reeling at the news of what the actual hell's going on? Uh, Saito is basically just a murderous fiend, but he done it in a real clever way, actually. But it does explain, actually, a lot of why we've seen different people, different faces in different dreams, etc. So, this is the final Somnium, the final sink machine. Sinking in the chain, it is called. And this sort of a time limit, but basically the time is stopped between actions. So, 
Uh, every action that we take will basically cause us to lose time in either 0 or 60 second intervals. There's nothing that we can do about it. You're not going to lose it. Um, you're gonna not going to lose the level or anything, so don't worry about it. As we move, nothing happens. So we're going to go to the monitor on our left, and we're going to check it. So check. That's near. Then we're going to interact with the moniker again, the moniker, the monitor, and then we're going to investigate the knife. So investigate that schnoz bag. Damn it, what is this? Next up, straight in front of us, is going to be the sink door, which we can then move. So if we just have a look now, just behind us, there it is, there's the sink room door. We're going to move this one. So again, this causes us to lose 60 seconds, but again, it do literally doesn't matter. You're not timed, you're not gonna lose, it's all good. Right, go ahead up to the sink machine and investigate it. It's a sink. It, it is a sink machine. Oh my god. Oh, Mustang Sally. So we investigate the sink machine anyway. Next up, <laughs> data is looking very much like a mental lock right there. We are now going to fix the sink gear. Mustang Sally. Eventually. Here we go! So, fix the sink gear then, that is directly in front of you now. And after this one, we are going to fix the door. So after this bit's been done, oh, up comes Rohan, or whatever his name is. So have a look at the door, it should be directly in front of you. There it is, big hippie looking, lovely marble effect looking thing. We're going to move it, and then all we're going to do, this is the room where we will find the final Hidden item. So all we're doing is literally running to the opposite end of the room to collect it. And that will be day six, Saito B, hidden item 13 out of 13. And that'll get us the dream documentation duty CEO achievement. Also, it will get us album 25 out of 27. Right, so we've got two left to do. So after this bit is done, con percentage yield. Okay. It's coming, it's coming. Right, it's literally the opposite end of the room. So where we are standing, just run straight. Not straight and left. So it's not quite here, but it is there. Floating above our head. So when you get that, the achievement should unlock. And that is done. Um, right, so interact with the pool of blood. Now we're going to stick our hand in it. So stick your hand in. And then what's going to happen is there's going to be a mirror that will appear. Now, you can do this mirror. Um, you can do the next order in whatever one you particularly want. So I just kept pressing up on the D-pad and then left. Literally, you can knock down, investigate, hit or touch the mirror. You need to do all four anyway, so do all four. And then after this, you're going to start sinking in the pool of blood. So you just need to hit the same option three times. And that will be the end of that. this final Somnian sink. Or it's just a mirror. Right, so if you've been following along with the walkthrough and you've managed to get everything with more than a second remaining, right now you will have unlocked the Dream Album Analyst, and that's for collecting all the Dream Album files. But remember the one I told you earlier? 
The one where Mizuki is going around Date's apartment, eating stew and sleeping on the settee. The one with the ugly rabbit thing. Of course, um, because I didn't reset the checkpoint, which hopefully you did, um, that's why the Dream Album Analyst hasn't unlocked me here, and that's why I've got to do that one uh, literally after the game. But again, it's only going to take a few minutes. But hopefully you did unlock that. You reset the checkpoints and etc, etc. If not, um, that's fine. We just need to pick whichever one from later on. But you will unlock the chain percentage S exclamation mark ink achievement. Got it all back! This fake eye is awful. So I will actually show you the one that I am missing. So what you can do is there's a good guide on true achievements, which basically tells you in order which ones you're supposed to be missing. So for and and which level that you can then go on to. So for me it's number eleven. Twenty seven gets uh, filled automatically. So for me it was number eleven, which would have been like I said the one with Mizuki day six, I think that is whichever one uh, that is. So um, have a look at true achievements or. Just have a look, um, if you type in on Google or whatever, um, you, you'll be able to see the uh, particular order, and you can see which one you're missing, if you are missing one. Again, hopefully you're not, and hopefully you've unlocked the achievement by now. Otherwise, like I said, from now till the end, it's pretty much going to be a whole bunch of scenes with just a couple of things to do sprinkled in between. You got it. I want you on this right. If you could do it in two, maybe. I see. I hear some pr- I do have one. I the sink machine is- All right. Hayato ya. Boss, how did you? <sighs> All right. Yeah, Rohan I know. Has been put I understand. To sleep. We're counting on you. Let us begin. A breakthrough in the case. I know. You don't have to say. Regarding the cycle. How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the cycle. We should ask him about it. Good idea. Huh? What? Pewter, where is. Uh, how would I? This is bad. Hey, which way did Rohan? Huh? Rohan's standing right there? No! Yagyu! Where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Why? Did... What do you mean? He's a... He said he wanted to leave. Did I? No. Don't. Hour. Anyway, um, come on in. I'll make us some tea. No! Stop! Stop! 
Stop right there! How long has it been since we last met? It's an odd humor. The first time we met was when I, and my father asked you to... But we didn't so much as see each other for... Why are you asking? What was that? About half a... And what did I... You don't remember? Remind... I remember you showed... You really want to... I'll find you to... Just let me keep... Then we both get what we'll make good... That was your idea. I don't understand. My idea. Yeah, you told me that, that you can't recognize them. You always eat the left. The same is true of the you can't recognize. Which means you can only and that's why you that's what you told me and Do you have someone in Ah, uh, what'll it be? The fifth mer Hold on. Could you not refer to Why not? I told you. But that's a the name you dis you even sent that letter with you said it would throw off their investig So there's no relation to Greek myth What? You're the one who came up with it. Hey, Saito. Where are we go? There's a place I want- Really? The police station. What are you doing? Mr. Kumakura showed me this place. What are you doing? Follow him! You're Saito Sejima? Hmm. Sorry. I heard that the prototype machine. We lost communication. Who are you? You've lost your ma- All right. From now on- Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me to where you belong. I managed to make a new family right from today on. You have a new- As a member of Abyss. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before. You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me did- That's fine. Tr that congressman knows- Who? No one. Never mind. So what's my new name? Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname- Yep. Nice to meet you. So, how's it hanging so far? What we are going to get after all these flashbacks, there's a lot, whole lot of nothing to do. But we are going to finally unlock the Persons Analyst achievement here, and that is for uh, tw Persons 20 out of the 28, and that's for unlocking Falco. So at the end of the series of flashbacks. So this one is pretty much, I'm pretty sure this is unmissable, but in just a moment, you will unlock the Persons Analyst achievement. And then it's just a whole bunch of nothing to do until we get to the abandoned warehouse. Oh, and here, what you're going to want to do is press the counter-attack option. Um, that just progresses the story. Again, you can go through the rest of the dialogue if you want. You've got to counter-attack anyway. You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. I would, of course, prefer that you choose. It would be quite a... No, wait! Damn. 
Yeah, how'd you know? Yeah, someone called I... Uh, it was weird. I... Where is she? I don't... <laughs> Inside his left eye sock. What's wrong? I'm sorry. Like that. Do it! Mizuki! You bastard! What do you think you're doing to Iris? Tessa! I'm here to help! Damn, bro, that's a hell of a fight scene. Right, I was being a bit dumb right here, being a bit of a silly, a silly snotage. Um, so, I thought you had to climb the stairs and go and follow him, but all you've got to do, you don't actually have to speak to anyone. You literally don't have to. Um, because if you look up, so I, I obviously end up doing it because I thought that's what I had to do, but if you just look up from here and to the right a little, you're going to see Hitomi and uh, Saito as little characters on the upper level of the floor. And that's what you actually need to click on. And then you need to grab this missable achievement as well. So again, it's always worth making a save. But I just looked up and you're going to see scaffolding and pipes and everything like that. And as you can see, just in the top right corner, there's the control room. So we're going to head up here. Again, we're going to make a save if you want, just in case you press a wrong button. But basically, uh, you can keep pulling the trigger um, six times. That's basically to learn another appendix if you want and then four more times until you get Date to shoot at him but basically Sato would end up killing him if you keep doing that so instead what we're going to do we're going to interact with Saito and then we're going to select don't pull the trigger so do not pull the trigger and that will get you the cooler heads prevail achievement so right on the d-pad don't pull the trigger cooler heads prevail unlocks and again a whole bunch of scenes and cutscenes are going to happen and then we will just end it It's that girl I told you about! Aiba! Date, I do not have, as I mentioned previously, the surge of electricity. I cannot administer up here, however. Huh? Self. Let us determine a code number. I... I hate you. I hate you. Second command. I understand. Be seeing you. Has Aiba always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco. It is you, Falco. Right? You should.
shouldn't call me that. I, Kaname Date, am PD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. Not Iba, my favorite AI companion, my only AI companion, but Iba seems to have self-exploded herself, all for the greater cause, but that is some sad news for Date and everyone else. So we're three months later, now this is basically the epilogue, so we're pretty much now done with the entirety of the game, but this bit does take around another 15 to 20 minutes to do, because all we're going, um, we're just going to go through every single place that we've gone and speak to pretty much everyone. So it's literally just scenes and it's literally just um, exhausting all of the dialogue. But there is going to be one more missable achievement on the way. I'll let you know when we get there. So for now, just keep exhausting all the dialogue, go on the map and keep doing the same for each location. The way you are now is my old uncle. <laughs> because of the memory, I wanted to come here with... Ratty cake, ratty cake. By the way, I still don't have the answer to my question. Mm, what question? When am I going to hear good news? When will Uncle... We also have to get home. I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. Boss, I gotta ask. What? I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakur. I never thought... And the other person responded, making it impossible. Still thinking of... No. You two were great. I want to ask you something. Three months ago, I looked like I do now. I wasn't in Doctor, but I was still obeyed. Second. You're underestimating the wife. Huh? She knew the real. But don't worry, it's what? you're going to experience that's my why Shh. Pewter? For a minute, I was thinking your name was Karage. Yeah, that's right. I'm named after fried chicken, Dante. Come. Sorry. Uh, anyway, haven't I told you? You've told me before. Me I did not. But I did. Don't worry. She's with the. Am I not a. You should have been a. I'm eating awful meals. If then how are you? Hmm. Don't act dumb. Date, it's okay. She did. She told us not. Huh? Anyway, I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the kind of pathetic, isn't it? Everything that the ask her of. She truly.
That's a strange question. I just thought pre The statute of limitation. I did what I did to protect. Are you familiar with relatives of those cannot be pre Hmm. I've been studying for- I've learned a lot about- It was caused by you. As you know- Dad, a foolproof plant. The chemical plant- As soon as he drove his knife in the end, you sound like you're... Perhaps. By the way... No, I... Did you ever see a... No. No reason. Do you recall the cut that my secretary? That is true. I know. You spoke with no. I did. What did you talk about? He told me a woman named Shoko Nada contacted her. And you called her? Yes. I can't say. Well, I'll be seeing you, so. I very much. Oh, damn. Iris, didn't you? Come on! They were my best. Thank you. This is all for. No, I did. Also. Oh, Mr. Date. Things have come. If this is about my arm, don't worry about You have to take- No! Where's that hot plate? On the shelf. And I'm- Hey, that's- You're planning on being cut. Of course! That... Uncle wants to know how Uncle wants No Uncle wants to know if you Can you cut this What hat breakfast this I made the eggs over That's it? Yeah. Well that's not No, I made the eggs over easy. How can I eat eggs like that? I want my eggs over well. Burn to the p Why don't you just eat- And a razor would taste better than what- You shouldn't say that about- You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Mizuki is the one who should be- I like her here- What? When I was in the hospital, you were- Oh, I can't live without Don. No, I didn't. And you were never in the- Yes, I was. Was I not? Anyway, why don't you- If Date keeps- Promise? The Una you said you would take- Oh, that. Okay, fine. You promise? Yeah. All right, Mizuki. Thank you. 
I am seriously so happy. Exhaust, but I, huh? A tragedy? Yeah. She was so cute. Uh, if she were real, you would not survive. What? Are you Uta, what in front of Iris? Oh, Tessa. I it's fine. I don't. Thank goodness. I don't think that's. No, I made lots of friends. Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? <laughs> Excuse me, you can't just. Ota told me I kind of like the. You're good. Please come in. Well, Ota. So first up then, for the surprisingly good together achievement, when we get to Matsushita, Matsu, Matsushita, hoya hoya, um, Mayuma, Mayumi, who seems to be well in herself, even though she is still dimensioned up, but we are going to speak to the nurse. Now, what we're going to do is ask her, your, and then follow that up with, you seem pretty happy. And then ask her her name. And that will be the uh, first out of second for Surprisingly Good Together. Um, so basically she's just going to tell us that she's pretty much engaged. She's going to get married next week or whatever. So you seem pretty happy. And then ask her her name. And then after that we can just exhaust our conversation options with Mayumi. Until we can select time to go. And then we can head to the Kumakura office. Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next you're getting married? Yeah, that is so... Thank you. It's doing great. The lunch run my husband and I are... Here we are then at Kumikura office. Um, now, what we need to do after we speak to Big Moma right here, um, we are going to go ahead and talk to Yakuza member B, which is Skinny Broski right there. So speak to um, member B, choose your clothes, or ask, are, the, are the, your clothes the right size, and then ask for his name. And that is what's going to unlock us the surprisingly good together achievement. Again, you can miss it because you don't have to speak to those if you don't want. I'll tell my name is Yogano. Yogano? You're getting married to that nurse. Damn, girl. And anyway, that is what else will get us the surprisingly good together achievement. Um, right. Now, again, what we're doing is just going through absolutely everything. This scene is absolutely hilarious, by the way, um, after you exhaust all the dialogue with everyone here. This next scene is incredible. Moma the Perv gets what he wants. Almost. Almost. Um, but just keep spamming through everything anyway. 
Ninja, you got... Anyway, sorry to bother. Dante, wait! Oh, oh boy. This is how I... Yes, you want to see Iris' as... <gasps> I never asked for... And what do you want? Puff Puff. Uh... I want Tessa to Puff Puff me. You know what I'm saying? Just... Just... Are you kidding me? You know what? Fuck. Dante! All right. Yeah. Like this? Good, yeah. Do not open your... Promise! Okay, let three. Whoa! Dante, I've never all these shitty years of my. Well, let's. I don't know what's going. This is a bit. How? <laughs> How did he not open his eyes? I just, I don't understand. Why would you motorboat someone, motorboat someone, <laughs> see what I did there, and close your eyes? I mean, I suppose it's nice, but I mean, surely you'd feel the sweat from your, your bodyguard's titty bags. And anyway, that was hilarious. I laughed muchly. Let's just crack on exhausting the dialogues. You're so his body. Uh, don't matter. Drunk. Don't you think you do you even this? Then I can't say. And then number eighty nine, but that's what all the news reports have been. Spare me, huh? If I hear the truth, I'm. There are a lot of. We should head out. Aww. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, are you ready? Are you ready for the best surprise in the actual whole game? Everyone's alive, that's all, yeah, that's all good. Oh! It's Iber. Ready, ready for our reaction, I chose Be Amazed. I don't know if he says ah for absolutely everything, but yeah, Iber's alive. Three months, I just about got over you as well. Oh, it's incredible. Literally, now, i got to give it to Spike Chunsoft, because normally, normally, games just go, yeah, we've killed you off, and that's it. There's no way coming back. You're pretty much as dead as can be. Spike Chunsoft always come up with the happy ending. So, big respect to you, my Spike Chunsoft friends. Thank you. Because Iba's my favorite character in the whole game. Everyone else was kind of annoying. Uh, anyway, exhausted dialogue with absolutely everyone, and this is now pretty much the end of the game. Augmented reality, my physical... In my left eye. Yeah. How did you get in there? I see you have not become anything careful. Everything that the boss... ...had a bit when I lost consciousness. Yes. Peter... Oh, sorry to... I wear an earpiece. Huh? I knew the whole time. Boss told me about the plan. I wanted it to be a surprise. Is this my thank you? Yeah. What you are going to come up to now is the unskippable song and dance number mixed in with the credits. Now, first of all, I was like, oh, dude, bruh. But by the end of it, because th this song and dance number and the credits last for about four minutes, four and a half minutes, it actually gets incredibly catchy. 
So everyone gets involved. It's incredibly catchy and I couldn't stop thinking about it after a couple of days. So obviously I've skipped the credits. You won't be able to do that. Um, but with that one, when you finally get past the credits, you will get the resolution route end achievement. And if you manage to get all the other achievements, you will also get the AI, the Somnium Files achievement as well. And that one is for obtaining all other achievements. If you didn't, and of course you were like me, and you ended up missing one or two albums, because that'll be it. If you don't get the Somnium Files achievement, the chances are you would have missed one off your albums. And like I said, for me, it was number 11. So I ended up having to go into it again. So if that is the case, uh, like I said, hopefully you've got all the achievements and thank you for watching, etc. Big love, blah, -de blah, -de blah. You know the drill. Um, otherwise, we can just go straight into the auto save. Um, if you are, um, if you did end up doing the same as me, we can just go back into the auto save. And then the one that we particularly need to choose is not three months later. We need to choose, if I just have a little checky right here, was it day, I think it was day th four, day four, I think. No, day six, sorry, day six Wednesday, sinking in the captain. So day six, sinking in the captain. We're going to begin the sink. Now, this is the one with the Addo rabbit. So this time, we're not going to lift the fridge. We're not going to turn up the pot. That's going to save us pretty much around 40 to 45 seconds or something. Plus, we're not going to go for the hidden item either. So, of course, we're going to go straight for the stew. We're going to taste it again. And, of course, that's going to give us... Um, and, it, like I said, I'm just going to spam through this one. Because uh, we just want to get through this as quickly as possible to end the game. So, making a stew. Making it poo. Next up, go directly in front of you to throw the policeman's badge or the police ID. There it is, directly in front of us. And we are going to throw it. I am actually uh, not going to bother using the timey here. Next up, have a look at the trash can directly on the floor, of course, next to you. You can probably remember. I'll just let you know anyway. Then we need to look clo look closer, Lenny. Ah, y y 68 foot tall now. And you're covered in gold. <laughs> right, so from here, what we can do is have a look at the left speaker. The speaker I was in. Uh, and then, of course, what we're going to do is listen. So we're going to use a timey on this time. We are going to use a timey. We're going to listen to it. Thank you very much. Now, of course, now this is a story related one. So you actually have to interact with the Addo Rabbit this time. I thought we could just go straight for the door, but you actually need to interact with the Addo Rabbit. So there's me just wasting time. Don't do that. Interact with the Addo Rabbit. And once again, call him ugly. So we're going to use a time, uh, a timey this time. It's all going to be pretty much the same, and it is going to get us another negative, which is fine, because we're just going to smell the door. Uh, smell the bed, sorry. So, any stains that are on there is going to be stuffed straight up our old nostrils. So, go to the bed. Again, smell it. This is unmissable. You uh, lose 12 seconds, which is fine. Oh, damn, we need to... <laughs> we need to wash those. So, next, use another timey in order to knock the door. It's all going to be the same, which is fine. So knock the door. Next up, so do not interact with the fridge or anything like that. Don't go back. We've got the hidden items. Uh, so now we can just go straight onto Date's sofa. And then we're going to sleep on it. Have a little sleep. Have a little uh, snooze, as it were, right there. A little snoozy bag. So again, we're just going to absolutely spam through this quick as hell. There we go. And then that unlocks mental lock four. So again, like I said, the first time around, I obviously would have highly advised you to reset the last checkpoint after you got the Add a Rabbit achievement, and that should have hopefully worked for you. This time, we can go straight to Date's coat. We're going to give that another kick. Again, the less seconds, the better. I think it's all 10 anyway this time, so that's fine. So kick that, and as you can see, we've got plenty of time this time. So we, now we're going to examine the backpack directly in front of us, and then we're going to... Um, Choose this charm, sorry. This charm is what we're going to use. Smash through it all again. Now, we should have plenty of time. So, we've got 190 seconds left. That should now, as we run towards Date, that should now give us... Again, this is... Un, pretty much... Uh, now we can use... I'm pretty sure we can use the bunch of timies here. 
Uh, in fact, yeah, you could have used a bunch of... You could have used one of your tinies for the first one, but not for the last two. So just go up to him three times. And as you can see, 72 seconds. I had 130 spare. And now that is finally that. Yes! Done! Freaking done! <sighs> Can't tell you how happy I am, to be honest. Now I'm going for a lie down, and I'm taking a day or two off. <laughs> Anything else. But there we go, so that should now finally, that, well, that person got me the Dream Album Analyst, hopefully you would have got it before, if not, you've got it now, we're all good. So now that should get you every single achievement. So there we go then, guys and gals. So like I said, a game which was, people were telling you it was about 20 to 25 hours, literally took me 12 hours all in all, and hopefully if you've been following along easily, this would have taken you literally less than 10, between 9 and 9.5 and hours. But there we go. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. That was AI the, um, the Somnium Files. Excellent little game. Hopefully you enjoyed the game and hopefully you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe and share with a friend as well as it helps me out massively and I really appreciate it. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Big shout out to you guys and gals. And there we go. That is that then, guys and gals. Game Pass keep giving out the goods at the minute, so I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Ba 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 